I slept in a bug's egg for five years. Only to wake up and find my precious gone. Feeling my body, I realized I had become a girl. And instantly, thunderstruck I was, what explosive beginning is this? Five years ago, the system promised me an evolution into a supernatural life form, a perfect jade-like body. A harem in the post-apocalyptic world, even if I couldn't enjoy it, I could accept it. But why did I lose my precious as well? It turns out, in this post-apocalyptic world everyone has the chance to obtain skills. And when I was chased by bugs with no way out. I didn't hesitate to take a big gamble with a probability of 0.1%. Just when I thought the goddess of luck was on my side. The system informed me that this skill required incubation for five years, helpless, I could only suppress my lonely heart and wait for five years. Now, I've discovered that I've lost my male body, the more I think about it, the sadder I become. I am currently kneeling in front of the mirror, sobbing while looking at my naked body. The piercing cry can even be heard by the bug grandma downstairs. Perhaps because I possess the skill to control all bugs with the heart of an insect queen. The ant monsters nearby did not react to my cries. Just as I shouted from the depths of my heart, just let me die, something even more absurd happened. Suddenly, I felt discomfort in my stomach, as if I wanted to throw up, an inexplicable sensation of nausea surged up. And I immediately felt weak and trembling on the ground, after about 15 seconds, the feeling of nausea finally reached my mouth, my entire face swelled up. Then a white egg the size of a watermelon, accompanied by saliva, fell to the ground. I broke out in a cold sweat. The egg continued to shake after being vomited out, inside, it seemed like something was absorbing the nutrients, as the movement became more and more intense. The white egg grew at a visible speed, until after about half a minute, the egg expanded to the size of half a person. Did I give birth to a child with my mouth? I couldn't help but marvel. Just then, a sickle-shaped tentacle suddenly sliced open the egg from the inside, immediately, a cool-looking black beetle emerged from it. It looked like a spider but also like a crab, standing up, it was two meters tall. I couldn't believe this was something I gave birth to half a minute ago. If I wanted to, couldn't I create a football team in just ten minutes? I looked at my child and felt nothing but disgust in my heart, I couldn't utter a word for a long time, suddenly, I sensed a certain pheromone transmitting a message. Obey the command of queen, I have come to kill you. I was taken aback, because the respect I sensed just now had turned into a murderous intent, before I could stop it. As if without a brain, swung its leg mercilessly towards me. I just gave birth to you, and now you want to kill me. I cursed loudly and fearfully crouched on the ground. The sickle flew past over my head, even producing a whistling sound, then, it lifted its other leg. I quickly rolled to the side, but accidentally hit my head on the bedpost, it hurt so much that tears almost welled up in my eyes. The killing intent emanating from this bug became even more apparent. In a moment of desperation, I shouted loudly, All right, I am your mother. Upon hearing these words, this bug raised its front legs and stood motionless, after about five seconds, its pea-sized brain finally understood my meaning, it humbly knelt down before me, showing utmost respect. As I looked at the insect bowing before me, I fell into deep contemplation, so, this 0.1% probability skill is about hatching and controlling insects, it must be because I had such a strong desire to die just now that it brought about this phenomenon. But why insects? I felt goosebumps rising on my skin, instinctively, as a mammal, I have always been afraid of these creatures with no thoughts and strange appearances. Even seeing maggots in the past would make me feel nauseous for a long time. Not to mention the fact that this insect in front of me is almost the size of my shoulder, just thinking about it is terrifying. However, upon careful consideration, there is really no other choice, after all, this is the apocalypse, and it's already fortunate enough to survive with such an incredible skill. So, after comforting myself for a while, I have accepted my gender as a female. I then glanced at my body, still covered in nutrient solution, feeling uncomfortable with the sticky sensation on my skin. So, I instructed Queen in front of me to find a water source, as I stepped outside, a scene of destruction greeted my eyes, everywhere was filled with dense and terrifying vegetation, the entire city was lifeless. This is no longer the world I once knew, I could still see some wild creatures wandering the streets, which have evolved several generations compared to five years ago. Each one is almost the size of a tiger. 
They seem to consider me as one of their own kind, silently avoiding me when they see me. I am alone, aimlessly walking on the road, feeling extremely hungry. Just as I was contemplating whether to go back and consume my nutrient solution. My heightened senses suddenly made me pause, I immediately looked towards the neon lights of a nearby supermarket. There was a crow staring at me intently. Although it was strange, I couldn't afford to think too much about it, after all, it is real prey. The presence of this crow indicates the existence of other animals, I no longer have to worry about finding food in the future. I cautiously approached the store, afraid of startling the crow away, however, I couldn't help but feel increasingly nervous the closer I got to the crow. It had been staring at me intently since earlier, with its crimson eyes unmoving. It made me break out in a cold sweat, suddenly, an inexplicable sense of panic arose from deep within me. I had a bad feeling about this, just as I stopped in my tracks. The strange bird immediately opened its mouth, and a black needle-like spike shot out with incredible speed, too fast for the naked eye to see. I couldn't react in time. The needle struck my heart with pinpoint accuracy, with a thud, I fell to the ground. The crow let out a hoarse cry of victory, then excitedly flew down and landed beside me, ready to enjoy its meal. My blood-soaked clothes clung tightly to my chest, outlining my curves in a grotesque manner. In that moment when the strange bird was about to eat me. I suddenly stood up and grabbed its neck, how dare you ambush me. Luckily, I can regenerate my body, otherwise, you would have taken advantage of me at the beginning, I said, holding on to its vulnerable spot. Looking at the crow and its weapon, I couldn't help but marvel at how much the monsters had evolved in the past five years. Not long after, my stomach growled, from holding this crow in my hand, I could sense that it had a strong power, its flesh was definitely firm and had a good texture. Thinking about it made me salivate, I clamped both hands on the crow, trying to tear it open directly. But just as I was preparing to exert force, my powerful perception once again alerted me to danger nearby, I immediately looked up at the sky. To my surprise, there were hundreds of crows flying towards me. This is too many. I cursed in my heart, not daring to waste a single moment, I quickly entered the nearby supermarket with the prey in hand and closed the door behind me. Suddenly, there was a loud bang as the door fell to the ground. I looked at the fallen door in bewilderment unsure of what to do next. In the meantime, the flock of crows had already flown inside, each one flew aggressively towards me. Although I swatted one crow with ease, killing it on the spot, there were hundreds of crows in the current situation. I had to dodge them and run deeper into the supermarket, the crows pecked at me frantically. But fortunately, my instinct activated the skill of energy conversion, causing my skin to generate a tough black scale armor, this prevented the crows from leaving any wounds on me. Although my body was unharmed, my clothes were torn and tattered, leaving me almost naked. I swung my arm angrily. At that moment, a voice rang out, activate skill, void erosion, Suddenly, a strong purple smoke erupted from my arm, in just a moment, it covered all the crows. The flock of crows abruptly ceased their attack and fell to the ground one by one, feathers and flesh were rapidly corroded and dissolved in the purple smoke, the pain caused the flock of bird monsters to writhe on the ground. But after only about ten seconds, they all transformed into a strange state. Although the enemies were dealt with, I couldn't feel any excitement at the moment because void erosion had consumed a lot of my energy. Like a starving ghost, I looked at the poisonous mushrooms nearby, not caring about much else as I wanted to pick them to fill my stomach. However, a sudden sense of danger struck me from behind, forcing my survival instinct to immediately jump up, with a swoosh, I flew out. When I regained my senses, I realized that I was hanging upside down from the ceiling like Spider-Man. Looking closely, I saw a crow that was about 3 meters tall, it looked the same as the crows from before, but its eyes were blood red and it stared at me fiercely, as if glaring at an enemy. The Raven King spread its wings and aggressively flew towards me, leaving me no room to catch my breath. As an S-ranked individual, I was clearly underestimated in this beginner's village, so, instead of dodging, I decided to throw a powerful punch with my right fist. However, halfway through the swing, it suddenly became weak and feeble, in that moment, I felt my legs go weak, as if my body had been hollowed out. I lay on the ground like a lifeless Barbie doll, at the mercy of the Raven King, the sensation of impending death quickly washed over me. A hint of unwillingness arose in my heart. I had just been born and hadn't even gotten used to my body yet, on top of that, I had given birth to a scattered bugbear energy and used void erosion, and an empty stomach. 
The accumulation of these negative conditions resulted in me being unable to even defeat the monsters in the new bee village. I found it difficult to accept this reality for a moment, various negative emotions flooded my mind, never had I imagined that my level 122 self would die here. It would have been better to have been eaten by ants five years ago, in this critical moment between life and death, I felt angry and lost, so desperate that I burst into tears. With a longing for life and a sense of injustice towards my fate, I mustered all my strength and yelled defiantly towards the sky, help me. But in this apocalyptic world, who would risk their life to save a stranger? As I looked upon the empty streets, my heart sank, and I closed my eyes in despair. However, at that moment, an annoying buzzing sound came from afar, it resonated like the roar of an engine approaching at an incredible speed. Neither I nor the Raven King had time to react before its head fell to the ground. Before me stood a grotesque creature, somewhat similar to a bugbear in appearance, I could also sense from its pheromones that it was obedient to Queen. Upon hearing those words, my anxious heart calmed down, in this apocalyptic world, there was probably no other phrase that could provide a greater sense of safety. Soon, it was late at night, and the silence of this doomsday night was chilling. Bugbear and I sat on the street, while the wings of the fallen Raven King were slowly roasting by the bonfire. Bugbear voraciously feasted on the body of the Raven King, and the crunching of its strong bones resembled that of a hard candy, the scene was extremely bloody. I could guess that when we split up earlier today, Bugbear didn't immediately take action. Instead, it chose to absorb its own nutrients to cleanse its speed of movement. When I emitted the pheromone signaling danger upon the first attack. Bugbear instinctively rushed over to save its mother at the fastest speed, thinking about this, anger surged within me. This damn system was useless, not providing me with anything, it didn't even answer crucial questions or give me any special abilities like spatial manipulation or a level detection. Obviously I've read other post-apocalyptic novels that usually have some kind of space, psychic abilities, level detection, and so on, and here I have nothing. I decided to create my own cheat. If I could create a bugbear capable of killing my own mother, then surely I could create one to assess the strength of enemies. I held on to my resentment towards the system, channeling it into frustration, after deep contemplation for five seconds, a tremendous feeling of nausea immediately surged to my mouth. However, this time, the nausea wasn't as intense, perhaps I could really create something just like that. Soon, I expelled a white egg from my mouth, instantly, I felt my limbs go weak and collapsed to the ground. The intense sensation of hunger compelled me to reach out desperately for the chicken wings near the bonfire, at this moment, I finally understood, so, giving birth consumes life energy. And the bugbear was born to kill me, that's why it took away most of my energy, making me weak now. Meanwhile, the white egg had also hatched. As the shell cracked open, a black worm, resembling a centipede, crawled out. Under my terrified gaze, it crawled along the hand I extended and attached itself to the wall behind me, transforming into a centipede. It responded, Obey your command, you are currently in a weakened state, please eat quickly. Hearing this, I couldn't help but feel disgusted, this thing is even more repulsive than the bugbear, and it feels tingly on my arm. Since I couldn't speak due to lack of strength, I could only call out loudly in my mind, Bugbear, bring me some food. Perhaps my expectations for it were too high, I watched as it scurried over to me and spit out a lump of raw crow meat from its mouth. It was a chunk of meat mixed with unfinished bone fragments, floating in Bugbear's saliva. Instantly, my eyes widened in horror, even someone experienced in wilderness survival would have to consider whether eating this would drive them insane. Looking at these unidentified objects, I no longer had the energy to cry, I even felt that it would be better to just lie here and starve to death, but my growling stomach disagreed, just as I was about to command the bugbear to bring me some roasted wings. I suddenly realized that my body was shrinking slowly, and my strength was rapidly returning, in a matter of moments, my clothes were several sizes too big. With regained strength, I stood up, only to find that I was now only about one, two meters tall, even my long hair had turned into short hair, completely transforming into a lowly. Could it be that my skills can convert body organs into energy for my body to use? So, I traded height for this transformation, this skill can be used in this way too. Doesn't that mean I can switch between a mature lady, a young girl, and a lowly? As I was thinking about it, suddenly I didn't feel so bad anymore, I looked at my small hands, and it was even difficult to extend them from my sleeves. And I don't know if it's just my imagination, but now, even thinking feels a bit difficult, 
could it be that I become dumb, and my intelligence has turned into that of a child? Without worrying too much about thinking, replenishing energy is the most important thing right now, after giving a disdainful glance at the bugbear, I silently walked to the side of the bonfire. I grabbed a roasted wing and started devouring it hungrily. After eating my fill, I lay down on top of the bugbear and fell asleep. Meanwhile, on the other side of the city. Far away, an armed pickup truck quietly drove into this dead city with no living beings. Various monsters lurked in the shadows. They cautiously avoided the groups of monsters. Heading towards the tallest tower in the center, entwined with vines. This place is too dangerous, are we really going to come here? The nervous driver said. The woman in the passenger seat sternly replied, only the tree demon fruit here can save my sister's life, just drive and stop asking questions. The next day, the red sun rose again, casting its crimson light upon this apocalyptic city. Bugbear and I were on the rooftop, hunting down the bird creatures, through my experiments, I discovered that I could create weapons out of thin air and retract them at will. The centipede bracelet I grew yesterday was also functioning normally, assisting me in my tasks. What's more, Bugbear had become slightly smarter after some training, it would carefully divide the prey into several small portions whenever we dealt with food, I found Bugbear more and more pleasing to the eye, without the disgust I used to feel. I couldn't help but feel like a true mother. Just as we finished handling the bird meat and were about to head back. A strange sound came from a distance, the frequency was somewhat familiar, but I couldn't see anything. It was probably because both Bugbear and I had heightened senses, it was at least 500 meters away. So it couldn't be observed by the naked eye in the first instance. I was contemplating whether to hide, while Bugbear had already assumed a combat stance, fortunately, I managed to stop it in time, it's better to be cautious before knowing the opponent's strength, and not act impulsively. Soon, the source of the strange sound appeared in my field of vision, to my surprise, it was a slow-moving green pickup truck. And inside, I saw humans, I waved excitedly towards the vehicle, thrilled to see others in this post-apocalyptic world. However, what happened afterwards made me realize for the first time that the most terrifying thing in the apocalypse is not the monsters, but human nature. The wind and dust were blowing, the atmosphere was calm, a car, a person, a bug were just facing one another, no one took the lead to make a sound, Chin Shan had wanted to go up and fight with them, but he felt that the atmosphere didn't know, so he didn't go up, well, after a few seconds, the passenger seat of the pickup truck finally opened the door, a girl with short hair and short jeans and a white shirt jumped down from the top, little sister, are you a human? The young girl shouted excitedly at the side of the car, while Chin Shan heard the corner of his mouth twitch, clenched his small fists, and gritted his teeth, I'm not human, is there any chance that I'm still a monster? Chin Shan's tone was a bit angry, the young girl also scratched her head embarrassedly, but actually, Chin Shan was not angry because the human's identity was being questioned, however. Before Chin Shan could continue to be angry, the young girl shouted, What's with the bug? Monster next to you. Is it your summoning? What? Summoner. When she heard this word, Chen Shan blinked in confusion, then she turned around to look at the bug monster again, remembering the scene where she was pregnant in three seconds and gave birth in one second, she couldn't help but rub her chin and turned around to reply, it's probably just an incantation, Chen Shan just nodded his head, but for some reason, the girl was excited and her eyes were shining, under Chen Shan's puzzled gaze. The girl and the other two strong men on the pickup came down. Surrounding Chin Shan with friendly faces, and the girl even grabbed Chin Shan's hands directly, excitedly saying, little sister, can you do us a favor? Can you do us a favor, please, what kind of favor? What do you want? I don't know who you are, Chin Shan replied panically, not knowing why this woman was holding her hands so tightly. Behind her, the bugbear's body was trembling, as if it was trying to suppress its instinctive intention to kill, but Chin Shan had used pheromones to tell it not to hurt anyone, on the other hand, the short-haired girl on this side was trying to explain, my name is Aizya, I am a mercenary from Lijiang base, these two are my teammates Gong Cheng and Zhao Wei, we are together in search of tree demon fruit, Hello guys, my name is Chen Shan, looking at the excited and enthusiastic face of the young girl, Chen Shan always felt that something was strange, but still tried to politely respond to the other party, so AICA continued to explain, 
as for why we're looking for the tree demon fruit, it's because my elder sister, one of the senior guardians of Li Jiang base, is always fighting for the survival of mankind and is actively involved in the monster, but just the day. Before yesterday, she was attacked by a level 60 poison monster while on a mission. Sister, her life is now in danger, she needs to be treated with the tree magic fruit, Aizya said with an expectant look, but Chen Shan listened with a blank face, so what? I don't have the tree magic fruit, so I can't help you, upon hearing Chen Shan's answer, Athia blinked in surprise, little sister, don't you know? The crystal cores of high-level monsters are the best materials for making promotional materials, isn't it common knowledge that the effect of a gamma-level advancement agent is comparable to that of a tree demon fruit? And that summoned creature of yours that we just measured with our instruments in the car has a level of 70, as long as we kill it and take out the crystal core inside of it, we will be able to go back and make the potion, wait, you wait, Athia said excitedly, the man next to her also showed a look of joy, while Chen Shan was very shocked after hearing this and quickly interrupted them, so you mean you want to kill the bugbear? What's wrong with that? Hearing Chen Shan's questioning tone, Aisha tilted her head suspiciously, as if she was saying something rare, isn't the summoning skill something that can be used again once it cools down? We're aware that level 70 summoning is rare and will take a few months to cool down, but until then, we'll be well protected, so just do us a little favor, please, when she said that Essia even pursed her lips and bowed, as if she was acting cute and sincere, however, on the contrary, Chen Shan, after listening to the entire explanation, her face began to cloud over, immediately minimizing her goodwill towards these three, and even showing contempt in her eyes, this woman, how dare she. Morally kidnap me. Not to mention, that bugbear is my son, even if it's a pet summoned with a skill like she said, it's not possible for it to just die and go into a skill cooldown, is it? Am I stupid, or are they stupid? Or do they think I'm stupid? This is the end of the world, how is it possible to casually reduce one's combat power? With this thought in her mind, Ching Shan's face was already grim as she thought about how to reject them, but what she didn't know was that it wasn't that these three people thought she was stupid, but because Ching Shan was now the image of a one, two meter tall girl, as an adult, they would naturally think that Ching Shan was easy to fool, in that case. I'm afraid I can't help you, because a bugbear isn't. Quite the same as a summon, you can't just kill it at will, even though she was angry in her heart, but after all, this was the first group of humans she had met after five years of incubation, Chen Shan still tried to answer Aisha as kindly as possible at this moment, but what she did not expect was that right after she politely finished her speech, the faces of Athia and the two men instantly turned cold, and the hands that had been gripping them began to grow stronger, and under Chen Shan's Puzzled gaze, Athia suddenly pulled them away from the bugbear's body. She pulled her away from the bugbear's side and threw her back into Gong Cheng's arms. Kung Sung took over and immediately grabbed Chen Shan's arms from behind, pulling Chen Shan away from the bugbear and standing five meters away. What are you doing? Chen Shan was startled by the sudden change and angrily asked the other party, but at that moment, when he looked at A.I. Ya's face again, where was the naive and simple young girl's expression? The corners of her mouth were clearly twitching, revealing a contemptuous sneer, and she said to Chin Shan with a triumphant face, Little sister, it's not up to you anymore, Chin Shan asked angrily, while the faces of these three people showed a sinister smile, What do you mean? Then I'll tell you, my sister is the hero of Li River Base, an existence respected by everyone in the base, as long as we can save her life, what's the difference between a summon's life and death? I'm a little sorry, but since we were lucky enough to meet her today, who else would risk their lives to get the tree demon fruit, after saying that, Aizya even laughed sharply, obviously looking like a cute young girl, but this face disgusted Chin Shan, not even as good as the neighborhood termites, but even on this field, Chin Shan still did not want to do it, trying to calm herself down, after all. This is the first group of human beings she has encountered, a word to kill is too brutal, so. She just said coldly, let go or I will be rude to you, Chen Shan grimly warned, his face looks very bad, but the faces of Aizya and the two men do not have the slightest fear, but rather, smugly said little sister, I advise you to stop a little, I know that 70 levels of magic beasts are very powerful, but you are now in my hands, fooling around, I will let them rough it. 
Evil laughter echoing in the ears, cannot help but Chen Shan anger, but do not want to finish this sentence, smiling AC Ye even began to cover up even lazy to do, directly face ruthless command, now, immediately, let your summoning fall to the ground, otherwise, I will have Gong Ching break your fingers one by one, don't worry, we'll let go of the crystal core after we take it. It's just a matter of whether you want to cooperate or suffer, little sister, the cruel words echoed in the streets, the arrogant tone was infuriating, in order to get the so-called crystal core, the three adults of Aizya even went so far as to bully a young girl, this image couldn't help but add another sadness to the already cruel end of the world, but how could they, who were blinded by profit, remember that there was such a small child wandering around alone in this dangerous city? In the next second after Aizya's command was finished, Chen Shan's brain immediately received a message from Xiao Huan, report to the Bug Queen, the strength of the three humans is 1, 1, 2 and has been recorded in the information database, but then again, that little girl can actually summon a level 70 magic beast. That ability is truly amazing, and it's a good looking one inch I'm afraid this isn't an experiment from another base, is it? The camera panned back to the side of Aisha's trio, and that Zhao Wei who hadn't said anything all this time finally revealed his true nature as well, compared to the brutality of the other two, this guy's gaze had been roaming around Chen Shan's body for a while now, with a lewd look in his eyes from time to time, just as he was laughing, something unexpected happened to A.I. Siya, why don't we take this opportunity to take her back? I'm the best at dealing with this kind of untouched little sister, just let me teach her a little, Suddenly, Zhao Wei's voice came to an abrupt end and the sound of a splinter entering the flesh came from his direction, followed by a drop of blood splashing onto A.I. Siya's face. The woman, still smiling wickedly, only felt her cheek touch something cold, and for a moment she didn't react, her eyes frozen for a long time, until the next moment when she and Gong Cheng saw the segmented limb of the insect monster that had been protruded from Zhao Wei's abdomen alive. How dare you! Upon seeing this scene, Aisha screamed in horror, blood and internal organs were gushing out of Zhao Wei's wound, and the bloody liquid was rapidly dripping down his body like a river of strands, Zhao Wei's mouth was also spewing blood, but he couldn't even utter a word to ask for forgiveness at this point before he was lifted directly into the air by the bug monster, hanging upside down on the bug's legs like a candy cane, twitching all over, she is crazy, this child is crazy, how dare you hurt my brother, make the monster stop, Athia and Kung Sung went crazy on the spot, one screaming and cursing at Chin Shan while the other grabbed her arm tightly, trying to use the pain to force her to order the bug monster to stop. But the funny thing was that even though these two people were shouting with their mouths, their bodies were so nervous that they were constantly shaking, they were shouting while backing away from the bug monster, it was obvious that they were actually very scrupulous about the bug monster, they thought that a small child would be very easy to trick, who would have thought that this child would kill at the drop of a hat. In case the little girl gives the bug monster a deadly order to destroy everything, even if you kill her, we will also save Zhao Wei, who was poked in the air by the bug monster and sent out a faint cry for help, because a large amount of blood was spewing out of his mouth, making those two simple words sound very embarrassing, however, in the face of this steel monster, where did Aisha and Gong Ching dare to take a step forward? Not to mention the fact that most level 70 monsters were invulnerable to knives and guns, just the scene of it lifting a person into the sky, spraying blood on the ground, and catching the blood and water to drink with its sharp teeth underneath was enough to shock them for a whole year. Luckily, Dong Ching still had some conscience as he gritted his teeth and stared at the dying Zhao Wei, and finally remembered something and sternly commanded Chen Shan, I told you to tell it to stop, did you hear me? Tell this monster to put Zhao Wei down, immediately, the man's roar echoed throughout the street, and his angry tone couldn't help but be intimidating, in between shouting, he also twisted Chen Shan's arm tightly, hoping to continue to warn the girl with pain, perhaps in his mind, he still had the initiative, unfortunately, Gong Cheng was too naive, even though Chen Shan had the body of a lowly, under the enhancement of various passive abilities, her defense was one of the strongest, not to Mention whether humans can rely on brute force to hurt her even before the three-meter-tall crow ghost king, but also did not break open Chen Shan's skin to hear. 
Noticing that the beast's eyes were fixed on him, Gong Cheng began to scream hysterically, the cold sweat on his head coming out layer by layer, and his legs continued to back up, but only halfway through his words, his voice suddenly stopped, because he was shocked to find that the young girl in his hand had actually turned her head 180 degrees at that moment, the connection between the neck and the head was twisted, and there was a horrible smile on her face, staring at him, not human. These three words immediately popped into Gong Cheng's mind, before he could release Chen Shan, Chen Shan suddenly opened her mouth, and in a flash of white light, a crow ghost-like steel thorn shot out from Lori's throat, hitting Gong Cheng right in the middle of his eyebrow, it penetrated more than 10 centimeters into his brain, Kung Xing, whose head was blown off, collapsed on the ground, his eyes were white and his limbs were twitching, it seemed that he was already hopeless. Chen Shan, who had solved Kung Sung's problem, first turned his head back, blinked his eyes, and moved his muscles before rubbing his chin thoughtfully, why did he feel no guilt at all after killing someone, and even felt a little pleasure. Speaking of which, after eating the Crow Ghost King, I was able to skillfully copy its abilities, so what happens when I eat humans? Will I get their skills as well? Thinking about it, Chen Shan had slowly turned his head and shifted his gaze to Athia, the unknown white-haired lowly with scarlet ice-cold pupils and the blood spurting from the man's brain on his face, adding a few more points of ferocity to that cold and heartless face, apparently only two meters tall, but as if a god of death was standing in the middle of the street, there was no hint of friendliness in their eyes towards Athia, but rather an exploration of the unknown and a curiosity for. Food, you stay back. Those eyes scared A.I. Sia to death, and the emotionally upset A.I. Sia even collapsed on the spot, accidentally sitting on the ground as she backed up, trembling and shouting, My sister is one of the guardians of the Li River base, and if you kill her, she'll hunt you to the ends of the earth. Did you hear me clearly? However, seeing A. Sia's tremble appearance, Chin Shan's lips pursed, a small step forward, a small step forward, somehow Chin Shan actually feel a little funny, particularly having seen the opposite side of the tremble appearance, like even the taste of their delicious, why is this moment so afraid to return to the appearance of just now, please, if you are like this, if you threaten me like this, then I do not have to kill you. For some reason, after smelling the smell of fresh blood, Chin. Sean became abnormally excited. Although she tried to remain calm, the corners of her mouth could no longer control themselves as they lifted up in a fearful smile, but didn't you just say that your sister was dying of an illness and needed the tree demon fruit to save her? I guess I don't need to be afraid of a dead person. Right? But, when Isaiah saw the white-haired young girl coming closer and closer, she was already trembling and crying with fear, but there are other guardians in the Lee River, they hurt me, they won't stop, so what? Chin Shan smiled and walked over, holding her pink face in her right hand, her eyes emitting a terrifying red light, looking very confident, however. The corner of Aizya's mouth that had already collapsed in fear lifted in a slight curve just as Chin Shan was half a meter away from her. Because from her perspective, above the pickup truck, a man was lying on his back with a barret set up. Aiming directly at Chen Shan's head and pulling the trigger without hesitation, it turned out to be another team member, it was like a bolt of lightning, instantly breaking the silence, the sound of the Barrett's gunshot was earth-shattering echoing in the streets above the aftermath, even the birds and monsters a hundred meters away were terrified and flew in all directions. Isaiah and the man who fired the gun were completely stunned at that moment, their eyes wide open, their mouths wide. Open, their faces terribly pale, tears and snot flowing from their mouths, but unable to utter a single word in shock, because that young girl, that little lowly who looked like a bully, actually turned and caught the bullet the moment Barrett fired, caught the bullet with her damn right hand. How is that possible? The man with the Barrett finally let out a desperate scream, and in the next second, a leaping bogey fell from the sky and kicked the man in the back with one leg, taking the pickup truck with it. Screams followed and blood quickly spread from the roof of the truck to the ground, it was hard to imagine how sharp the bugbear's leg really was, at the same time Isaiah's side shocked to despair her, pupils are constantly shaking, in her eyes. What she is seeing is the end of the world for five years, have never seen the strange, the girl's right arm seems brown, the skin is scaly, it should be that the scales of armor, so that she blocked the bullet, 
and after she caught the bullet, a strong pressure emanated from her body, I don't know if it was Aisha's illusion, but that young girl's body seemed to be getting bigger and bigger. Chen Shan's body expanded and soon squeezed through the narrow children's clothes, making gusts of tearing noises, the rags were already difficult to cover that plump and enchanting body, white jade arms, long and slender legs, and delicate bare feet were all on display for a while, and the good thing was that the shredded fabrics barely covered the most important parts, there is also a head of flowing beautiful white hair, has grown to hang down to the waist place, smooth as snow, even has. Been scared silly Aisya C cannot help but marvel in the heart, so beautiful, in the Aisya dumbfounded when Chen Shan has gone to the other side, squatting on the ground crooked head to look at her, at this time the Aisya back to the god, shocked and begged for forgiveness, I'm sorry, I just wanted to warn you, I didn't mean for him to shoot, before she could finish her sentence, Chen Shan suddenly raised his hand and pinched her chin. This scared A.I.C. not only did she let out an embarrassed sound, but it seemed as if a warm liquid was pouring out of her lower body, frightening her to the point of incontinence, I'm sorry, it's okay, looking at the trembling young girl, Chen Shan, who had transformed back into an adult body, smiled faintly and somehow showed a kind face, actually, it's not impossible for me to let you go, but first, I want to ask you a few things, please ask, hearing this gentle and lovely big sisters. Voice, Aishia for a while are a little confused, cannot distinguish in front of this in the end is not this homicidal young girl, can only be answered in a hurry, and Chin Shan is also not slow to purse his lips, eyes in the Aishia's arms and feet paying attention for a long time, and only grudgingly suppressed the desire to smile, and said Li River Base where. How to go to the nearest? It's about 40 kilometers south, there was a map in the car, and the nearby bases were all marked. Are the strong people in the Li River base very strong? How are you compared to them? Very strong, Gong Cheng is the strongest of the four of us, but even with twenty of them, he couldn't defeat a single guardian, and there are more than ten guardians in the base, Aisha replied without thinking, so there's no human base in Long Harbor. Dragon Harbor is a heavily fortified area, ordinary people don't go there, and we came here to steal the tree magic fruit, I'm really sorry. I really didn't mean to hurt, said Aisiya once again revealed a crying voice, looked very pitiful, Chu Chu touched, Chin Shan also slightly lovingly rubbed her face, continued to ask, nothing, but you guys said that tree magic fruit, after eating it, what is the effect? Can you give me a detailed description? That, I do not know exactly, but the plant system magic beings in the growth to that size after the crystal core will show fruit, after eating it can greatly enhance the ability of the eater, also has a very strong immune effect on the poison, cannot be found, known to be a large-scale plant is only here in the dragon's port, careful to explain half of the road, Aisya suddenly brightly, cannot wait to say, if you want to take the tree devil's fruit, I can take you there, I have experience in, fetching small tree demon fruits, and I also have a device in my car, you can definitely use me, I'm sure you can use me, so please, I'm begging you, good, very good, you're very good, after listening to Athia's words, Chin Shan smiled, patted her head, and stood up again, seemingly very satisfied with her abilities and answers, her charming big sister smile looking very friendly. And after seeing Chen Shan's smile, A.I.C. finally let out a sigh of relief, revealing a resentful smile that she had escaped, although she still looked scared on the surface, her eyes had actually revealed a sinister color, there is a tracking device in the car, and I am the younger sister of a guardian, those guys who like to court my sister will not need half a day to come to the rescue, and you will be dead by then, before that, it is just right for you to steal the tree's magic fruit. For me, it really is an idiot to go out alone, so what if it is strong? This is the gap caused by the difference in information, bitch. With this thought in her mind, A.I.C. had already stood up silently, her legs were weak from the excessive shock, and she could only limp after Chin Shan. So, Chin Shan's sister, are we going to find the tree demon fruit now? Let's wrap up the corpse first. Chin Shan said without looking back, her tone was bland, while Aisha pretended to be pitiful to stall for time and said, okay, but they are all my teammates, can we bury them a bit or cremate them as well, please, the sobbing young girl whispered, the rough voice alone was enough to make people feel sympathetic, not to mention that her appearance was very pure as well, and her face was still covered with pitiful tears, 
but in the next second Aisha froze as Chin Shan turned back to her after. Hearing her words and smiled at her for some reason, what are you talking about? A bad premonition surged into her heart Athia trembled and took a step back, her heartbeat beginning to speed up crazily again, and soon she saw that the white-haired woman's corners of her flirtatious mouth lifted, revealing a sweet smile that didn't contain a trace of hostility, and could even be said to be unusual, like a mother after a rough meal. But the words coming out of her mouth frightened her, where do you find such a good ingredient, of course it's to be eaten by bugbears, and saying that, a shadow suddenly covered Isia, and she only felt a cold chill coming from behind her back, which frightened her so much that her face paled and her mouth and eyes looked shocked, and ladies first, it wasn't the young girl's screams that echoed through the streets. It was the sound of the bugbear chewing on flesh and bone, ten minutes later. The bodies of the four people were basically eaten by bugbear, it is not squeamish, no matter the bones or clothes swallowed into a brain, look actually let Chen Shan a bit greedy, but in the end, Chen Shan still not a bite, can only say that although their psychology is different from normal people, but look at this and their own same human body structure, really still can't eat, I'd rather catch a few birds and fry them for dinner. Said the beast, did you become stronger after eating them? Did you gain any new abilities? Chin Shan already patted the bugbear who was still chewing on the ground, but this kid is a rash, very serious when eating, didn't hear Chin Shan's question at all, so much so that Chin Shan sometimes wondered if it could hear the sound or not, forget it, you take your time to nibble, I'll go to the car to take a look, seeing that bugbear ignored her, Chin Shan had a slight look of disgust on her face. She then walked over to the pickup truck and got in, trying to find some props that could be Used, and as expected, once she got into the car, Chin Shan saw that a map of D3 province was spread out on the steering wheel, with many symbols labeled, presumably the locations of the other bases, a map. But there's no rush to look at it now, let's fold it up and put it away first, is that a windproof lighter? Yes, so I don't have to use a magnifying glass to light a fire, what is this little box? It's quite exquisite, smartphone. I forgot to mention that the roasted crow ghost king was roasted with a magnifying glass focused on the paper for a full five hours, so it was nighttime when I ate it, as for now, drilled into the car Chin Shan picked up a mobile phone-like instrument, eyes with a curious light, constantly looking to see, I must say, among the end of the world among the feeling of looting is simply great, Chin Shan just fumbled around a bit, and got so many new things, combat strength measurement 273, estimated. Level 22 inch human, no alien magic sensed, when the smartphone was pointed at himself, it actually emitted a system-like beep, Chin Shan blinked in surprise and hurriedly pointed it back at the ghost outside the car, combat power assessment, expected level 71, bug race, no ectomagic power detected, it turned out that this was what they used to measure that the scarab was level 70. Chen Shan's reaction was very fast, and she immediately understood that this thing was an item like the battle power measuring instrument, so it was no wonder that the three of them, Aisia, had set their eyes on Bugbear as soon as they got off the bus, but they just didn't know if this thing was a product of the system or if it was made by Li Jiang base itself, she had an obvious level of 122, but the meter said she had level 22, which meant she wasn't 100 steps ahead, forget it, I can't say. That it will be useful in the future, put it away first, with that thought, she put the sizer, lighter, and map on the driver's seat, and then fumbled around for a while, but found that there were no more materials to scavenge in the front row, so she had no choice but to climb to the back seat, but what Chen Shan didn't expect was that the space in the back of the car was actually very big. Chen Shan had just pushed her ample breasts out from between the seats when she saw a bright light in front of her eyes and saw a piece of material that she did not even dare to think about. This is it, light from the bogeyman before the hole poked and shines, will be inside the car items coated with a layer of divine light, a time of joy and excitement rushed to the brain, only to see the corner of Chen Shan's mouth up, cannot help but shouted, is this a refrigerator? The camera turned around, appeared in front of Chen Shan, but there were two small refrigerators, two cabinets, in addition to several guns and knives. To an ordinary person, looking at this scene, the first thing to do is to check the weapons, after all, firepower is the king, all the anxiety stems from the lack of firepower, 
but Chen Shan cannot care about this point of firearms, after all, even Barrett's bullets she can catch empty-handed just a little pain, see Chen Shan cannot wait to climb in, with great anticipation to open one of the fridge, and then what appeared inside actually shocked her again for a hundred years. Beautiful glass, red bottle, in the ice between the exhibition of seductive and sexy body, as well as winking like non-stop bubbles of the spiral, which is like a red dress dancer under the spotlight, beautiful, dazzling. It is Coca-Cola, is this Coke? When Chen Shan saw this thing, he was so excited that he almost didn't cry, after taking it out, he rubbed it on his face like an affectionate child, that freezing cold feeling was absolutely right, even before opening the bottle, Chen Shan could smell its fragrance, it was so sweet, the survivor base could still produce something like this. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I can only say that I am worthy of being a citizen of Yan Huang, even at the end of the world, I do not forget to produce happy water, thanks to the end of the world, the human race did not become extinct, then it looks like I have to find a way to get to the Li River base, I need to get more, more, while holding the bottle of coke. Chen Shan made up her mind with a determined look in her eyes, unaware that the other ingredients in the fridge were sweating. Slightly, as if shouting at her, look at me too, don't just focus on the coke. But after the excitement, Chen Shan quickly settled down again, looking at the refrigerator with more than two dozen bottles of happy water, she couldn't help but frown and fall into a deep thought, but even though there are so many colas and cans, I can't finish them all at once, the refrigerator will be cut off if she leaves the cart, and all the ingredients except the cans will rot for a long time. So they won't last for a few days at all, and this car looks like it can't be driven by the bogeyman falling from the sky, if this goes on, the ice cold water will become room temperature cold water, don't think about that kind of thing, Chen Shan is already kneeling on the ground, clutching her head, her pupils are seismic, it looks like she can't drink the ice cola's blow to her, it seems to be several times more painful than the Aizya's assassination, however, she was as smart as she was, how could she be stopped by such a small thing? Soon, she thought of another way, since I can even give birth to a small ring to determine combat power, why not give birth to a storage ring that can follow me anywhere at any time? Other people have stockpiles, I have a stockpile of meat, doesn't that sound kind of cool? Thinking like this, the innocent and cute Chen Shan blinked her eyes, however, she soon shook her head again as she remembered the previous two times, giving birth to a child consumed a huge amount of energy, and she still had to get the tree demon fruit now, so how could she reduce her combat power for the sake of a few bottles of cola? Just as she thought, Chen Shan had already taken the backpack out of the cupboard, the fridge could hold almost everything, as for the weapons, she only chose a gun that looked better to use, and of course, Chen Shan, who was wearing rags at the end, had to find a dress. It just so happened that there were some spare camouflage uniforms and undershirts in the locker, so of course she didn't mind wearing them with only a few strips of cloth hanging from her body, one thing I would like to mention here is that due to the consumption of a large amount of crow ghost king meat earlier, Chen Shan had already regained her full strength, and she was 6 or 7 centimeters taller than when she was just born. That is, she was 6 or 7 meters tall, although the camouflage uniform was a man's size, Chen Shan, who had a slender lower body, was surprisingly squat when he put on the pants, white vest firmly attached to the body, will be the crest of the peak of the body attitude to show the most, bumps clear, especially the pair of children sin rising, like two white peaches as soft, tender and juicy, where camouflage clothing Chen Shan looks charming and breathtaking. Just like the army is known as the flower of the high ridge of female soldiers, but still there is one thing that makes Chen Shan very unhappy, that is, this clothing chest buttons for various reasons and cannot be buttoned up, so she could only open the collar, bastard, why is she not as tall as a lowly? Chen Shan, who had just awakened two days ago, was once again seriously dissatisfied with her body, these two things won't get in the way when they fight, right? No. What did you say? My sister was killed. Some forty kilometers away, in a simple and ramshackle mud house, a skinny woman lying on the bed suddenly screamed in shock, her eyes full of incredulity, her lips purple, her face black, obviously poisoned by some strange poison, but from the graceful contours of her face, she must be a beautiful woman before being poisoned, seeing each other so sad, the bedside maid's face also revealed the color of grief, 
can only helplessly explain, yes, according to the news they sent back, seems to have encountered. A cool humanoid monster, is likely to be the most intelligent species of monster, Yali brother only said a phrase the other party is gray hair, height of 1 meter 2 or so, hung up the radio to go to help eyes Yashi, and then there's no news, no matter how I contact cannot be reached, unable to contact. How, after hearing these words, the woman on the bed sucked in a breath of cold air in desperation, this is a sickly face at this time also looks more haggard, can only stare at the ceiling, silent tears, I clearly said, do not go to find the tree magic fruit, will find a way to solve the poison, AC of this stupid guy, why is not listening, why, the I must personally kill this monster, I'll kill it myself, mess, Asida. calm down, it's better to nurse your wounds first, when the maid heard. The woman's weak cough, she rushed over to the other woman's chest, heartbreakingly convinced, this sick woman is obviously Aisida's sister Aisida, as she said, Aisida's body is poisoned, if there is no antidote for fear that time will run out, and so she did not say for her sister's revenge, even the periphery of the dragon harbor cannot enter, cannot help but clench their teeth and cry, damn, damn wisdom species. Regret and reluctance filled Aisida's nerves as she shed tears, clenched her fists, and gritted her teeth, however, just when the atmosphere in the room was at its saddest, the door to the room suddenly opened, Miss Aisida, it seems that your body is still not well, the two women looked at the door in surprise only to see a middle-aged man dressed in formal attire with a straight posture bringing in a group of his minions. As soon as the man came in, he smiled and waved his hand to indicate. That his minions should stand far away and not disturb Aisida's rest, looking quite friendly, but when Aisida saw this, her gaze suddenly darkened and she just asked in an icy tone, What are you doing here? Of course I am concerned about Miss Aisida, the man said sincerely, speaking between the bedside of Aisida, crouched on the side of the smile and explained, I heard that Isaiah's sister in the Dragon Harbor lost the message, I'm afraid that you are afraid to hurt your body, especially come to comfort you a bit, this damned world is like this, sometimes do not pay attention to the side of loved ones will be gone. So a side amiss or do not be too sad, the first to recover the body rest more, right? The man's comforting tone is very gentle, looks like an Aisida relationship close, but in the eyes of Aisida, the man this meaning of smiling always give a person a sense of yin and yang, plus the other side of the group is not what's good, so still put on a grim expression and replied, what do you really want to say, do not be so serious, well, Aisida, you know, although Aisida repeatedly looked at him with cold eyes, the man still smiled carelessly, even though you have rejected me countless times, I have never complained or been dissatisfied with you, and now you are seriously injured, and the people around you have almost disappeared, right, no one will follow a dying person at the end of the world, even if she was once the most sought after, beautiful, and faultless guardian of the Lord, dying in this dilapidated pavilion, with revenge for your sister out of reach, is it hard to believe that you would be willing to do that? However, my manpower is quite sufficient, not to mention a mere intelligent species, even if it's a lord-level magical beast that I can easily defeat, avenging my beloved wife or something like that, I'm still very happy to do that kind of thing, the man's tone became more and more arrogant, and his gaze towards Aisida finally revealed aggression, as if he was looking at a toy in his hand, a bottle of gamma-level tonic, plus the killing of that wisdom species, in exchange for you being my wife. How about that, it's reasonable, isn't it? It's better than dying of disease in this building, isn't it? In the end, the man finally said the terms, his face full of self-satisfaction, even the maid at the bedside covered her mouth in surprise when she heard it, on the contrary, Aisida just bit her lips, clenched her fists, and did not answer, obviously, before she was still the Lee River base's most important powerhouse, she never thought that now she would have to be received by a man who could not even look at her. How sad, however, when she thought about her sister being abused by some wild trash intelligent species, the anger in her heart could not be soothed, could not be soothed at all, after a moment's thought, her face was already terribly dark, but she still gritted her teeth and said, you, taking advantage of my danger, of course you can refuse, I will not force you, the man smiled and spread his hands, showing what he called an attitude, finally, the gamma promoter is out of reach, I still, Want to train a new second-in-command, do you know how many of my men would be unhappy if I gave it to you? I can take a lot of pressure before I come to you, 
saying that, the man's face also showed a look of heartbreak, it seems that the promotion agent is a very valuable thing in Lee River Base, finally, after the second hesitation, Isida's gaze darkened, and her tightly clenched jade teeth gradually loosened, she still resigned to her fate, at the end of the world, who could protect everyone. The only truth is to live and grow stronger, only then can we afford those dead relatives, all right, after that, I'll be yours, Isida said confidently, her eyes full of resolve, while the man heard it and immediately said excitedly, painful, worthy to be the woman who became the guardian, from now on, you are my wife, but there is something more, the sickly Isida even spoke breathlessly, but still she braced herself, sat up, weak and frail, staring straight at the man, her eyes filled. With more than reluctance, more than anger, more than hatred, there is one more thing, this damned white-haired intelligent species, I will kill them with my own hands, you must bring her back alive, no problem, plain and simple. Boom, with Chen Shan's gentle reminder, the bugbear that had been carrying Chen Shan for several kilometers collapsed to the ground, Chen Shan, this guy didn't even think about the kid's stamina, and made two big backpacks of supplies for the bugbear to carry, plus he himself sat on top of the other guy, and the poor bugbear had to walk for two whole hours, poor bugbear walked for two whole hours, and why is the bugbear so strong but so slow? Come on, this is a bug that specializes in speed, explosion, and attack, after eating the crow ghosts, it only grew a little, and it is not even as tall as Chin Shan, it's not even as big as Chin Shan, it's not good at prolonged physical labor, so it's good that it didn't die suddenly, I thought it would be easy for you to carry me around. Seeing this, Chin Shan quickly jumped down from his back to commiserate with the other party, while the beetle shakily supported his body, bowed to Chin Shan with his remaining strength, and responded sincerely with pheromones, as you commanded by the queen of beetles, I don't know why, Chin Shan felt that his conscience was being poked hard, well, at this time, we have already reached the TV tower, no need for bugbear to continue walking, the sky is a little dark, night is coming, why don't we? Just let the bugbear rest here, he can sneak up to take a look, or if not, he can come down to the ground to sleep for the night, all right, bugbear, you obediently rest here, I'll go back, you watch the supplies on the line, don't provoke any unnecessary trouble, okay? I'll be right back, just keep an eye on the supplies and don't cause any unnecessary trouble, got it? The bugbear replied without thinking, and then collapsed on the ground, lying down quietly, looking like the child is exhausted, but this Chin Shan is a bit speechless because she does not know if the bugbear really understands, it shouldn't have anything else to do but attack other monsters, right? Why don't I just come back early, with a little worry, Chin Shan decided to only visit the first few floors of the TV tower before nightfall, this is the highest sightseeing TV tower in D3 province, with the appearance of a four-pronged cone that tapers from bottom to top, and is only the size of a room when it reaches the top of the tower, at one time it could light up the entire region at night. The bright lights flashing until the early hours of the morning, it was a very good place to visit. But for now it looked corrupt and dead, under the dusk a thick and terrible green vine was winding and spreading from the bottom of the TV tower all the way to the top almost choking the cracks in the walls of every floor, branches and leaves were sticking out of the cracks and windows, like leeches feeding on the nutrients of the building, you couldn't help but be alarmed. However, this was not the main point for Chin Shan, the main point was that the height of this building was 400 meters, it would take at least three hours to climb to the top and then climb down again, with this kind of random idea, Chen Shan silently entered the door of the TV tower, there is also a huge board at the entrance, which reads welcome to the D3 TV tower, and now it has such an ironic look, not surprisingly, the inside of the tower was very dark and full of plant roots, and branches that took up almost a quarter of the space, so much so that there were places where Chen Shan couldn't even squeeze in, fortunately, there weren't too many plants in the safe passage, so Chin Shan opened the door and looked up, and then she couldn't help but sigh, it's so high. The stairs of the safe passage extended to the top few floors, wrapped around the view in a circle, and finally dissolved into a small point at the limit, such a height cannot help but make Chin Xian more determined to walk just a few floors down the idea, with the attitude to try, Chin Xian is already walking quietly on the staircase, towards the plant TV tower copy walk in, the building is very quiet, quiet only to hear Chin Xian's steps, then the sound of breathing is slowly heard, that is, the sound of the old woman's nostril, 
but I don't know if it's Chin Shan's illusion, but it seems like the higher up you go, the denser the plant divisions become, and the less light there is, until you get to about a dozen floors, and the surroundings are as dark as night, and you can't help but make Chin Shan shiver. On the other hand, if I only go through the safe passage, isn't it at all clear which floor the tree demon fruit will be on? If that's the case, will I have to look for it on every floor? If that's the case, when do I need to find it? Forget it, just find one floor to look at and then go back. With this thought in his mind, Chin Shan looked at the building sign with the number 21 on it, and without thinking, he stepped out of the safe passage, regardless of whether this was the case or not, Chin Shan who had just arrived at the 21st floor, was instantly surprised by the scene in front of him, only up to the 20th floor. But the density of the plants in the room was far greater than that of the first floor, as far as the eye could see, everything was green, and for a moment, Chen Shan thought that he had entered the tropical rainforest, damn, when will we find it? How can we find the fruit among all these plants? As he muttered to himself, Chen Shan had already entered this floor, only the faint dusk light could enter through the windows, making this floor look eerie, but on second thought, with a name as strong as tree demon fruit, it should be very noticeable, or at least not green, with this thought in his mind, Chen Shan was already walking around the room. It seems a bit cold. Shrugging his head and rubbing his arms, Chen Shan looked at all the strange plants and fancy mushrooms around him, and spat out a cold sweat. I always feel like I am working for nothing, even though it is said that the fruit can increase my strength, but I am already at level 122, will it still have any effect after I eat it? Otherwise, let's forget about it, why don't we go down first and come back tomorrow when it's light? Okay, tomorrow, come back tomorrow, perhaps it was because it was too scary, without even finishing the inspection of the first floor, Chen Shan beat a retreat, talking to herself and convincing herself to come back she suddenly realized that the place that should have been a safe passage was covered with plants when she took a few steps back. She didn't know if she was going in the wrong direction or if she remembered the wrong place, what was going on. How could this be, when the exit disappeared, Chen Shan immediately became nervous, hurriedly ran to the outer wall, and ran against the wall for a few meters, only to find that there was no way out from where the exit was supposed to be. And the plants around her are growing more and more, obviously they're all dead things, but they're giving her an indescribable pressure that can't stop Chin Shan's head from breaking out in a cold sweat, what is it? A ghost hitting the wall? Or am I too nervous? Is it running in the opposite direction? Then, after walking along the wall for several yards, but still did not see the door of the safety corridor, he was sure that he was trapped on this floor, TV tower sightseeing floor is a circular room, and every time she walks through a weak, plant division location seems not quite the same, such a strange scene cannot help but Chen Shan cold sweat, actually some fear back to the window, staring at the scene before her, gritted teeth and cursed, what are you, the demons and monsters are. Scattering quickly, I'm a level 122 inch be careful, I'll smash you with one punch, she shouted in the direction of no one, trying to retreat from the guy who was scaring her, but when she looked around, there were no ghosts or monsters here. But also because of this, Chen Shan has become more nervous, see no one enemy reaction, can only grit his teeth and shout it again, well, see me break this circle of the wall, you still how to hide the stairs, Chen Shan had already swung her fist, ready to smash the outer wall beside her, but the very next second she swung her fist, the enemy in the room finally appeared, the actual plant, a vine ran through the air, its speed was like an arrow, Chen Shan was surprised and caught by the other party, when she regained her senses, her right arm, legs, and waist were actually bound by several vines, her outstretched fist was also frozen in mid-air, and when the screen spun around, she was already bound by the vines in mid-air, and her whole body was hanging. Queen Bug, the plant strength is 4, it was recorded in the information database. What, the small ring on her arm gave a hint, and Chen Shan realized that this was a plant monster, plants could actually move, however, not all plants were magical creatures, only the green, arm-thick vines, they were all branches that had been detached from the main vine outside, and their purpose was to drain the energy of all visiting creatures, just like the insect catching flowers, damn it, it's obvious that the strength is only four. So why is the power so great, as soon as she realized? 
The identity of her enemy, Chen Shan fought with all her might to break the vines binding her, but she had underestimated the power of the vines, even though the strength of one vine was not as strong as her own, no matter whether it was her arms, legs, or body, there were four, five, or even six or seven vines wrapped around her, gradually tightening and choking her with force, and very soon, her hands were tied behind her head, and she was forced to raise her arms, forcibly binding the upper. Half of Chen Shan's body, Chen Shan's upper body was forced to lean back, and even the buttons of her camouflage jacket finally collapsed, revealing the snow-white underwear inside. As for the lower half of her body, her legs were also tightly bound, the tight vines strangling the camouflage uniform with a series of strangulation marks, making her long and slender legs look as if they had been tied up several times with ropes, and she was unable to move at all, damn it, the desperate Chen Shan let go and screamed, but no matter how much he twisted his body, the vines just got tighter and tighter, and even more desperate, perhaps fearing Chen Shan's cry for help to attract. Companions, they specially separated a tendril tying her mouth, released, now even the mouth was completely sealed, because of the reason of internal impatience, Chen Shan's white face is now a little red, but how she fought, the person can only be like a chrysalis in the air, wriggling in all directions, more and more tendrils tied in all directions, more and more vines twisted in all directions, if this goes on, she will probably be trapped here forever, next, another vine appeared. The cold and slippery touch, as well as the arrogant act of probing all the way down, could not help but make Chin Shan feel ashamed and indignant, but it soon reached the position of the abdomen, pushing the waistband of the camouflage pants to break, the vines reached strange places as Chin Shan let out an uncontrollable tirade, however, in the next second, her anger level skyrocketed to the peak, how can a plant bully me? Don't look down on me, you bastard who likes to pick up women's pants, Finally, Chen Shan, angry to the extreme, launched a counterattack, she used her bioenergy to quickly condense scaly keratin in her right hand, so that a long, sharp brown blade once again replaced her right hand, piercing through the vines, only to see her hand rise and fall, and the light of the blade flashing. Half of the vine monster that had been rampaging around for the past second had been sliced in half, you only have 40% of my strength, if you want to play bondage with me, go back and practice for another hundred years. As Chen Shan's explosive roar echoed through the tower, the scale-armored blade in her right hand swung down again, a large number of vines were shredded by it, and those vine tentacles retreated backwards like mad, fearing that they would be covered by Chen Shan's attack, however, Chen Shan jumped up like a madman, at that moment can be described as swords and shadows, bloody rain, bodies everywhere, everywhere in the plant ruins, whether it is not a tendril monster were hacked to pieces. Chen Shan arm on the small ring is completely frightened, by the killing intent pheromones emanating from the body of Chen Shan shocked to tremble, do not dare to make a sound, if these vine monsters can talk, what they want to say at this moment must be, we just instinctively want to hunt for food finally, after five minutes of wild chopping, Chen Shan's surroundings are all broken branches and willows, and there is no living thing that can move. But gasping for breath, she is still difficult to solve the hate, biting her teeth and staring at the room of plants, a must to the harassment of her guys all cut off the roots of the appearance, reported to the bug queen, there is no enemy response, small ring with her melon child big head weakly emerged so a sound, and Chen Shan after hearing finally regained his composure, cannot help but be shocked. How can I suddenly send such a big fire? Fortunately, you reminded me a uh, small ring, while the small ring was afraid to make a noise, Chen Shan's embarrassment caused him to scratch his head, and he said with a hasty laugh, then take advantage of now hurry up and run, and wait for tomorrow's dawn I will come back to clean up these guys, today I did not control my emotions, sorry, said Chen Shan also embarrassed to scratch his face, whispered to the small ring apologized, but I don't know if the other party heard it, but the other party did not hear it, I don't know if the other party understands this, but just as Chen Shan was about to walk towards the safe passage, Little Ring, who had been silent all this time, once again emitted pheromones, urgently reminding him, report to the queen of insects, a large number of plant monster reactions have appeared around us, in the darkness of the night. The vines from the upper and lower sides of the television tower swelled madly toward the 21st floor. Although the vines were numerous, their defenses were not very strong, 
after more than an hour of fierce battle, Chen Shan, wearing a battle-damaged version of her clothes, finally limped out of the TV tower as the night sky and moon stars thinned, his pants had several holes in them, his camouflage jacket was gone, his white undershirt had many tears from the vines tearing it, and even his shoes were lost somewhere, at this moment, Chen Shan's pupils had already lost their highlights, and her face was full of lifelessness, making her look miserable and incomparable, and she went all the way to the goblin's side after the TV tower, sat down on the ground in silence, picked up the backpack, took out the coke, opened the bottle cap, and drank bitter wine into her heart for pain, why can I be so vegetable level 122, SSS level skills secretly developed for 5 years, sucking the essence of the environment for 5 years, but I can't even fuck a plant, and almost lost her virginity. Chen Shan cannot help but have deep doubts about their own strength, once felt that the level and so on are all a lie. But of course, when I fought with Aizya and the others before, I felt that they were all weak, why did I become such a bull when facing monsters? Was it because my experience in the end times was too little? Or is it that I'm not cautious enough and shouldn't go in openly? It can't be that the strength of the monsters in this city is much higher than in other cities, right? My luck can't be that bad, if I think back to the beginning of the end of the world, there were about a hundred buildings in total in the neighborhood, and the group of ant monsters had targeted my own building, the monsters I encountered after my resurrection were all more powerful than each other, and I was almost killed by them even though it was not easy to see them. It must be because the system is jealous that I've acquired SSS ranked skills so it deliberately lowered my luck value. That's how it must be. Thinking about it, Chen Shan couldn't help but secretly grit his teeth and cursed the system a thousand times in his heart, but cursing is cursing, the tree demon fruit still needs to be taken, after all, I can't take a trip for nothing, if it's dangerous to go up from the inside, why don't I just fly over from the sky? It has wings, I'll find a way to feed it more food so it can prioritize the development of its feathers, right? But where can I find so much food for it? Even after eating the crow ghost king bugbear, it didn't evolve much, if only there were high quality ingredients delivered to the door, thinking about this, Chen Shan fell into a headache again in contemplation, her post-apocalyptic experience is too little, and she hasn't communicated with other humans, her thinking is limited is also a matter of no choice, however, just as she was rubbing her chin and thinking, the bugbear who had been resting for a long time stood up for some reason and, Suddenly looked at the end of the street in a vigilant manner, seeing this scene, Chen Shan also immediately picked up the backpack, came over to the side of the scarab and nervously asked, what's wrong, scarab, is there an enemy? After the battle, Chen Shan was already exhausted, and his perception seemed to have dropped a lot, while the scarab moved its tentacles, exploring the air for a moment, and for the first time, it used pheromones to send out a different message, report to the bug queen that humans are approaching, Chen Shan said. When these words came out, Chen Shan could not help but show his surprise, after all, as far as the intelligence of the beetle was concerned, if it could say that a human was approaching, then the other party would definitely come right at them, but at that time, the moon was dark and the wind was strong, there were still so many monsters in the city, Chen Shan dared to walk around casually because she was level 122, how could other humans dare to enter the city so blatantly? unless it was Aisha's teammates who had come to avenge her. The speed is too fast, and how could they know my exact location? After the lesson of the last time, Chen Shan did not choose to directly contact the other side this time, but turned around and took Bugbear to hide in the adjacent high-rise building, the dark street was originally silent, the cold wind blowing the moss in the corner of the wall, it looks very bleak. But after a few moments, the light of a torch appeared in the distance, and a group of people, all male, each of them tall, tiger-backed, were moving towards the position where Chen Shan was sitting, one, two, three, four, five, there are actually six people. After silently checking the number through the window and in his heart, Chen Shan's expression was already serious, this group of people must be AIC as accomplices, because they were wearing the same camouflage uniforms that Chen Shan had looted, presumably clothes made by Li Jiang base, then it would be easy to guess their purpose, either they came to get the tree demon fruit or they came to take revenge. But they didn't go straight to the television tower, instead they stopped at a place. Near Chen Shan's ground floor, which couldn't help but make Chen Shan's heart clench in his throat, it's here to find me. 
This group of people doesn't seem to be easy to deal with, I haven't regained my physical strength yet, it's not easy to deal with Aa, uh -uh, but how did they know my location? Is there some kind of tracking skill? Or did I take some high tech that can locate me? It's that combat power detector, Chen Shan couldn't help but curse, he couldn't wait to give his favorable self two big mouths right there, this is what happens when you don't trust Xiao Huan this is good, to be followed, but it's not too late now, at least I found them first, since I know you want revenge, don't blame me for being ruthless, bugbear, go hide over there, as you commanded, bugbear, boss, it's nearby, it should be on the first three floors of this building. Well, switch the pair of magic bullets and shoot this intelligent species straight when you come across it, boss, didn't President Dufresne tell us to take it alive? Are you an idiot to use magic bullets? On the dark street, a team member was scolded by the leader's man, only to see that the leader was tall, with a scar on his face, his gaze was deep and calm, and he had a middle-aged Chinese character face that had experienced many vicissitudes of life. He looked at the eyes of the team members do not mix a trace of emotion, at a glance is an experienced warrior, absolutely rational officer. This is the wisdom of the species, there is also a 70 level of summoning, we go in front of the fair. Bait, you want to live directly shoot, understand? Got it, the team responded quickly, and the captain from the beginning to the end of the indifferent look, did not say much, he waved his hand to signal the crowd to open the gun chamber, he took the lead to enter the building, six people move neatly, the division of labor is clear, two people are responsible for opening the road, two people watch the left side, two people watch the right side. This is the end of the world specialized in eliminating the monster colony team, professionalism is. Far from the four people cannot be compared to the Aizya, just step by step into the building, careful appearance is enough to make the enemy sweat. And here is a government office building, the hall space is very large, very empty, there is only one hallway, although it is now night, but the flashlight plus the moonlight, in fact, can hardly see inside the building, right flank secure, front is clear, stairwell on the left wing, they had radio communication between them so they could hear each other even if the voices were small, and with another gesture from the captain. The six team members quickly concentrated on the outside of the stairwells, aiming their guns at every angle where an enemy might appear, the first floor had been scouted, the target is no more than seven meters away, it must be on the second floor, good, Zaya we, follow me, the other party probably knows we're here, if there's any movement, use corrosive bullets immediately after I open fire, the leader said coldly, so the team member named Zaya we nodded at him. Such a cautious and tacit cooperation was unheard of, as their opponents, they must be. Feeling nervous at this time, probably. Zayawi and the team leader went upstairs while the four people below stood guard, two inside and two outside the stairwell, the spirits of all the team members were highly concentrated, their expressions were unusually serious, and the team leader even lowered his breathing to an inaudible level, a clear indication of how serious he was about this operation but one step, two steps, three steps, finally, the leader stepped onto the last step and looked at the second floor, but what he saw before him was nothing but a pile of worn out tables, chairs, and documents, where was any monster to be found. The only thing that appeared was a female figure facing him from behind, topless, changing into a white vest under the moonlight, when the leader saw this situation, he was apparently shocked by the beautiful scene in front of him, his index finger on the trigger fluttered for a moment, he didn't know whether to shoot or not, the orders he had received before, the enemy was a white-haired girl who could control the beetles. But in front of him, this one not only had brown hair, but also had a rounded body in mature charms, which was not a white-haired child. Could it be that the one who attacked Aisha was another monster, and the one in front of her was just a wanderer who happened to find the pickup truck and get the supplies. She turned around to see the two gunmen with shocked expressions on their faces, and quickly raised her arms to protect herself, taking two steps back in terror, who the hell do you think you were? The woman panicked and screamed, her tone was full of anxiety and fear, but this scene made the leader and Xiao Wei directly look stunned, bright eyes, small nose, pink mouth, Silky brown hair like willow floss flowing smoothly, face is like a boiled egg bathed in milk so white and tender, not to mention the figure, charming and delicate to the extreme, the white undershirt simply can't collect the undulating peaks, just by looking at her, you can feel that her body must be very soft. 
Even let a man cannot help but want to take her into his arms, hard to ravage, in my recollection, the only woman who looked this good was Kung Jin's keeper, Aisida, but this one was even better than Aisida, don't move, kneel on the ground, with his finger still twitching on the trigger, the leader suppressed the uneasiness in his heart and scolded in a stern voice, and Zioe. He had been fascinated by the woman for a long time, and even the corners of his mouth turned up when he thought that even if the mission failed tonight, he could still bring back a fairy, and this side, the woman is also very obedient, actually very obedient, to raise her hands, kneel to the ground, eyes are still vaguely blinking tears, choo-choo touching appearance let a person simply can't hold. Finally even the leader was enchanted by her, relaxed the spirit, almost decided that the woman in front of him is not a monster, then took Xiao Wei to raise the gun position step by step to get closer to the other side. Don't be afraid, we are the regular army of the Li River base, we are not going to randomly harm the civilians who are wandering around outside, although the guard had been lowered, the basic uniform and interrogation still had to be done, and the leader had already pulled out the high alloy handcuffs from his waist, please don't put up too much resistance, in a moment, my men will send you down, after that, you just have to. Suddenly, the voice of the leader ended abruptly, his pupils. Dilated to the maximum, cold sweat trickled down his forehead, because it was too dark, he only noticed when he got closer, where was this woman's brown hair. There was clearly a layer of strange scaly and horny structure attached to the surface, and underneath that skin, which was vaguely visible. Was white in color, immediately, a look of horror appeared on the leader's face, unfortunately, it was too late, as Chen Shan, who was kneeling on the ground, stood up straight with his hands in front of him, and with just one step forward, his arms, which had turned into sharp knives, sliced through the throats of the two men on the spot, all this happened in less than zero, two seconds, how could an ordinary person react? With a swing of the arms, their necks snapped, a large amount of blood was sprayed on the ground, while the two men collapsed on the spot, dead and unable to move what kind of post-apocalyptic powerhouse? What special forces? What kind of heat weapons? You think I'm going to fight you head-on at level 122? Don't think I'm too simple Chen Shan didn't know how powerful her opponent's rifle was, nor did she know what kind of skills he had, even though she was so much higher in level, she still didn't dare to take the enemy lightly, because in her opinion, humans who had mastered high technology and knew how to use tactics were much harder to deal with than monsters. After solving the two people, the four team members downstairs immediately rushed up, Chen Shan did not think too much, the next second after chopping the people will be lowered, a few steps of flash jumped to the innermost compartment, rushed up to the four team members to see this scene immediately opened fire, a moment of time, the entire second floor are ringing with the sound of intense gunfire. Boom 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 terrible fire tongue in the barrel burst, will be dark under the night of. The second floor lighted, bullets like to destroy everything like crazy destruction of Chen Shan where the door and walls, one of the team members saw the body of the leader, face also showed a look of disbelief, that has been the most quiet captain, even was killed, moreover, he was killed in a single shot, change the corrosive grenades, don't give them a chance. At the end of the consecutive firefights, the door of the room had already been broken open, one of the team members gave an order, so two of them immediately pulled out what looked like a smoke bomb from their waists, even though she didn't know what a corrosive bomb was, Chen Shan clearly knew that she couldn't be caught in a passive situation, so she immediately used the pheromone to give orders. The bugbear that had been hanging upside down from the ceiling of the second floor had long since arrived right above the enemies at this time, and dropped directly down, only to see swords and shadows passing by in an instant, the four jointed limbs attacked exactly for enemies, pinning them to the ground on the spot, it was as easy as stepping on ants, do not I still do not want the building immediately issued a chain of screams, the screen passed, two men were bugbear inserted from the neck, directly through the skewer, the other two are hit in the back, by the strange force. Pressed down to the ground, the screams were also issued by them. But unfortunately, Bugbear has no human emotions at all, no matter how much the man under his feet screamed, he continued to use his legs and cut off another man's head, leaving only one hostage, wait a minute, Bugbear, seeing that the bug was about to kill the last one, Chen Shan hastily raised his right arm to stop the other party, and the bug obediently stood upright and retracted its front legs. I will do as the bug queen tells me, 
because the bug legs out of the body, a large area of blood was also brought out, the pain of the man's eyes black, almost fainted, blood flowed all over the floor, the pain makes his limbs are spasming, looks like not long to live, however, Chen Shan did not expect her to go to the side of the man before she had time to ask questions, the man but first gritted his teeth and cursed, you bitch, do not die, dare to mess with our Li Jiang base of the president of the Du, you will die a very difficult to see, hear this, Chen Shan speechless. Because Bugbear hacked to death was the one who begged for mercy, coincidentally left a hardened, afraid that nothing could be interrogated, still, she patiently crouched down and asked as kindly as she could, so why are you all like this? Why are you all like this? Can't we just have a quiet conversation? Talk to monsters. But the other man didn't seem to care about life and death, he was lying on the ground looking at him with nothing but anger and hate, even though he was bleeding from the mouth, he was staring at him with his eyes and yelling furiously, if you are caught alive, Elder Du will tie you to the stone monument at the base so that everyone can witness your execution and torture you bit by bit, execution, torturing you to death bit by bit, you're already finished, we're just the unskilled exploration. Team, the real ones to deal with you will come soon, those are the strongest demon hunters under Chief Du. What? When these words came out, Chen Shan immediately stood up in surprise, no wonder she felt that her opponents were too weak, it turned out that these six people were just bait, on the other hand, as if to confirm the harsh words released by the man, the small ring on her arm also hastily released a pheromone that represented a warning. Report to the Queen of Bugs, nearby high energy reaction, enemy intensity, 7, 7, 6, 8, 3, approaching immediately after the words were spoken, without waiting. For Chin Shan to respond, the entire second floor of the building was instantly engulfed by a sea of fire, all the glass was shattered, and the powder from the shattered stone was sprayed into the air under the night sky, accompanied by brilliant sparks that lit up the entire street. The one who did all this was a man who was floating in the air, his whole body covered in flames, his face looking like a horrible skeleton in the flames. And when he looked at the second floor of the building, that was still burning like crazy, he just smiled contemptuously and said to himself proudly, is this the intelligent seed? Yes, it is. But that's all. With the second floor of the flames burning, suspended in mid-air firefighter issued a loud laugh of triumph monstrous flames will be all around the red, even with him more than a dozen meters away, can feel the blazing heat, this was the true powerhouse of the end times who had acquired skills, luck, coupled with the courage to defy his enemies, allowed him to grow stronger on the path of hunting monsters, Deng Yen, don't fly so high. This way, I can't support a woman on the ground who is. Screaming at the sky, showing concern in her words, but the flaming man named Deng Yen was not afraid at all, continuing to raise his arms while laughing, what are you talking about? No one can withstand my power strike, not to mention the fact that I have condensed my energy for 10 full seconds, this kind of killing power, not to mention the intelligent species, even if the level 105 monsters come to Europe, they will be reduced to ashes on the spot. For a while, the man's laughter spread throughout the streets, and his arrogant tone made his teammates on the ground sweat slightly, not wanting to argue with him anymore, however, laughing after laughing, this guy Deng Yen was still a bit cautious in his body, he fixed his eyes on the second floor of the building, seemingly trying to find the corpse of the bug monster and the woman, and just as he thought, the bug monster that had been burned into a dry corpse was standing hunched over in the Middle of the second floor, motionless, and it looked like it was dead through and through. Just make him strange woman and other special forces members of the body, but totally cannot see, this cannot help but Deng Yen touch the chin when the thought of doubts, cannot be directly incinerated to ash. It seems to be just an ordinary person who can summon bugs, it is due boss overthinking, so that said, Deng Yen has already extinguished the body flames, slowly and leisurely descend to the ground, did not think that he is still naked, I think it must be the flame supernormal ability will be burned out of the clothes on his body. This is not good, because ah, uh, clearly said to capture alive, now even a body are not, do president of this guy to see that a Sida cannot walk, the damage we do this group of subordinates run east and west, the body burnt to burn them, think of this, Deng Yen also helplessly shook his head, seems not to care about the grey-haired woman dead or alive, but the next second, his pupils suddenly contracted, 
his eyes almost staring to the maximum, in his landing the instant, there was actually a white-haired woman on the first floor of the building charging across the street towards him, her running stance was like an athlete possessed by a cheetah, and her speed was lightning fast, oops, the distance of a dozen meters was too short to dodge, and the fire on Deng Yan's body had just begun to rise when Chen Shan's arm-length sword slashed horizontally at his neck. The woman's bellowing voice resounded through the night, the red pupils containing a monstrous killing intent, this blow cannot be avoided, complacent as Deng Yan, at this time, the head of a large amount of cold sweat slipped out, however, just as the dagger and the other party's neck touched, a powerful repulsive force suddenly erupted, the feeling was just like cutting into a steel plate, so the attacked Deng Yan was fine, but Chen Shan was bounced two to three meters away and took several. Steps back before barely stabilizing himself Chin Shan looked at the man in surprise, not understanding why his blow was blocked, and Deng Yan also touched his neck with his heart pounding only to find that his neck had already bled a lot and that the knife had broken through the defense, cutting through two inches, Deng Yan, it's okay, seeing this, the woman who was on the ground earlier rushed to call out from afar, and Deng Yan's side also looked at Chin Shan in horror, finally losing a bit of her smug expression, Baileen, this woman is a monster. Your shield was pierced by her, and I've lost a lot of blood, Deng Yen shouted in panic and took several steps back while speaking, looking very scared, while Chen Shan was also thinking frantically in his head, it seems that this man is a flame attacker, this woman is a support character who can use defensive abilities, and there are still three other characters who do not know where they are, so the situation is not favorable, so let's go. As for the other three, I have no idea where they are, the situation is unfavorable, so we should solve one first, thinking about this, Chen Shan's eyes suddenly turned stern, the nearest Deng Yen couldn't help but tremble when he saw this look, and immediately raised his hands to gather flames, the flame energy flowed down Deng Yen's body to his arms, and then condensed from his arms into the air above his head, causing a flaming ball of fire to appear out of nowhere, growing larger and larger. Even the surrounding mushrooms and plants were set ablaze by the air, the magical sight of seeing the generation of flame powers up close and personal, like a steady stream of flowing orange liquid, made even Chen Shan feel astonished for a moment, but the forward swing of this move was still too slow, Chen Shan didn't want to sit and wait for him to finish condensing the energy, she raised her leg and charged straight ahead. Obviously a woman's body with soft curves and a firm figure, but this. Speed was really fast to terrifying, each step contained the power of a thousand pounds, and the moment she stepped on the ground, she made cracks in the concrete slabs, causing a single step to fly out five or six meters away, in less than a second, Chen Shan arrived at Deng Yan's side and swung his hand blade again, he could not save the energy of the exploding fireball, his own foreign energy flame was not harmed, the explosion was influenced by all the surrounding matter, the attack could simultaneously set up the defense, one could say it was flawless. But he is still naive, sprinting Chen Shan in the distance from him still three meters, when he suddenly changed direction, the hemisphere energy blast barely grazed Chen Shan's white hair, but it did not hurt her, the target she really wanted to kill was Bei Lin, who was using her guardian ability about ten meters away, isn't it reasonable to kill the milkmaid first in a group fight? With this thought in mind, Chen Shan's figure had already attacked the other party like a ghost, turning both hands into long knives, leaping into the air, and slashing with a cross, the swift attack made a wind-ripping sound in the air, Chen Shan didn't believe that such a weak woman could resist her full power, but what Chen Shan did not expect was that when she was only one meter away from Bei Lian, her cold hair suddenly stood on end, and her powerful sense told her that there was danger around her, and it was imminent. In a hurry, Chen Shan could only retract her arms, turn her long sword into a shield, and attach scale armor to her entire body, making her look like a lizard man, there was a loud crash, immediately after, Chen Shan's entire body flew out horizontally, when she looked back, there were two more men where there was only one Bei Lin, one of them was two meters tall, as strong as an ox, and held a two-handed heavy hammer, which was the one that sent Chen Shan flying, the other one is a cold face. Short, holding two swords, the figure in the darkness of the night, I do not know if stealth is his skill, how can he be invisible? 
Damn, looking at the situation is getting worse, Chen Shan cannot help but cursing in his heart, by the way, also moved his bleeding right arm obviously to be crushed by the hammer, but this stealth state seems to be unable to maintain for long, and cannot move fast, or else he would be stabbed in the back, why would you keep hiding? The strong man is not easy to deal with, and the auxiliary named Baleen is well protected, Attacking the flame man or the double dagger man will be protected by the auxiliary's shield, so isn't this a dead end? Meanwhile, Deng Yen hastily ran to the team member's side, put on some extra trousers, and then pointed at Chin Shan before shouting angrily, You, that girl, are you a human or an intelligent race? If you're a human, you better tell us quickly, and we might even let the newborn intelligent species go, because they can't be that strong, intelligent species. The first time I heard that strange name, Chen Shan was a bit confused, but when I thought about it, the soldiers had just called her a monster, couldn't it be that those guys didn't treat her like a human at all? Monsters with intelligence are able to grow and organize their own kind to attack humans, that's why the Li Jiang base is going after Chen Shan without any hesitation, and not just because of Aizia's death, at this moment, Chen Shan's brow furrowed, probably guessing at the above level, perhaps she would now hand over her weapons, claiming that she was a harmless human being, and still be able to reach a peaceful consensus with this group of people. But Chen Shan quickly dismissed this idea, she would not give in so easily, not at all. You dare to blow up Bugbear half dead, I swear I won't be a mother until I kill you all, I don't care if you think I'm an intelligent species or a human, say whether you're human or not, Deng Yen, who was scared of Chen Shan, still shouted, but Chen Shan didn't answer him and just looked at them coldly, the man with the hammer didn't care, he stepped forward with an ugly smile on his face. And after looking at Chen Shan for a few moments, he shouted wildly, it doesn't matter, it's just a female, even if this guy's attacks are strong, Pei Lian's defense will still be able to counter half of them, so don't be scared, just let me have fun with her, and then I'll know if she's a human or a monster after I undress her, or a monster, go to hell, with that, the guy rushed over with his hammer, Baleen immediately raised his hand to release his protective energy for the strong man. Deng Yen also gathered flame energy to prepare for the attack, and the double dagger man calmly protected the side of the two of them, so the formation was almost flawless, and Chen Shan was caught in a completely passive situation. Why does it feel like I'm fighting a boss in a group and I'm still the one who gets hit? Forget it, it doesn't matter, let's solve this problem first. With this thought in his mind, Chen Shan jumped into the air, and with a loud boom, the giant hammer actually chipped away three layers of the concrete pavement directly, the concrete slab, gravel layer, and gravel layer were instantly torn into gullies, it was hard to imagine how terrifying the weight of this blow was. But what was even more impressive was the fact that the strong man was able to lift the hammer and immediately. After he swung the hammer, he swung the next blow, the powerful blow of the hammer made a wind-breaking sound in the air, and the wind pressure alone seemed to be able to crush people, luckily, Chen Shan was agile enough, just as the huge hammer was about to hit her, she twisted her body into a strange position, tilting her upper body back and pushing her stomach forward, causing the hammer to pass through the back of her waist without touching her body, immediately after that, she reversed her hands and immediately grabbed the strong man's shoulders. Her body spun back with the force of her arms, her toes drew a beautiful arc in the air, and she turned around to slash at the strong man's head with her backhand, this knife was terribly fast, slicing right through the opponent's face, hitting the center of the red heart, but the strangely slashed opponent Chen Shan not only did not show a smile, but also showed a surprised expression, the throat is unable to resist the doubt, the blade of the knife, even in the skull of the strong man. Unable to penetrate a hair, and that strong man is also grinning wickedly, directly dropped the hands of the giant hammer, hands a hug, he strangled Chen Shan's arms, and in a moment, Chen Shan's arms and torso were all bound by the other party, and no matter how hard he tried, he could not escape, completely losing the possibility of escape, caught you, little cutie, the huge monster's power crushed the bones on his body, causing Chen Shan to let out a pitiful scream from the intense pain. But no matter how much he struggled, it was useless, this man's power was so terrifyingly strong that he was strangled even more tightly than when he was bound by a group of vine monsters. 
The three people over there couldn't help but rejoice when they saw this, and Deng Yen, whose neck was slashed by Chin Shan, even took a step forward and excitedly shouted, Kill her, Big Dipper Force, destroy them, but on the contrary, this burly man named Gang Li was just smiling nonchalantly. Looking at the woman in his arms, the greedy smile on his face hadn't stopped since the beginning, and he actually said with some impatience, Deng Yen, what's your hurry? President Du has said that he wants her alive, just handcuff her with the technological lock in a while, how about now? I still want to enjoy this little sweetie to see if this guy is a monster or a human, don't you think so? Saying that, Gang Li lowered his head and looked at the woman in his arms, what came into his eyes was the woman's stubborn face, delicate features, and those two soft breasts that wouldn't arouse any man looking at them. As for Gang Li, this guy, not only is his whole body full of muscles, even his face is divided with dense muscle mass, he looks hideous, horrible, especially at this time also revealed a pair of obscene look, licking lips watching the hostage, as if he wants to eat her alive, seeing this scene, Chen Shan's whole face turned pale, her pupils fluttered slightly, her eyes gradually widened, and her powerless legs could only hang down on the man, as if she had already lost the power to resist, and... This made Gang Li even more excited, he couldn't wait to open his big mouth and slobber in all directions, his expression was very perverse, as if he was planning to just directly bite some part of Chin Shan, but right at this moment, Gang Li's movements inexplicably stopped, he looked at the woman in his arms, a drop of cold sweat slowly trickled down, and his eyes gradually revealed a look of horror. Because obviously the woman was still weak, helpless and pathetic at the last second, but at... This moment, she revealed a suspicious red look and a slight smile. Only to see her open her pink lips, revealing a slippery and soft tongue inside, looking ravishing to the extreme, but behind that tongue, in the back of her throat, a biological energy condensation thorn had been ready for a long time, and it shot out on the spot, this all happened within half a second, so Gang Li could not react in time, a steel thorn from his mouth into the back of his head. Blood and brain matter from the back of his head splashing onto the ground, not even two seconds. Gang Li's eyes were white, he let go of Chin Shan, the huge body collapsed on the street on the spot, no more sound, and the three people on the other side of Deng Yen were wide-eyed, and let out on the spot, shouting in utter horror. What, as the strongest astral power of the team, even the bazooka couldn't do any damage to it after being protected by the guardian ability, but now, it was actually being shadowed to death by that white-haired woman, and it was still a second death without any suspense. After landing on the ground, Chen Shan didn't even want to give them time to cry and mourn, she took a step back and rushed over again, as I just said, her speed was ridiculously fast, Deng Yen saw this situation and didn't have the mood to think about Gang Li's death, he even directly waved his arm, gathered all the supernatural powers he could mobilize, and directly waved them out get lost, don't come over. The sea wave-like flame attack followed, with Deng Yan's anger and fear, Chen. Shan's figure was completely submerged, but this time, Chen Shan did not choose to dodge, only to see the blazing fire in the midst of a purple light appearing faintly, and even gradually overpowering the raging flame waves, still releasing energy, Teng Yan could not help but break into a sweat as he stared at the purple energy with incredulous eyes, and then another monstrous purple mist appeared in the sky. It even directly broke through Deng Yan's flame exotic energy, completely covering the remaining three people with the SSS ranked void erosion skill, since Chen Shan wasn't sure how many times she could use this skill, she made sure to wipe out the enemies all at once, she deliberately revealed a crack to Gang Li and secretly killed him, and then went against Deng Yan's wave to turn the remaining three enemies into thick water in one go. Chen Shan was confident that the SSS ranked skill wouldn't lose to anyone, the purple smoke immediately let out three human cries, but it only lasted for two seconds, just like the ravens earlier, Chen Shan's skill is too powerful to kill living things, in no time, those three living people turned into a puddle of purple water, only the white bones were left in the thick water, bubbling, it looked very terrifying. After doing all this, Chen Shan also felt relieved, having consumed a lot of energy, she couldn't help but kneel down on the ground, carrying a thick breath, resting a little, but not yet out of a moment, Chen Shan, but slowly raised his head again. Looking at the street not far away from the corpses of the three people who were more than 10 meters away from the position, she suddenly lightly said, 
ghost, go and get this for me, suddenly, a panicked sound of a woman came from that empty street, and a woman who was originally transparent suddenly appeared, and without a second thought, she turned her head and ran away in a desperate attempt, running in a direction far away from Chen Shan, but alas, it was no use, her speed was too slow. And the silhouette of the ghost appeared out of the building, and although her body was still covered with burns, she had already recovered quite a bit, and with a single leap from the second floor, he jumped right next to the woman, and with a casual swing of his ghost leg, he knocked her right down. The woman fell for a moment, trembling all over, in front of the terrifying giant bug that was bigger than a human being, two lines of tears slipped out of her eyes in fear, and she finally lost the courage to run away, why didn't even this bug die, how is that possible, the woman was trembling and questioning, her tone was desperate and incomprehensible, but Chen Shan didn't bother to answer her now, he just slowly stood up, walked over, and licked the blood from his arm at the same time. Looking slightly sinister, why didn't that bug die? Of course, I let it eat the corpses of those special forces, and it barely recovered from its injuries, so even if I didn't manage to kill all four enemies at once, it's not a big problem, because there's still a bugbear that can take me on the run, and I've got a few layers of insurance. Chen Shan noticed during the battle that the man with the double blades had been protecting Bei Lian's side, and he didn't look like the one who cast the cloaking ability, Xiao Huan had said that the enemies. Strength was 7 inch 7, 6, 8, 3, and Bei Lian's cloaking ability was so strong that it couldn't have been the weakest 3, so there was only one possibility that someone else was unleashing that crappy cloaking ability. So when the four enemies are dead, it won't be hard for Chen Shan to find this last stealth lady through the scent, so it can be said that this battle is indeed the hardest one so far, but it's also quite manageable and exciting, then this lady, her body was still covered in wounds, and her clothes were torn to shreds, but Chen Shan's smile was so gentle, and step by step, she walked towards the lady. While the other party was already lying on the ground, paralyzed and trembling with fear, what? Are you going to do, relax, I just want to ask you a few questions, Chen Shan revealed a friendly smile, she crouched down and gently caressed the woman's face, like a mother who loves her daughter, she did not look like she had just gone through a big battle at all but on this cold night, those eyes were so fish red, and her cheeks were flushed with a sickly red hue, no matter how gentle that smile was. It still made the woman on the ground unable to stop her tears of fear, if you cooperate. Well, I can consider not eating you, you hear me clearly. The scene spun around, accompanied by a sickening vomit sound, a two-inch diameter, perfect ball-shaped white egg was hard to vomit, hands caught, above the mouth is still lassie, she then handed the white egg to the invisible woman, the other party scared of Chen Shan, no questions asked, took the white egg, and then saw Chen Shan's smiling command, do not chew, swallow directly, hearing this, the stealthy woman's face immediately turned white in fear, the white egg in her palm is beating, slightly, it seems that there are still living things inside, looking at it is scary, but because she moved too slowly, Chen Shan was a bit impatient and reached out his hand, directly pinched her mouth and pushed the white egg into her, a line of tears slowly flowed down the furtive woman's cheeks, although she felt incomparable sickness and resisted in her heart, but in the end, she was forced to swallow the white egg and swallowed it into her stomach. What did you give me to eat, after having swallowed the white eggs, the furtive woman, her face turned green, blasts of work, looked very uncomfortable, while Chen Shan saw this situation, but only a small smile easily replied, this is my parasitic parasite, it will branch out in your stomach, into innumerable larvae distributed in your internal organs, from now on, you must stay close to me, if you leave me for more than 3 kilometers, or my death, then after 72 hours, this larvae will be destroyed. And you must stay close to me, if you leave me for more than 3,000 meters, or if I die, in 72 hours, the larvae will start to develop and eat your internal organs until you become an empty shell, oh my god, after listening to Chen Shan's explanation, the stealthy woman fell to her knees and shed tears in despair, her pupils lost their luster, and even her breathing became very difficult. Feeling that life was like an endless darkness, however, Chen Shan did not show any concern about this, but just scornfully comforted her, what are you afraid of? As long as you stay by my side, you won't die, are you going to betray me? I won't, I dare not, I will listen to you from now on, 
upon hearing Chin Shan's words, the furtive woman immediately knelt down, raised her buttocks, and loudly expressed her position, looking incredibly respectful, but she didn't even know that Chin Shan was actually very vain when she uttered this, how can I have so much energy to bring forth a parasite? Now that I'm so weak, I'm afraid that if I give birth to another child, I'll suddenly die, so this is just an ordinary egg, it can't even hatch out the young, it will probably be digested when it enters the stomach. Thinking like this, the corner of Chen Shan's mouth turned up slightly, and she couldn't help but admire her own wisdom, then she deliberately pretended to be cold and cruel, lifted her slender right leg, lifted the other side of her chin with the toes of her jade foot, and smiled. He said, good, good boy, now I'm going to ask you a few questions, and I hope you can answer truthfully, and if I find that you're lying, I'll also control the urge to break out of the shell whenever you ask. I will definitely answer truthfully, definitely, due to her fear of death, the stealthy woman did not show the slightest disgust at Chen Shan's approach, she even cupped the jade foot pleadingly and rubbed it hard against her cheek to show her sincerity, the young girl was wearing a simple shirt and jeans, she had a cute face, while that face was warm and soft, and the soft abrasive feeling on the back of her foot was even more comforting. At the thought of such a cute woman actually crawling. At her feet, Chen Shan was actually a little cold for a moment, but she quickly calmed down and began to interrogate seriously, first of all, what's your name? My name is Ren Sheng, level 22, the ability to temporarily hide still life, with the effect of strength level 2 and physical fitness level 3, the system function has not been opened yet, obviously Chen Shan only asked the name, but Ren Sheng once took the initiative to answer many questions, however, this also made Chen Shan tilt his head in confusion. And he couldn't help but curiously follow up with the question, what strength level 2 physique level 3? And what about the system functions that can't be opened? Tell me all about it. Hearing this, Ren Xiang obviously froze for a moment and seemed to think that these questions were a bit silly, but since his own life was still in the other party's hands, Ren Xiang could only stubbornly explain, as for the base's instrumentation, as for the base's equipment, it will evaluate each person's ability value, and the most useful ones are usually strength and physical fitness, so in the base, everyone has to take the test, and those with high attributes will. Get more benefits, and as for the system functions, generally those who are 30 levels and above will get new system functions, as for the system functions, in general, people who are level 30 and above can get new system functions, such as checking other people's level, monster encyclopedia, plant encyclopedia, and also space storage, which some people can open at level 20. But some people can't even open the system functions when they reach level 50, I don't know how it is determined, after he... Finished, Ren Sheng showed a pitiful look, looking up at Chen Shan with bated breath, as if he was afraid of making his master angry, like a puppy, like a puppy, even though Chen Shan had already killed many people, this expression of Ren Sheng still moved her a little, after all, the previous Aizya was only pitiful in appearance and a woman in heart, while this Ren Sheng currently does not see what makes people hate her. All right, sit up and talk, don't kneel down, but Ren Sheng, this woman is very honest, still kneeling on the ground and not daring to move, even burying her face in the back of Chen Shan's feet once again and humbly replying, no, no, I am fine, no, no, I'm fine like this, you can ask the adults, no matter what the problem is, my little daughter will know all the words, I have to say, these words of sincerity are really useful, even Chen Shan was dumbfounded by them and completely lost. Interest in treating Ren Sheng as a bugbear, so she could only scratch her head helplessly, pull her feet back, then crouch down and continue to ask, okay, then I'll ask what is your status at Li River Base, why do I have to be killed? Is it possible that you are all here to avenge AIC as death? It's not all because of AIC ya, Ren Sheng shrugged his shoulders and replied in a low voice, afraid of making a mistake to make Chin Shan unhappy. AIC a sister AIC da is now the second largest force in Li Jiang base, President Du's wife, we are all President Du's men, but just to get revenge, can't mobilize so many masters, the key point is that, President Du is crusading against the wisdom of the species on behalf of the name of the European base, just last year at the end of the, 
Intelligent species, the European base was killed by the intelligent species, the European base, the European base was slaughtered by the intelligent race at the end of last year, and now the intelligent race has become a synonym for terror among the people, so no one dares to let the intelligent race grow, after carefully explaining, Ren Sheng once again looked at Chen Shan who was stroking his chin and pondering thoughtfully, Indeed, just as I thought, the Li Jiang base treats me as a higher level monster, after all, I still have a chance to blend in with the base, after all, those who have seen my face have all died, and they can't arrest me just because I'm white-haired, can they? Then the old people in the base won't be able to live, thinking about this, Chen Shan silently nodded her head and still didn't give up on the idea of going to Li River base, but on second thought, she felt that what Ren Xing said was inconvenient, so she frowned and asked, wait a minute. You said that the people mobilized here are all experts. Are they the backbone of Li River Base? What level is Deng Yen? Gang Li and Deng Yen are both at level 70 inch Bei Lian and Wu Ji are around level 65, the five of us are already one of the strongest teams under President Du, and we have to know that the President himself is only at level 79 Ah, when she heard this, Chen Shan suddenly showed a surprised look, she looked at Ren Xing doubtfully, and paused for a long time before coming back to her senses, slowly said. But they fought me back and forth, I thought they were at least a hundred levels, I thought. There were at least a hundred levels, a hundred levels. Ren Xing couldn't help but cry out in shock when he heard this, the whole person was downright stupid, how is it possible to be one hundred levels? Yan Huang's current strongest person probably doesn't even have one hundred levels, you are too much for Ting Yan and the others, are you saying that you have one hundred levels? 122, to be exact, this time, Ren Sheng was close to screaming, even though this number would never be believed by the base, but as far as Ren Sheng was concerned, Chen Shan didn't have to lie to them at all, so the other party must be at level 122 for real, why are you staying in a remote place like Longgang? After listening to Ren Sheng's excited speech, Chen Shan's gaze darkened and she fell into a deep speechlessness, Ren Sheng also knew that she had said the wrong thing so she could only hastily shut up and lowered her head, does this look like level 122 to you, Chen Shan asked hopelessly, and Ren Xing nodded his head anxiously, then shook his head hastily, then he quickly shook his head again, Chen Shan could only explain helplessly, to tell you the truth, after the end of the world, I was incubated alone in the egg for a long time, until the day before yesterday, when I was just born, so I do not know anything about knowing this world. So that's how it is, Ren Sheng's eyes widened as she finally understood why there was such a strong human roaming around alone in Dragon City, and she reacted quickly, immediately recognizing that this was an opportunity to show off her role in front of Chen Shan, so she hastily tried to say in a flattering tone, so, big brother, you can actually tell me what you have experienced since your incubation. So I won't be able to understand the reason why you can't use the power of level 122 after. All, you have just awakened, and you definitely haven't experienced as much as I have, but the system evaluations are very reliable, and there must be some significance to level 122, so let me help you analyze it, said, Ren Sheng's eyes also flickered with excitement, after all, level 122 big brother can be unheard of, for a moment, he even forgot to be afraid. Chen Shan looked at the pair of sincere eyes, cannot help but slightly swept to this enthusiasm, had to reluctantly agree to say, the next half an hour, the two women, plus a beetle, in a supermarket in a long conversation, Chen Shan from birth, to how to give birth to a beetle, how to kill the crow spirits, how to meet the Aisyas, after listening to all this, Ren Sheng was inescapably surprised, and finally breathed an undeniable sigh of relief, of course, I told you that Aisya wasn't good. And she really got herself into trouble, she deserved to be killed by master, master, you have done well, then why do you think I'm so weak? How can I raise my skill level? Chen Shan was a bit speechless and didn't respond to Ren Sheng's disdain for Aisya because it sounded like two green teas talking about another woman behind her back, so she decided to ask the main issue directly. And Ren Sheng also touched his chin, put on a look of serious thought, and slowly said Chen Shan Master, the following is just my personal guess, if I say it wrong, please do not mind, it's okay, you say it, Chen Shan did not have so-called waved his hand, then Ren Sheng did not have any scruples to analyze.
is it possible that you actually did not hatch completely? What does that mean? That is to say, hatching out of the human form is one stage and absorbing all the nutrient fluid is another stage, you just developed a human form and before you had time to absorb all the energy, you forced yourself to run out of the follicle, so you were born in a weak condition, but you didn't know it, you thought it was a normal condition, and then you forced yourself to have two or three bug babies. And you ran out of energy again, so it was normal for you not to be able to use the power. After hearing these words, Chen Shan first showed doubt, and then his eyes widened in retrospect, wait, wait, wait. In that case, it seems like I've been hungry since birth. I've been in a state of hunger plus weakness since I was born and my muscles weakened when I moved and I was rubbed on the ground by a raven, how could Chen Shan personally notice that she was weak since before using the skill, Chen Shan was just an ordinary person and after incubation, even Chen Shan's weak state was a thousand times stronger than the original. After learning the truth, she already had a lot of regrets, she couldn't help but kneel on the ground with her hands on the ground, a shocked expression on her face and her pupils trembling, that's right, if you think about it. It was definitely because she hadn't finished absorbing the nutrient solution that she became like that, as for why the follicle was so easily bitten open before hatching. It was because this skill had a negative effect of reducing the hatching egg's defense to zero. It all made sense, Chen Shan finally realized the truth, but now it was too late to regret it, this pile of nutrient liquid had long since turned into bugbear's ration, no wonder bugbear, as a two-day-old little bug, could be so powerful in combat, in the horrible darkness of the night, a woman's outraged voice suddenly appeared, but Ren Sheng wasn't too surprised, he just patted Chen Shan's shoulder and said a kind word, it's okay, teacher, since your level is already 122, I think there's a way to fix it, how? The nutrient solution is already gone, you can eat to fix it, right, eat to fix it? How long do I have to eat? Besides, where would I find so much food? Said Ren Xing slyly raised his small hand and pointed to the tall television tower in the distance, the vines attached to it have high quality bioenergy, if it can be eaten, then the raw material can be said to be very sufficient, Chin Shan master, I behaved so well, is it possible to take out this egg? You're thinking beautifully. When the red sun shines on the cold city, when the dry riverbed tears open countless wounds, when there is only the sound of wind and dust on the empty streets, when all traces of people disappear in the flames of doom, it was a new morning, not much different from the first time I woke up, with the damp mossy scent still in my nose and the warm and somewhat blinding red sun, but unlike the previous Chin Shang, this time in the arms of a small figure of a young girl, she has a beautiful face. Pink lips, gently around the slender waist, you can feel the soft body with the breath gently undulating, but also can smell a sweet fragrance, good smell, I want to bite, Chin Shan thought, face appeared sickly red, mouth also gushed out a lot of saliva, a pair of eyes is red scary, yes, just as you think, she really coveted the body of this young girl, but not out of X desire, but out of appetite, after all, such a fresh and clean human flesh is not many masters. Why are you staring at me? A drop of cold sweat slowly trickled down from Ren Xing's head, she had just woken up to see Chen Shan staring at her with great excitement and gasping for breath, fortunately, Chen Shan was still rational at that moment, and quickly shook his head, sat up, and replied in a serious manner, to see if you are alive or not, if you are not alive, you will be given a bugbear, of course I'm alive, Ren Sheng shouted incredulously. Because after the end of the global temperature have drastic changes. So even in spring is also very cold, Ren Xing only 22 levels, last night is really cold, and afraid of their own running around will be bugbear chopped to death, so only secretly climbed into bed hugging the Chen Shan sleep, she didn't realize that Chen Shan was about to eat her, the two of them were stretching and getting ready to change their clothes to go to the TV tower, but at that moment, a strange sound suddenly came from outside the hotel window. Ren Sheng is a lowly, timid person who doesn't dare to go outside and just hides behind the bed, while Chen Shan is not afraid at all and pulls open the curtains to look outside only to find a 3 meter long, half meter high termite monster crawling on the hotel wall, as Chen Shan opened the curtains, the ant monster heard the noise and turned its head so that a person and an insect just stared at each other, and no one moved. At that moment Ren Sheng was terrified, she looked at the size. 
of the ant monster and knew that it was at least 30 or 40 levels, and it was also a swarm of creatures, and Chen Shan did not let her guard down, and she stared at the eyes of the monster silently, thinking that no matter what threat the other party made, she would not let her guard down, and she stared at the eyes of the monster, Chen Shan didn't let her guard down, silently staring at the ant monster's eyes, thinking that no matter if the other party made any threatening gestures, she would kill them with a hand knife. But oddly, even after a long time, there was no fight between the two sides, the anthem only turned its head, moved its tentacles, and continued to stare at Chin Shan from outside the window with an inquisitive and fearful gaze, it was only then that Chin Shan remembered that he seemed to be able to control all insects, he simply opened the window, pointed his right hand at the television tower not far away, and calmly commanded the ant monster, help me cut up the high energy plants in this tower and take them out, okay? Chin Shan said calmly, and the ant monster listened calmly as well, but the ant monster didn't react after he finished speaking, Chin Shan was a bit confused by this, is it true that wild monsters are still difficult to tame? Even though this ant monster isn't aggressive, it doesn't listen to me at all, or is it a matter of language? Will I just give birth to an ant? Why is it gone? After seeing all this, Ren Sheng was stunned and cautiously touched behind Chin Shan, hiding behind Chin Shan and inquiring, while Chin Shan of course could not understand all this, could only scratch his head and helplessly replied, I don't know, but it doesn't matter, we have to rely on ourselves anyway, let's go, go to the TV tower, now Chin Shan's purpose is very simple. First in the first few floors of the TV tower to fill the stomach, and then gradually climb up so that not only can replenish the energy, but also each layer of plants can be checked through, will not let the tree magic fruit escape, after that, the two of them plus bugbear came to the first floor of the TV tower, and indeed, if you look carefully, there are also the kind of vine monsters that like to tie up the game last night, just not many of them, this group of things do not seem to have much vigilance, Chen Shan quickly cut off one, and played with it in his hands, this thing can eat. How can I eat this thing? There is no way to eat it, looking at the green, dusty, and thick vine plant in his hand, Chen Shan's eyes were full of disgust, and he didn't even have the slightest desire to chew on it, seeing this, Ren Xing picked up the other end of the vine and gently cut through its skin with a knife, peeling off several layers like peeling an onion, after the sixth layer, a large amount of thick green juice indeed came out from inside, mixing with the vine's fibers like sugar cane, master, the energy should be in here, you can just drink it, drink it, Chin Shan made a surprised sound and couldn't help but be even more skeptical of Ren Sheng's suggestion, this stuff isn't poisonous, is it? If I get poisoned, you'll die too, oh, I don't know, normal people definitely can't eat this, but don't you have any skills? If you don't want to eat it, Ren Sheng couldn't help but retreat when she saw Chin Shan's hesitant look, after all, she thought that if Chin Shan died, he would be eaten by the parasites himself, but to be honest, Chen Shan is not really afraid of poison, after all, she still has that ability in her body, the mother of hatching, she can absorb most of the energy of the material by eating it, and thus transform it into her own life energy, so it makes sense even if the poison can be digested. Right? With this idea, Chen Shan finally took the vine in Ren Xing's hand, put her lips on the cut, gently sucking a little, and at that moment, a stream of cool and thick liquid flowed down her throat, quickly turning into sweet milk, refreshing juice, texture similar to yogurt, taste similar to yellow milk, taste similar to yellow milk, the taste was very similar to yogurt, and the flavor was like the juice of cucumber and orange mixed together and stirred. But that's not the point, the point is that Chen Shan felt like he was absorbing energy and becoming alive, the feeling was so unbridled and heartfelt, it was as if a land that had been droughty for six months had suddenly received a heavy rain, soaking every inch of her body and every cell to the fullest, the feeling of finally coming alive. How could this be, looking at her hands in disbelief? Chin Shan felt a power she had never felt before, she even felt that if she met the Crow King. Again, she would be able to kill her opponent with a single blow, but when she ate the corpse of the bird monster before, she never felt this way, so why is the effect of drinking the vine monster's juice so strong? Could it be that the ingredients lose a lot of bioenergy after being roasted? That seems to be the only explanation, 
no wonder the beast refused to eat cooked meat since its purpose was only to replenish its energy, not to fatten its stomach. With this in mind, Chen Shan could not wait to continue sucking, and the poor vine monster was gradually sucked from its full state into a dried plant and finally thrown onto the hall floor like garbage, and then it was the second, the third, and the fourth, Chen Shan, realizing how hungry he was, was finally able to digest. Enough sexually all at once. But since there were fewer vine monsters on the first few floors, they soon arrived at the tenth floor, and by now, two hours had gone by, and the amount of vines that Chen Shun had consumed might have reached one hundred, if not more, had her breasts grown. They seemed to be C right now, but they were already D at this moment, right? So the energy continues to concentrate after it enters her body. She's only a little heavier even after eating so much. How much can the master actually eat? Wow, as she thought it over, Chen Shan had already finished sucking on another, her eating action finally stopped, she was wiping her lips, not finished yet, although she felt like she could still eat, in the way of eating too much at once would burden her organs, so she decided to take a break, I won't say that I'm the one who's tired of eating, are you finished eating master? Ren Sheng inquired weakly from the side, while Chen Shan smiled contentedly, it's okay. Your idea was great, I feel like I've come alive, thank you, then you see the matter of compulsion. If you mention it again, I'll kill you, sorry, in front of the fierce Chin Shan, Ren Sheng was really scared to death, she held her head and hastily apologized, but she was also really worried about the worms in her stomach, who knows how strong Chen Shan's control over the worms is. Who knows how strong Chen Shan's control over the worms is. What if the parasites get out of control and she gets eaten for nothing? As for Chen Shan, she will never let Renzong go, her identity is only clear to Renzong, once she goes, who knows if she won't pass the news on to someone else, don't worry, I won't treat you badly, your base is not the favorite of the promoter. I'll get you one when I have the chance, then I thank you, Master, Ren Sheng replied without tears, his heart once again feeling confused about the future, while Chen Shan felt that today's door was open forever, and was still thinking about whether or not to find some other fruit to eat, after all, it's not like vine monsters are the only kind of plants in this layer. But at that moment, Chen Shan's red pupils suddenly swirled, like the eyes of a lizard, they stared deathly at the ceiling diagonally above them, in the next second, an unprecedented feeling of oppression suddenly came from that direction, a bugbear, in the heat of the moment, Chen Shan immediately shouted, the pheromone transmission was obviously faster than the voice, and before the words could be uttered, the bugbear had already bitten Ren Sheng and jumped into the air, immediately. Jumping to the farthest place from this position, as for Chen Shan, she didn't intend to dodge at all, she climbed the dragon from the bottom to the top with one blow, aiming directly at the place where the crisis was thickest, and sure enough, the ceiling immediately burst, and what fell from the top was a solid wooden monster that was hard to describe in words, deformed and twisted to the extreme. The fist collided with the monster's body, emitting an earth-shattering bursting sound, in an instant, the floor of the surrounding wall was cracked by the shock wave from the impact, and the wooden monster was torn from the bottom to the top of its head, actually being split in half by Chen Shan's fist. What the hell? Chen Shan couldn't even appreciate his power after he had eaten his fill, so he looked at the plant vigilantly, its body was clearly split in two, but it could still move, and upon closer inspection, he realized that the end of this plant was connected to the main vines outside the tower with branches, as if they were manipulating the golem, damn you, bug, a shocking sound wave suddenly erupted in his brain. Chen Shan only felt his eyes darken and almost fainted from that voice, on the other. Side, Ren Sheng was holding his head and struggling on the ground, it seemed like this was an indiscriminate mental attack and Chen Shan didn't even know the source of the voice, immediately after that, the voice continued to shout, damn insects, so difficult to deal with, apparently, I chased you away yesterday, why, why do you want to come back? Seeking death, who are you? Have I seen you before? Chen Shan looked around, but found no enemies, the source of the spiritual voice is obviously not from the deformed plant that was broken in half, if you feel it with your heart, it seems to be in a higher place. The other person replied angrily, I am the master of this city, the ruler of all things, 
you ants are only worthy of being my food, if you don't leave quickly, I'll break your limbs, turn you into my food storage, and leave you in the endless fibers forever, do you understand? As she said the last sentence, the sound wave became deafening once again, Chen Shan felt like her brain was going to explode, she could only cover her head with one hand to barely stabilize herself, and hearing this, she also roughly guessed what was going on, a terrifying thought haunted her brain, Chen Shan asked almost out of the blue, is it possible that you're the original body of this main vine? You actually have evolved intelligence. Could it be that you are the original body of this main vine? You have indeed evolved wisdom, even if the other party didn't make a sound, Chin Shan felt a vague pain in his head, this time, the perfect body that was so hard to obtain would be restricted once again, at this time, the other party also shouted again after hearing Chin Shan's words, vines. Joke, Chin Shan let out a doubtful voice, I am a god who grasps the truth and will eventually become the master who rules over all things, every flesh and blood life is nothing but worms that devour the world, they will eventually become my food, and you, you damned female worm, just one of the many worms, said the voice in her head began to laugh, wild laughter shaking Chen Shan's blood-filled eyes, but she still could not help but curse in her heart, said, who is a female worm, you can not even grow out of the eyes of the gourd spirit. Besides, this is too two-dimensional, right? This tree is eaten a few two-thorn monkey consecutive mockery to Chin Shan angry, but she cannot find the body of the vine monster, even if you want to attack each other, but there is no way to do it, and this time, the vine monster spoke again, maybe it found that the spiritual attack cannot hurt Chin Shan, so mobilize more power to control the trees, and so there are many strange tree monster from the top that the hole fell. For the sake of you being a stupid female insect, I can still spare it now if you know what's good for you, get lost, otherwise, I'll be rude to you, well, that's just as well, seeing the provocation of the giant vine monster, Chen Shan just smiled slightly and said contemptuously, where is your crystal core? Give it to me right now, I promise to leave immediately after taking it, and I will definitely not cause you any trouble, you worm, Hearing Chen Shan's reply, the giant vine monster couldn't hold back anymore and let out a hysterical scream. Don't you understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you to run for your life, I am the root of life, the essence of all wood, and the master of the world, it is absolutely impossible for an ant like you, who is only the size of a grass or a tree, to say, oh, I know, so can you give me the crystal nucleus? Hearing the endless middle-aged speech of the vine monster, Chen Shan actually interrupted him directly, even picking his ears with some impatience, which also confused the vine monster, immediately after Chen Shan calmly blew off the ear flakes on his fingers, while casually sizing up the tree monster, while explaining in a so-called manner, if you really can defeat me, why don't you just grab me and absorb my nutrients? You obviously can't defeat me, and you're afraid that I'll destroy your old home, so you came here to scare me, in that case, I don't think your intelligence has been molded for a long time, you must have just awakened your self-awareness, so you're relatively naive, am I right? The air was silent. Under Ren Sheng's admiring gaze, Chen Shan's straightforward analysis directly silenced the giant vine monster, the room lost its voice, the manipulated tree monster also stood still and stared dryly, the atmosphere was a bit uncomfortable for a while. But soon, the giant vine monster's screams came out of its brain again, only this time, it completely lost the group's demeanor and instead screamed like a madman, that bastard. Griffin, that's why I hate bugs, I hate bugs the most, no brains. No opinions, can't think, only know how to eat, creatures like you deserve to be shoved into the ground at the root of a tree for all eternity so that I can suck up nutrients, let me tread on the roots, Saying that, the group of twisted tree monsters finally became active, Chen Shan saw this and also hastily took up a fighting stance, coldly returning, looks like you're planning to come hard. Eaten and drunk, energetic and powerful, Chen Shan felt that she was now invincible, even if the enemy was a transformer, she dared to try, not to mention a few tree monsters, however, just as Chen Shan was proudly preparing to face the enemy, the group of tree monsters running towards her suddenly turned around and ran towards Ren Xing's position, no way, that guy was actually playing dirty, master. When she saw the distorted monster running at her, Ren Xing panicked and stood up, but... 
She didn't even have the strength to run away, she could only call for Chen Shan, who lived up to Ren Sheng's expectations, she used to be as fast as a cheetah, but now she could even make a sound of breaking wind when she ran, and she shot out like a bullet, in a flash, the tree monster's heavy hammer fell to the ground, but Ren Sheng's figure was instantly carried away by Chen Shan. The young girl was carried by the beautiful white-haired woman in a princess embrace position, this kind of posture was as beautiful and elegant as a prince, and she was instantly touched, master, thank you. Chen Shan, who was hugging Ren Sheng, had a vein bursting out of his head, and as he dodged the vine and tree monsters, he gritted his teeth and said, aren't you the aid of the strongest team in Li River? Don't you know how to be invisible, is it so difficult to protect yourself? I'm sorry, but the spiritual attack just now, the words did not finish, the tree monster at Chen Shan's position once again fell a hammer, Ren Xing scared face pale, good thing Chen Shan in time to dodge, although Chen Shan will not be hurt by it, but Ren Sheng if you take this is not good to say, so she can only choose to dodge, how strong are you? Can you protect your friends? A large number of my doppelgangers will soon come down from the upper levels, and by then it will be too late for you to run away, Damn it, you're obviously a plant spirit, but do you know the science of holding hostages? Chen Shan, who was desperately dodging the pursuit, cursed in her heart as she looked at this pitiful young girl in her arms, wanting to throw the other party straight to the ground several times, she could leave Ren Sheng here, but it's not easy to find such obedient servants, not to mention that Ren Sheng has given me so many ideas as well. Damn, it's so hard to recover to full victory status, but the result is still being chased and beaten, so angry or else use this, thinking of this, Chen Shan suddenly stopped running, turned around and raised her hand, aiming it at the dozen or so tree monsters that were rushing towards her, mobilizing her biomass energy, she gathered it in her right arm, causing a layer of bulging substance to spread from her entire body to her shoulder, and in an instant, the back of Chen Shan's right arm bulged into a ball, as if something was about to explode at her shoulder, emptiness, erosion, run, and scream pitifully, this is the price you pay for defying the gods, I will absorb you to the bone, and nothing will go to waste, the giant vine monster was still screaming wildly as it maneuvered countless plant monsters toward Chen Shan, but in the next second, the space on this level suddenly went dark, immediately after that, large swaths of purple energy were released, spewing out, from Chen Shan's right heart like a tidal wave, directly hitting the group of tree monsters as well as the giant vine monster's main body outside, there was no mercy, what kind of thing is that? In an instant, the tree monsters and vine monsters in front of him were all turned into thick purple water, even the giant vine monster body outside, the vine that might be more than 10 meters in diameter, a large part of it was instantly corroded, the fibers and bark inside were clearly visible, and it was rapidly rotting under the burning of the skill, making the scene look particularly miserable, good pain. You really made me feel pain, I'm going to smash you to pieces, the giant vine. Monster screamed hysterically, and its huge body, which was originally immobile, even swayed slightly, as if it had been really hurt, even so, Chen Shan's face was still not very good, because the giant vine monster's body was really too big, even though the attack power of the void erosion move was full, it could not hurt the giant vine monster's vital organs, so the disadvantage of the moment was still not changed, careless, shouldn't have used that move, indeed, more and more tree monsters. And vines fell down from the upper floors, gradually closing off the space of this floor completely, surrounded by green color within sight. However, since Chen Shan had just finished using void erosion and had fallen into a brief period of weakness, she could no longer worry about Ren Sheng, even if the ghost could not be guaranteed to escape, should she kill a way out? Or should she go directly to the upper level and take his crystal core? Chen Shan was still hesitating at the critical moment, while those terrible vines had already wrapped around the giant beast, the size of the giant beast was not suitable for fighting with a large number of enemies in a narrow space, it might be strangled to death if it continued like this, so Chen Shan finally decided, damn, better figure out how to escape first, thinking like this, Chen Shan had already put Ren Sheng down, turned her right arm into a blade, and was ready to lead Ren Sheng. And the bugbear on a bloody path, but strangely enough, 
Just as she raised her arm and was about to cut off the next few vine monsters, those plant monsters trembled violently as if they had encountered something terrifying, and quickly fled to the outside world. The strange sight caught Chen Shan off guard, and for a moment, she didn't know whether to follow them or not, and just as she froze, she suddenly heard the screams of the giant vine monsters in her head, damn you, damn female worm. Surprisingly, there are still helpers, what's going on? Listening to the giant vine monster's screams, Chen Shan was at a loss, the plant monsters in front of her had already retreated as far as they could, leaving Chen Shan, Ren Sheng, and the bugbear to stare at each other with wide eyes, don't gnaw on my body, I'm sorry, it's my fault, I can share my energy with you, but don't harm my life. With a mournful and desperate cry, the giant vine monster's mental transmission abruptly ended, and its huge body outside the tower slowly collapsed as if something from the outside was destroying it, when Chen Shan saw this, she scratched her head in bewilderment, and after she confirmed that the giant vine monster and Ren Sheng were unharmed, she dazedly went over to the window to take a look at what was going on outside, and the scene that followed could only cause Chen Shan's eyes to open wide in disbelief, even after all these years, she couldn't forget the scene outside the TV tower, the former desolate city where the sky and earth were already dark, mountains and oceans of ants and monsters were climbing between the buildings, wasps were flying in the sky like rain, giant spiders were marching in the streets, and many other unnameable bugs were rapidly gathering towards the TV tower. The hills and the sky are covered with them, and they are endless, they came from far away and helped Chin Shan to nibble at the branches of the giant vine monster, eating its flesh and blood and absorbing its essence, just as Chin Shan froze in shock, a female insect with the lower body of a spider and the upper body of a human crawled in through the window, it was well formed, with fluffy spider hair covering its chest. The upper part of its face looked like an insect, while the lower part of its face was about the same as that of a human female, and its body was black and purple, it was unable to make any expressions or open its mouth to speak, but after seeing Chen Shan's first glance, it immediately stood in a good posture, then gently bowed and excitedly communicated with pheromones, the queen is here, and Arachne has come to pay her respects, my skill. Would it be much more powerful than I thought when I saw this spider monster with a great stance and fierce aura, a drop of cold sweat slowly trickled down Chen Shan's forehead. Heart of the Swarm, Mind Control or Suppression of All Insectoids Below Your Current Level Plus 10 This morning, before Chen Shan left for the TV tower, she had told an ant monster that she could help her cut up this plant, and the ant monster left without paying any attention to her, however, in reality, the ant monster was only a level 30 or 40 monster, and it knew that it couldn't fight the giant vines alone, so it went back to the anthill to look for reinforcements. And there were high-level monsters among the anthill, and the first ever intelligent monster smelled the pheromone scent of. The bug queen as soon as it saw the ant monster, when it saw the ant monster, it immediately smelled the pheromone scent of the ant queen, therefore, he had no choice but to call his clan to help him, and he even called other bug monsters to reinforce the bug queen together, thus creating the current situation, where did all this come from? When Chen Shan looked at the insect monsters that covered the sky in front of her, even she was stunned at this moment, Ren Sheng was even terrified enough to kneel on the ground and tremble with wide eyes, while the spider monster named Arachne gently bowed and told Chen Shan with an unprecedented pious gesture, the queen is here, and Arachne has come to pay her respects. Yu Chen Shan returned horrified, for a moment a bit at a loss for words, looking at Arachne's huge spider body, as well as from the other side of the body to feel the majestic energy, Chen Shan could not help but tremble, this monster's ability is not the same as a small, although it only looks the size of an ordinary bug monster, but can give me an invisible pressure, said not even the huge tendril monster is not her enemy, the lower half of the body is a horrible black spider, the upper itself is a beautiful body, obviously long a face only the mouth exposed, but can feel the mask under the unique beauty and breathtaking, the legend of the irresistible spider, fear it is not identical. However, outside the window, two more powerful life forces were rapidly approaching this floor just as Chin Shan was thinking about how to deal with this spider spirit, when he turned his head to look, he saw a red wasp monster twice the size of a bugbear and an anthropoid monster covered in white scales flying in through the window, the queen is here, stinging wing has come to pay her respects, the queen is here, 
Shadowflame has come to pay her respects. Oh, my god, her voice turned into a trill as she talked, as if she was about to scream, three intelligent species appeared at once, and they were also high-ranking intelligent species that could lead a monster colony, and such a thing was surprisingly 40 kilometers away from Lee River base, who wouldn't be afraid that the Lee River base would definitely be destroyed on the spot if they joined forces for the destruction of the human race, and would be the first unlucky egg of Yan Huang, however. Just as the two new commanders were paying their respects to Chin Shan, the red wasp monster flying in the air suddenly became entangled in a spider silk as thick as an arm before it could stabilize, the red wasp monster was pulled down from the sky and thrown into the far wall, the red wasp monster knocked down a large portion of the wall, sending up a cloud of suffocating smoke, and then Arachne's spider eyes glowed red, and a mental voice rang out in everyone's heads, including the monsters. Stinging wing, you idiot, how dare you linger in the air to pay your respects to the queen, do you think you've lived too long? Arachne's mental transmission was that of a mature woman, and the only part of her human face that would change with her emotions was her mouth, like the one she was wearing now, a look of gritted teeth and disgust, in response, Chen Shan could only sweat slightly, while the stinging wing over there that had been thrown into the debris flew back up, with debris drifting down from its body as a strong murderous aura emanated from its body, and it even sent out a spirit transmission, Arachne. Bitch, the queen is here, and you still dare to make a move against me, Thornwing's voice was a fierce male voice, full of murmurs and not rational enough, which he felt might be due to the relatively low level, while Arachne's persona spread her hands and indifferently asked back to Thornwing's curse, so what? So what if I hit you? A flying piece of flesh is just a piece of flesh and still wants to be the Queen Sama's servant, it's really ridiculous. I'm going to kill, all of the stinging wings wings suddenly unfolded, and what followed was a shocking sound, even though it seemed like its wings weren't moving, they were actually flapping at a high speed frequency, like hundreds of electric drills working on a television tower at the same time, which was so shocking that it would make one's head spin, and in the next second, the stinging wings were hurtling toward where Arachne was. Its speed could no longer be described as amazing, it could be said to be exactly like a bullet, and its huge body arrived in front of him with a whoosh, it was a good thing that Chen Shan was shaken by this and couldn't help but sing in his heart, didn't you say you were coming to pay your respects to me? What are you doing? While Chen Shan was still chanting in his heart, the stinging wing immediately stopped at a distance of two meters in front of Arachne, as if it had heard something. The two bug monsters looked at each other, then turned their heads together to look at Chen Shan in the distance, and then suddenly regained their composure, stinging wings silently fell back to the ground, bowed humbly, and even apologized respectfully, I'm sorry, your majesty, stinging wings was reckless and scared you, seeing this scene, Chen Shan blinked in surprise, because she obviously didn't do anything, but the other party acted as if they had heard her inner thoughts, in fact, this was due to the fact that Chen Shan would passively emit pheromones when she was thinking, and that was why the Thornwings would stop fighting internally, Queen, we heard your call, we came here to help you, from now on you are our master, may I ask what your orders are now, can we do anything? Compared to the ruthlessness of the other two bug monsters, this termite named Shadow Flame was much more humble, and his voice was a soft and elegant neutral voice, exuding a sense of refinement despite his ant-like appearance. Just in front of these three behemoths, plus the endless swarms of bugs outside the tower, at this time, even if it is level 122 Chin Shan is also nervous head full of cold sweat, she can only pretend to calm a small cough, give the three behemoths show a bright smile, then immediately Turen Xing pulled up from the ground, nervously asked, what's going on here, these bugs can talk. Dragon Harbor turns out to have these characters. This is not the master you summoned about it, Ren Sheng is also a face of confusion, she has long been afraid to the point of shaking, can only shake to answer, the dragon's port was originally the most dangerous zone, the density of monsters in the whole of Asia is one of the best, just did not expect that there will be three intelligent species, is not it? Ren Sheng weakly explained, speaking pupils have been trembling, tears seem to be flowing out at any time, if it is not Chen Shan pulling her, in fact, she now does not even have the strength to stand up, because there are tens of thousands of bugs and monsters out there looking at her, Ren Sheng did not have the heart of the swarm skilled three intelligent species, 
but also in one place, the human race is doomed. Chen Shan did not continue to ask Ren Sheng will be self-conscious about sobbing. Which cannot help but Chen Shan slightly speechless, can only be thrown to the ground, refaced the three bugs, so you, you have been in Dragon Harbor. How come I've never seen you before? The queen joked, seeing a chance to show herself, Arachne didn't wait for the other two monsters to speak, she took the lead and stepped forward to explain with a smile, we all have our own territories, especially the swarms of bees and spiders are not on speaking terms with each other in order to prevent frequent fights between each other, so we rarely go out of our territories. Arachne said smiling, not looking at how she looked, just listening to how she sounded, she really looks like a sweet and cute girl, however, just after she finished speaking, the other side of stinging wing will intentionally or unintentionally interrupt her, even though I hate this female spider, Shadow Flame said that the human race is the greatest threat to the insect race, so I am not going to take the initiative to start a war before I destroy the human race, forgive me, you don't have the Guts, Arachne gave Stinging Wings a contemptuous look, and Stinging Wings secretly glared at her as well, the two bug monsters looking very much at odds with each other, but even though he asked, Chen Shan was still a bit annoyed and could only ask in a cold sweat, so, in that case, you all willingly obey me. Is that not a little bit of aggression? After all, my appearance is similar to that of a human being, right? Lord Queen is joking. When she heard Chen Shan's question, this time, it was Shadow Flame who stood up gently, the breath coming from you is the scent of the highest realm, and to get close to that scent, even if it means being smashed to pieces, my subordinates will not be willing, and it does not have anything to do with strength, appearance, wisdom, or any other thing, what if I asked you to attack another monster colony? Or attack a human base? Would you be willing to do that? I pledge my loyalty, with that, the creepy white body of Dark Flame kneeled down and made a sincere bow to Chin Chan, and the other two bug monsters followed, so that all the bugs in the outside world, the mountain of ants, wasps, and spiders, all fell to the ground and made a sincere bow to Chin Chan, developed, seeing such a magnificent scene, Chin Chan only felt his heart beat faster, brain fever, could not help but secretly marvel in his heart, so many bug monsters, each of them has thirty or 40 levels, right? In addition to these three unknown power giants, wouldn't I be able to level the Li River base and directly rule everyone with a single command? What am I thinking? I'm a human, why would I want to level a human base? At this moment, Chen Shan's eyes flashed with madness, but she regained her senses in time and shook her head to reject this terrible idea, First, destroying the human base would not be beneficial at the moment, and it would also kill countless insects. Second, even if we really took over the Li River base and got the resources, Chen Shan and the Three Swarms would definitely become the target in the future of Asia. In the future, there will be a steady stream of people coming to wipe them out. To prevent the tragedy of the European base from happening again. Of course, in the end of the world, obscene development is the king, the tree is attracting the wind, and ruling the world doesn't concern me for the moment, after thinking it over, Chin Shan's mental state seems to have relaxed a lot. Then, she finally calmly faced the three bug kings, took up her superior position, lightly coughed, smiled, and commanded, I already understand your intentions, in that case, I'll give you an order, don't mind, right? Proceed willingly, the three bug kings replied in unison, and a terrifying spiritual pressure spread to every corner of the city, while Chen Shan had to pretend to be unperturbed as he continued to give orders. First, from now on, stop all the bug wars and use Dragon Harbor City as a stronghold to gradually eliminate all non-bug monsters and prevent the invasion of foreign enemies, I. Even though you may be beetles, knowledge is of great importance, so we hope you will find a way to capture some humans and let them teach you human science and history, so that even in the face of high-tech weaponry, we will be able to deal with you, the queen is wise, hearing this, Arachne could not help but scream for some reason, giving Chen Shan a fright, but she quickly regained her royal demeanor and continued to stand with her chest held high as she commanded, as for this, it's very simple. Can one of you help me get the crystal core from this tree? I've been hungry for a long time, and I want to eat something good, with these words, the tower was instantly silent, the three bug kings then looked at each other as if they had just understood something, and suddenly twisted their bodies, they ran frantically toward the top of the television tower, 
what followed was their excited mental transmissions, as the queen commands, we will go and get the crystals. We're going to get the crystal nuclei, there's no need to rush. Arachne, a spider-type monster with intelligence, why would she get excited when she heard Chin Shan say that she wanted to learn about humans? Because her body is very special, once she was just like an ordinary spider monster, with no self-awareness and not a high level, but when she accidentally killed a human powerhouse, the other party's last words type abilities led to the forced fusion of Arachne and her, resulting in the current half-human, half-spider body, so she inherited the human mind, both can read and understand the text, also can speak without the mouth to say just because of laziness, and the spider swarm territory. Happens to be near the library, resulting in Arachne's favorite thing is to read historical documents, apparently, her name is also based on the myths and legends, they gave themselves the name, as for the other two bug kings, the origin of their names was more common, they were given to them by the refugees in the early years when there were still humans in Dragon Harbor, with the purpose of keeping the other survivors away from them, but who would have thought that the two bug kings would have remembered them and used them directly as their own names. The episode was over, it was a bright noon, the busy day of the insect queen finally ushered in lunch time, outside the dining room neatly stood a row of insects, a bee and an ant, two insect king even inside the dining room groveling salute to the great queen to throw piety, in the serene elegance and light breeze, the queen gracefully sat down in her chair, picked up her knife and fork, and then her human maid tied her apron and the napkin tucked into her neckline, at that moment, her white. Hair danced in the air and her cheeks shone in the holy glory of the sun, the graceful curves of her body were round and tight under the white petticoat so that not a single flaw could be found, while the undulating peaks of her body were scorched as if they could nourish all things and make her people prosper. And then the first course was served, and the beautiful spider child came in from the outside, bowed her head, and offered her hands, and a red fruit the size of a football, held on a silver platter, was placed on the table, with the rich energy glistening under the skin, and the seeds filled like a crystal pomegranate, such a beautiful work of art, I'm sure the queen would eat it with grace, right? And as expected, with this hard-won tonic in front of her, the queen of the insect race lifted the corners of her charming mouth, smiled softly, and then suddenly opened her mouth wide, like a vicious tiger poised for a bite, her face was hideous, and the juice was spurting out, her eyes were red, her cheeks were sickly red, her every move was like a beast that had been starving for three days and nights, eating like a madman. And after a few cool snorting sounds, the energy-rich tree devil. Fruit had already been gnawed by the queen, leaving no leaves, no, worthy of a queen, even her eating stance is so fierce. I love it so much, it feels like it's overflowing, for some reason, the human part of Arachne suddenly covered her pink lips with her hand, her cheeks showing a shy blush and looking unusually excited, on the other hand, Chen Shan, who had finished her tonic elegantly wiped her mouth with a napkin, as if the wild scene just happened wasn't her fault, and burped contentedly burp, not bad, tastes a bit like dragon fruit. After eating it, she felt refreshed and felt that the whole person was. A live look corner of the mouth is still hung with red juice, slender and soft tongue is licked gently, at this time, Chen Shan looks charming and evil, but he is completely unaware of this, the tree devil fruit is the essence of the entire giant vine monster, which contains more than biological energy and the giant vine monster for years and years of accumulation of supernatural energy and spiritual energy, can greatly enhance Chen Shan's functions after eating it, after eating it, it could greatly improve Chen Shan's functions. While Chen Shan was silently enjoying the taste of the tree devil fruit, the long-lost system voice suddenly sounded in his head, you have consumed the S-class consumable, tree vine fruit and obtained the skills, Nature Force LV9, Spirit Resistance LV6, Toxin Resistance LV6, your level has been increased to 124, and you have unlocked the new team member record system function, which allows you to monitor the level and friendliness of your team members, and become a servant, requirements to become a servant, loyalty of 75 or favoritism of 60 watt. When he heard the voice of the system, Chen Shan's expression was a bit unbelievable, after all, he had killed so many monsters without any upgrade, and then he ate a fruit and got a boost instead. 
No wonder Aizia wants the tree devil fruit so badly, I can even go up two levels after eating it at level 122, but they won't just take off after eating it at level 20 or 30. By the way, Li Zhang's base still have Gamma Enhancer, I should not find a way to steal two bottles of this thought, Chen Shan was a bit unable to resist the excitement, after all, their own strength is so strong these other cities, nobody dare to take the plant monster core, is not how much you want as much as you want. But at the moment, Chen Shan is more concerned about the new system features, see her eyes turning, began to measure the side of a couple of subordinates, Beast, Level 66, Good Sense 99, Loyalty 100, Ren Sheng, Level 22, Good Sense 35, Loyalty 86, Stabbing Wing, Level 88, Good Sense 62, Loyalty 93, Shadow Flame, Level 95, Wits, 55, Loyalty, 81 Arachne, Rank 9 1, Favor, 105, Loyalty, 93, 65 Why is Ren Sheng's loyalty so high? How much does she fear death? Also, favorability and loyalty don't seem to be equal, Shadowflame and Thornwing don't really like my appearance, and favorability is only 50 or 60. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is Arachne's favorability 105 and her loyalty so low? What's wrong with her? I will not be betrayed by her. When Chen Shan finally noticed the last message, he couldn't help but look at Arachne with fear, only to see the other party looking at her with a blush on her face, the corners of her mouth curled up in a meaningful smile, sending shivers down Chen Shan's spine. Thinking of this, Chen Shan's head slowly slipped down with a drop of cold sweat, however, she did not want to be afraid of what would happen. As soon as she decided not to talk to Arachne, the other party, was already looking forward to talking to her, and she decided not to talk to Arachne, just as she decided not to talk to Eric Nido, the other party came up with great interest, covered her chest, and said excitedly, Your Majesty, I feel that your power has been renewed, I can feel that your power has increased again, it seems that energy substances can help you grow. So I'll offer you the nectar that the spiders use to recover from their injuries and you can absorb it, and I'm sure you'll receive another promotion. Although Arachne's tone is very pious, but looking at the other party's head of shining goodwill 105 dangerous, Chen Shan decided that it is better not to take other people's things, well, or forget it, next time to say it, Chen Shan quietly refused to say Arachne is, and then open his mouth, seems to show a regretful look, this guy definitely have some kind of conspiracy, on the other side, Shadow Flame, who had been silent the whole time, also climbed up, normally she should walk over, but it, is an ant monster, so crawling would be more appropriate, respectfully saluted Chen Shan before slowly saying, Your Majesty, regarding the order to remove the other animals, I feel I need to report one thing to you, what is it? Speak up. Chen Shan didn't dare to talk to Arachne, so she took the opportunity to quickly look at Shadow Flame, who continued to explain respectfully, on the south side of Longgang City, there is a very scary guy, although his intelligence is not high, his strength is much stronger than me, Stinging Wing, and Arachne, of course, the three of us should have no problem defeating him, but we will inevitably cause casualties. So I think you must not want to come up here and lose your troops, I don't want to. Come up here and lose your troops, speaking here, Shadowflame stopped making any sound, and the meaning of the words was very clear, it wanted Chen Shan to go and fight with this monster, However, Chen Shan has not yet responded, but the wing on the other side is contemptuous. Shadow Flame, what kind of words are you talking about? Just because you're afraid of death doesn't mean I'm afraid of death, I can take care of it if I go alone. Said, the stabbed wing will have to lead some of the army to attack the posture, Shadow Flame to do so just keep quiet, thought really level is not to 90 guys brain is stupid. As for Chen Shan, although she cannot be said to be very smart, but the basic emotional intelligence is still there, understood the meaning of Shadowflame's words, nominally said that she was afraid of the queen, did not want to lose troops, but in fact wanted to observe Chen Shan's strength, after all, Shadowflame, this guy is only good at talking, goodwill and loyalty is not high uh, forget it, Thornwing, since Shadowflame said so, I will go and try, Thornwing and Arachne seem to want to. Stop it, but Chen Shan smiled and waved his hand, signaling that they needn't worry, 
it's okay, I also want to try how strong my current power is, let me take care of the first battle after the bug race gathering. Arachne's form is not quite the same as the other beetle monsters, and she might not be fully affected by the swarm heart, so her loyalty is so low, to increase her loyalty, and by the way, to remove Shadowflame's concerns, it is really better for me to go and kill the monsters myself, it is okay, after all, I am a level 124, and theoretically more powerful than the three beetle kings, thinking of this, Chin Shan already straightened his posture, ruffled his white hair, and stood up with great vigor, an incomparably confident smile on his face, the other beetles were also starry-eyed, looking at the queen's posture as if they were looking at the stars and praising her in their hearts, worthy to be the queen, after an hour, the four beetles arrived at the southernmost part of the city, where the number of mammal monsters was the highest, here, there was an abundance of vegetation and materials, like a flora and fauna garden before the end of the world, and they could occasionally see invisible bird monsters, after passing through the dense forest, the crowd came to the park square, and in the middle of the fountain, which had already dried up, was a huge lion monster, more than 5 meters long and more than 2 meters high, is lying in the middle of it smugly basking in the sun, incomparable comfortable rest, on, is to look at the elephant-like horror of the lion monster, Chen Shan trembling said so. The three bug king also affirmative nodded his head, only a large size is just, this lion. Monster is also long with golden scales, red pupils, exuberant hair, chest and neck of the blonde hair as hard as a steel fork general, thick and heavy, the tail was even thicker than a python, and it swung around leisurely under the sunlight, smashing the ground with a circle of cracks, even before he approached, Chen Shan could feel the strong sense of oppression, this was different from all the monsters she had previously fought, if she were the hungry Chen Shan of two days ago, she would have been killed on the spot without so much as a lion's hair being pulled off. More importantly, she's not sure if she can defeat that thing, so why don't we ask the three of them to join forces? Did not start the fight, Chen Shan is already slightly beat a drum of retreat, after all, do not be the queen of what is secondary, can live well is the truth just before she opened her mouth, the unexpected happened, that did not exist sense of Ren Sheng, for some reason, good death at this time shouted. Master, cheer up, hearing this cheer, Chen Shan immediately showed a lifeless look, but it was not too late. As long as she lowered her stance and gently waved her hand, signaling to the insects that she had changed her mind, she might still be able to save her life, but then she heard the excited voices of the three insect kings following Ren Sheng's slogan, Long live the queen, kill the damn foreigner. One step, two steps, three steps, looking at the magnificent size of the lion monster, and just lying on the ground can emit a ferocious aura, Chen Shan could not help but swallow nervously, but still hardened her heart and walked over, there is no way, although her heart is not bottomless, but the matter has come to this point, there is no way for her to back out, but it's okay, there is still the emptiness erosion, right? If she can find a way to kill it in a few seconds, she'll be fine, as she thought, Chen Shan nodded her head in silence, after all, the void erosion wasn't something that couldn't be killed in a matter of seconds from now on, while she was thinking, that lionfish also noticed that someone was approaching, and suddenly stood up and looked at Chen Shan's position warily, humans, why are you trespassing on my territory? Why are you invading my territory? Since Shadow Flame had said that this guy's intelligence was not very high, Chen Shan thought that the other party would not be able to speak, and he could not help but be startled by the sudden spiritual transmission in his head. At that moment, when he looked at the lion monster after it stood up, it was even more than half a meter taller, with Chen Shan's height, he could only look at the other party's feet and his solid body looked like it weighed at least five tons, hello, compared to the deep and horrible voice of the lion monster, Chen Shan's voice is quite charming, while the lion monster is very arrogant, not only did he not respond to Chen Shan's words, but his blood-red eyes were constantly measuring Chen. Shan as if he was looking at a toy, I see, there is a familiar smell on you, is the shadow flame, the garbage to send you, it seems that this worm also finally figured out, know that I am not my opponent, specially offer it seems that this worm has finally realized that it is not my opponent and has specially offered tribute to beg for peace, say, the arrogant lionfish even slightly smirked revealing a vile smile, look at Chen Shan's look also more a few points of mockery, 
in this regard, Chin. Sean is also slightly sweaty, can only helplessly reply, not I am here to finish you, what? Kill me. Just you. At this remark, the lion monster immediately made a puzzled sneering sound, tilting its head to look at Chin Shan, the fierce lion face can even be twisted out of the smug look, speech full of self-importance. I am the golden lion, the king of animals, the strongest of all animals, is the ruler of the forest and the city as the strongest in the carnivore world, I am the top of the world's food chain creatures. With a short guy like you want to challenge me? How can a little guy like you resist me? You're just trying to stop me, if you know what's good for you, then get down on your knees and kiss my toes, since you're a weak female, I might let you go, the voice of the lion monster suddenly stopped, and it wasn't because Chin Shan attacked it, but it noticed that while it was talking, the little man in front of it actually raised his right arm and probed something with the bug on his arm, report to the queen bug, the animal strength is 8, it has been recorded in the information bank. It then immediately stared with wide eyes, in an incredulous tone of shock, it said. You human, are you not listening to me? Sorry, Chin Shan hastily scratched his head and replied with some embarrassment, but it couldn't be helped that it was already Chin Shan's habit to test the enemy's strength with a small ring before fighting, who knew that this leonish beast had so many words, although it has intelligence, the thinking of the animal is still relatively simple, a word of advice towards Chin Shan rushed out, Chin Shan sighed, she only felt a tense heart. A gust of wind suddenly rose, straight to her, obviously. The other side has not yet reached the nearby spot, but the wind will be scraping her face raw pain, in a hurry, she could only dodge sideways, in a short moment, maybe not even half a second, Chin Shan's figure flashed to five meters away, while the lion monster in Chin Shan's standing position just swung a sharp claw, seemingly Chin Shan dodged the attack, intact but the next second, her clothes and pants suddenly appeared cracks, and soon turned into shreds of cloth rolled down from her body, so she was forced to be naked all over her body, she was forced to be naked. Good, Chin Shan's face showed a look of horror, she knew very well that she had indeed dodged the attack, but the wind blade wielded by the lion monster had still cut her clothes to pieces, at this moment, when she looked at Chen Shan's body again, there was no scene of bliss that she could think of, nor was there any damage, because every inch of her skin was protected by the biomass scales, which fit tightly around her body, limbs, and breasts like a straitjacket, except for her head, and all of her skin was not left out, which was tightly stitched together and immaculate, and her delicate body curves were highlighted to the full, and her black scale armor was glistening in the sunlight, also glistened in the sunlight, love, beautiful to the extreme, Queen Sama's body is so beautiful, I want to make her mine. Arachne, who was still watching the battle, couldn't help but utter a tender praise, the human form part of her cupping her cheeks with both hands, drool dripping from the corners of her mouth as if she were a sickly young girl caught in a love affair, while the remaining two insect kings and Ren Sheng stared at her blankly, on the other side of the battle, Chen Shan was still dodging several attacks from the lion monster, and even if she was accidentally scratched by the wind blade and scaled armor, it wouldn't leave many scratches, it wouldn't hurt, the only injuries so far were his clothes and a few white hairs, damn bugs, annoying fleas, don't run away if you can, let me tear you to pieces, the enraged lion monster hissed with its mental voice, but Chen Shan was no fool, so how was he going to stand still and let it get hit? If you can touch me, then you can say so, a creature at the top of the food chain can't even touch its prey, right? Chin Shan, who dodged the blow again, even made a funny face by pulling his eyelids with his index finger, this scene immediately made the lion monster half dead, only to see that its eyes were filled with blood, and for some unknown reason, it suddenly stood up in its original position, in the next second, the lion monster opened its huge mouth and took aim at Chin Shan. Chen Shan had long since realized from her experiences over the past few days that the first thing most animal monsters did when they used a stance was to open their mouths, and this lion was definitely trying to spray something at her, this lion was definitely trying to spray her, a tremendous pressure suddenly erupted from the lion monster's body, like a mountain pressing down on people, almost suffocating them, the powerful golden energy in its mouth quickly coalesced, and when she looked back, the lion monster's entire bloody mouth, including its body, was filled with golden light, like a god.
I'm not afraid of you, void erosion, I told you, if it's against a wave, Chen Shan with her SSS rank skills is absolutely not afraid of anyone, or rather, she was just waiting for the moment when the lion monster would amplify his moves so that the purple energy would burst into flames, both of her hands were in the form of accumulating energy at the same time, and the lightning-like purple energy crackled on her scale armor, then, both arms were swung out together, stretching forward, and two streams of purple energy were unleashed like laser cannons, the golden rays of light attacked with them, and the two collided in the air, emitting an unprecedented northern lights and roaring sound, the sound was deafening, the ground began to crumble, the moss began to burn, all the surrounding buildings shook, and even space seemed to be distorted, but Chen Shan did not expect to always be undefeated emptiness erosion, at this time and the other side actually fighting a draw, purple. Light and golden light in the two uninterrupted offset, intense energy waves in a circle and a circle to the surrounding spread to the distant observers to the east and west were shocked. The lion monster was still emitting energy, as if it had an inexhaustible supply of alien energy, it hissed loudly while releasing its mouthpiece, annoying flea, die, 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 rip your flesh and blood to shreds, burn everything in you to the ground, repent in despair, probably because he thought he was going to win, the lion monster let out a wild laugh with his voice. Chen Shan's face didn't look very good when she heard this laugh, she was aware of her own situation, and using. Her abilities like this was very unfavorable for her, biological energy is a medium, supernatural energy is a medium, to be precise, is life and magic, and the void erosion of this move will prioritize the loss of magic, and then consume the life, resulting in the proportion of life energy far exceeds the proportion of supernatural energy Chin Shan, once the use of this skill for too long, will once again fall into the situation of biological energy shortage, resulting in the strength of great. Reduction at this time, Chen Shan finally realized something, seeing her gaze harden, she directly stopped her void erosion skill and dove headfirst into the golden ray of light, the purple light disappeared and her body was instantly engulfed by the golden light, but the lion monster didn't want to stop attacking and continued to spit out energy like mad, giving up the fight, little bug. Then go to hell, the violent golden shockwave tore through the enemy, plummeting to the ground like a fire dragon before turning into a wave of flame that swept over everything, no substance was left untouched by the fiery waves, and even the shadow flame and the other insects watching couldn't help but feel their hearts tighten, as if they were worried about the queen's condition, but at that moment, the lion monster's complexion suddenly froze, and a look of fear gradually appeared in its eyes, in its invulnerable golden muzzle cannon, what figure seemed to be slowly moving. A long black scaled arm was actually reaching out, and it was only half a meter away from him, how could that be? The lion monster immediately let out a terrified voice, but it was now unable to move because it was using a stance and its body was in a stiff position, so the woman's figure gradually moved forward in the torrent of energy, and the next two arms suddenly clamped onto the upper and lower jaws of the lion monster, pulling it down hard and forcing it to kneel on the ground, and the muzzle cannon finally stopped. Why? It was obviously just a flea, the golden smoke gradually dissipated, and everything in front of the lion monster turned into scorched earth, but the huge body trembled slightly, and on the scorched earth clinging to its upper and lower jaws was the woman who was actually intact, at this time, her eyes were as red as blood, her smile was as terrifying as a ghost's, her figure was as small as a mole cricket in front of the monster, but her strength was as great as a titan's. So the lion monster whose jaws were clamped was completely unable to break free, if my level was higher than the other party, and my supernatural attack was a tie with the other party, that meant one thing, I was actually better at physical attacks. It just confirmed why the system had only given me one active skill, because I didn't have much of a blue void erosion to really do anything, it was really just a ranged skill to clear out small monsters, who are you calling a flea? Try saying that again, an icy voice slowly came out of Chen Shan's mouth, no longer smiling, this single sentence scared the lion monster so much that its entire body shook, and it couldn't help but cry out in fear, what are you going to do, I'm the king of beasts, wait a minute, wait a moment, the gap between the upper and lower jaws widened, and the lion felt unbearable pain in his mouth, under its desperate pleas for mercy, 
Chen Shan's power increased instead of decreasing, gradually. Gaining strength, and soon, blood flowed from the lion monster's mouth, it dripped onto Chen Shan's cheeks, making her smile even more sickly and convulsive. Then a click was heard, and the entire screen turned the color of blood, all that could be seen was the shadow of the lion monster in the middle of the blood shadow, and its huge head was actually severely cracked, as its throat and neck broke at the seams, its entire upper body was torn in two on the spot, it collapsed to the ground, blood splattered everywhere like a bloody rain, and the woman standing in the bloody fountain just calmly looked at her own masterpiece, pondering, and then. She turned back to the bugs in the distance and said, Bugbear, come and eat it, don't waste it, the bugbear rushed over and started gnawing at the corpse on the ground, and the three bug kings and Ren Xing over there were completely stunned, wide-eyed and speechless, they froze for more than ten seconds before realizing that they had sucked in a mouthful of cold air and screamed in horror, seconds, perhaps from Chin Shan's perspective, she and the lion monster fought back and forth equally, and tried many times before finding a way to defeat each other. But in the eyes of the beetle kings, this was definitely not the case, if the queen had used her powerful defense and strength to attack the lion monster at the beginning, the other team wouldn't have been able to last a single round, in other words, the queen was just toying with the opponent, no, as expected from a queen, even against such a strong opponent, she was able to handle it with ease, it's so wonderful. She's so light and graceful, this master will surely lead us to the top. Of the world and rule over all creatures, my beloved queen, Thornwing and Arachne began to lose control of themselves, praising Chin Shan in almost desperate tones, and even Ren Sheng's eyes glistened, suddenly thinking that perhaps it would be good to become Chin Shan's servant. However, they didn't realize that Chin Shan actually didn't have time to take care of them at that moment, because as Chin Shan was ripping apart the lion monster and blood was pouring into her mouth, the voice of the system sounded in her head you have consumed the S-class consumable, the blood of the Lord's magical beasts, and gained the skills, alien energy reservoir LV-8, flesh strengthening LV-6, and wild killing LV-6 your level has been raised to 125, and you have unlocked the new the system function planning guidance, advice system, the system will make reasonable suggestions for your current strength situation to help you grow quickly four hours later, the first floor of the TV tower, Chin Shan's neck swelled like a balloon, in an outbreak of pain after the dry sound, the white egg accompanied by saliva spitting on the ground issued a snap sound, at this time to look at Chin Shan, their face a bit pale, and the figure also a bit wobbly, the environment also a bit pale, and Chin Shan, their face a bit pale, and their bodies also a bit pale, the surrounding bug kings showed their concern when they saw this, but Chin Shan just waved her hand and said quietly, this is enough this is enough, take it out and put it with the other two, the rest of you go first, I want to rest for a while. I'd like to rest for a while, after responding to the queen's words, Arachne held the white egg and walked out, the size of the white egg was still expanding, and as Arachne walked out into the square, the camera suddenly showed two hatching eggs that were taller than a person, in the center of the square, they were beating like a heart, incubating an unknown life. They were created by Chin Shan when he returned to the tower after killing the lion monster, what the hell do you want? In order for the queen to have a good rest, the bug kings temporarily left the TV tower hall, and it was only when Chin Shan, Ren Sheng, and the bugbear were left behind that Ren Sheng finally showed a horrified expression, pointed at Chin Shan in disbelief and asked, You, are you trying to wipe out the human race, you're wrong. Let me tell you, even though my life is now in your hands, I will not be a traitor to my people. If you must destroy the Li River base, then kill me, I won't be an enabler. Ren Xing actually raised his chest in righteous anger, as if he was sacrificing his life for the sake of righteousness, which made Chin Shan feel funny and amused. I'll kill you then, Chin Shan laughed and casually replied, who knew that in the next second, Ren Sheng's face would turn white on the spot, and she would immediately grab a shovel, kneel down on the ground, hug Chen Shan's legs, and start crying, I don't want you to do this, crying, why can't you and humans live together peacefully? In the base, there is my crush, I do not want him to die, finished, Ren Sheng is already crying pear blossom with rain, tears, during this time, she did not forget to rub her face against Chin Shan's feet to show her humble piety. Chin Shan was also amused by her and could not get angry, 
and could only laugh bitterly while pressing his temples, helplessly replying, who told you that I want to wipe out the human race? Hearing this, Ren Sheng's screams came to an abrupt end, and a question mark slowly appeared on his head, why did you make such a big egg? And also gave birth to three at the same time, isn't this just to increase the combat power for the war? When he thought back to the beetles Chin Shan had birthed, at the moment there were only small rings and beetles, no wonder it would be misunderstood by Ren Sheng, if there were three more beetles, drilling head first into the Li River base, it was estimated that without the beetle army base would have to die thousands, or even thousands of people, Chin Shan saw Ren Sheng crying pitifully, probably know that the other party is actually also for their sake, do not want the master and people on. The other side, so had no choice but to explain, then I will tell you to wait until we go to Lee River base, you cannot tell other people, do you understand? Good, absolutely no nonsense, Ren Xing swore and promised, but Chen Shan was full of black lines silently chanting in his heart, so can you put your feet down? Your level to 125 inch the new system features planning advice, consulting system, the system will be your current strength, the reasonableness of the suggestion, to help you grow quickly, in addition to the system recommendations do not take into account the major environmental factors, please do not blindly accept the system advice, no no no, what can you plan to do? Finally getting a useful function, Chen Shan naturally couldn't wait to consult the system, and the system also replied with a knowledgeable answer, Given the current situation, the system can suggest three aspects for you to level up, strengthen your power, and make interpersonal friendships, which one do you want to listen to? One by one inch let's start with leveling up, Chen Shan replied calmly in his head. Leveling up, your current level is 125 inch you have gained strength, agility, energy, intelligence, stamina, perception, invisibility, attack, defense, and resistance, Based on this, if you want to level up, we suggest that you kill or consume more plant, seed, flying, and energy magic beasts, and consume the seeds of high-level magic beasts to level up faster. Due to the special nature of your abilities, you can also consume humans to level up faster, in addition, due to the special nature of your skills, eating humans can also increase your attributes and level, eating humans. Even after hearing the first suggestion, Chen Shan's eyes widened a bit, unable to hold back, originally, every time she smelled fresh blood, her emotions would rise and her appetite would increase greatly, especially when she killed Aizya, she had tried her best to suppress her desire, only then did she manage to stop herself from doing something even more brutal, as a result. The system was now telling her that eating people was the fastest way to improve her strength, how could Chen Shan not feel torn? Is it possible that she really wants to eat people in the future? Will I eat them raw or cooked? It's scary, I'm not really going to turn into a monster in the future, am I? Thinking about Shadow Flame and Thorn Wing, Chin Shan felt a shiver run down his spine, but if he imagined himself as Arachne, he might be a little cooler, but then, he wouldn't be able to turn back into a human, forget it, we'll talk about whether or not to eat humans later, let's talk about the second thing, what do you suggest about power enhancement? Power enhancement, you currently have one insect plus one human subordinate, but due to the low talent limit of the insect race, it's difficult to achieve higher achievements with the current mode of operation, we suggest that you use the mother of hatching skill to create, prioritizing the hatching of a king bug, an evolutionary pool bug, and an evolutionary bug. The king bug will be in charge of helping you to remotely control all your subordinates, while the evolutionary pool bug will collect all the nutrients from the swarms to provide all the insects with the ability to mutate into higher warriors, the evolutionary pool worm will collect all the nutrients from the colony and provide all the bugs with the nutrients to mutate into higher level warriors, while the fungus carpet worm will shape the environment of the colony into a suitable place for the bugs to live, making the land and buildings highly organic and replenishing the proteins and body at all times so that your power can increase rapidly. Upon hearing the second suggestion, Chen Shan immediately fell silent, only to see her face darken, the corners of her mouth twitch, and a look of lifelessness in her gaze before she loudly shouted in her mind, giving birth to three at once. The pig is not born like this, this system simply does not take me as a person, I want to complain, complain, 
I can only say that dignified to be a system, the advice given is also unique, these three things Chen Shan naturally have never heard of, as for how to birth them. As for how to give birth to them, it's all up to your imagination, when Chen Shan cursed the system's inappropriate people, the system also coldly added a sentence, the system's advice does not take into account the factors of the environment, please do not blindly accept the system's advice, which feels like telling her that you love to listen to it or not. Chen Shan, who originally thought that she could just follow the advice, was already a little indifferent at this point, but out of the idea of not taking it for free, Chen Shan still asked the last question with a face full of black wrinkles. Since 99% of your subordinates are bugs, the system is suggesting that you do not have too much contact with humans, to prevent war from breaking out, there will be a major crisis waiting for you and other humans in the future, so please keep working hard to prevent the crisis from coming, a bigger crisis. Is there a greater crisis than the end of the world? After listening to the system statement, Chen Xian completely disregarded the previous sentences and only heard the main points, but the system is very angry with this guy, and it started to equivocate when it asked about the main point. You don't have the function of predicting the future, and it's impossible for me to answer this, I knew you would say that, I won't ask, then Chen Shan, who was coldly rejected, couldn't help but roll his eyes, and his expectation of the system, which wasn't. Very high at that time, was greatly lowered, but reluctance to reluctance, the system's advice is still more or less a little useful, at least Chin Shan know how to go in the future a little way, problems died, I just want to be happy and happy to swing, and by the way, looking for a way to restore the male body, how is it so difficult? Forget it, let's do as the system's second suggestion first, after that, I have to find a way to make a trip to one of the bases, or else I'll just be alone out there with a bunch of bugs evolving and people, and I might turn into a bug myself one day, but where would be the best place to build a base? As you can see, after a big circle, Chen Shun once again returned to the TV tower, which is located in the center of town, with an open view, not only are the three big swarms of beetles gathered here, but also a high tower as the main base to look at is also windy. After some careful explanation, Ren Shen finally understood Chen Shun's intent, hostile or not hostile to man, after some careful explanation, Ren Shen finally understood Chen Shan's intent enemy or not to humans is even secondary. The point is that Chen Shan dare not stop growing otherwise it is very likely to be displaced by the other groups and finally become the party to be eliminated. Of course, she'd thought of this on her own, and the system hadn't told her what the future crisis was really going to look like, and just as the two of them explained, two of the three big eggs outside had already broken their shells, and a flock of bug races, spread out and imposing, fell for it the moment the egg broke its shell, so much so that all the races knelt down. The first one to hatch out of the first egg was actually still a bug egg. If you look closely, it's a worm swimming in a translucent purple nutrient fluid follicle, about 2 meters wide and tall, piercing the follicle with its tentacles and reaching into the ground, whereupon the concrete floor of the road and the tiles of the sidewalk crumbled away, the purple soil with all kinds of microorganisms began to spread, and soon the area around the tower within a hundred meters became humus and turned a chilling purple color. The second worm egg appeared with huge and long tentacles, each tentacle was incredibly long, the longest was even more than 20 meters, the core part was just a brain about 1 meter in diameter, tightly wrapped in a tough leather armor, but then an amazing scene happened, although its tentacles looked weak and feeble, but it could support its body to crawl quickly, the long tentacles like a whip thrown to the tower facade, coiled the broken walls, tugging and bending the steel bars, even pulling its huge body continuously upward, the ground shook as it moved, and a moment later, the horrible octopus body climbed to the top of the TV tower, completely replacing the original position of the vine monster, it became a new kind of emperor overlooking the city, powerful spiritual energy continued to erupt from the octopus monster's brain, even stronger and more dominant than the giant vine monster's spiritual attacks. It spread like waves to every corner of the city, forcibly summoning all the bug monsters that hadn't arrived yet, as a result, all the bug monsters inside and outside of Dragon Harbor responded to the conscription, at the same time, a new voice suddenly appeared in Chen Shan's head, the mushroom beetles are in position, following the orders of the queen bug, Chen Shan, can you stop crawling, the building is shaking, I'm afraid, last century 05, summer, 
one month after Chen Shan woke up the screen was dark, nothing happened, the screen was pitch black and nothing was displayed, occasionally, you can hear the sound of rustling footsteps and, not far away, the sound of staff communication, communication tools are normal, data transmission is normal, signal frequency is normal, power is normal, you can start, I'll continue, after taking a few deep breaths, the girl's voice sounded faint in the recorder. Just by listening to the voice, you can tell how nervous she is now, and that. This moment, it seems like a man is patting her shoulder, Xiao Mu, relax, what are you doing? But the girl issued a reluctant voice, and the man is very confident reassurance, although it is alive in real time, but the data transmission or about 10 seconds delay, even if there is an unexpected situation, the background editing can also respond in time, you just like the usual narrative on the line, the man's voice is thick and magnetic, giving a person a great sense of security, even through the screen, can imagine this mature and stable middle-aged male appearance, and in this respect. The girl is also a lot of relaxation, speech raised some expectations, Mr. Duan Munite, our action this time, must, must be able to arouse the whole world's human unity, right? I'm sure it will, right? Don't worry, the man almost without thinking gave a sure, as long as you do what you can do on the line, no matter whether you are successful or not, I will be behind you, support this team, thank you, Mr. Duan Mu. Listening to the man's reassurance, the young girl let out a sound of gratitude, while the staff on the other side was also ready, announcing loudly in a voice that could be heard by everyone, on your mark, three, two, one, suddenly, the screen lit up so that the audience could finally see the location of the camera, the location of the screen seemed to be the square of some survivor base. In front of the camera stood a man and a woman, as well as a particularly conspicuous new helicopter, whether it was the bright shell of the helicopter, or the man and woman's suits are out of place with the background of the post-apocalyptic world behind, almost at the same time as the screen lit up, the sweet and lovely girl host took the microphone and graciously introduced herself. Hello viewers. This is the real-time broadcast program of the Miracle Core of the End Times, I'm the host. Xiao Mu, and this is the guest of honor of this period, the head of the southeast region of the Li River base, Du Mu Yao, so come and say hello to the viewers, hello viewers, Du Mu Yao awkwardly waved his hand at the camera, his head still vaguely sweating, it was obvious that he was not good at handling interviews. In contrast, Xiao Mu looked generous, seeing President Du's lack of enthusiasm, she immediately waved her hand and continued to introduce to the audience, all sponsorships for this program are provided by the Yanjing base commander-in-chief, are you still worried about the lack of food, or are you still worried about not being able to upgrade? Quickly call the satellite phone below, contact Yanjing survivor base, we will provide you with the most abundant post-apocalyptic resources, as well as the future planning you can also advertise the base. Du Mu Yao on the screen looked at Xiao Mu with surprise, while Xiao Mu tilted her head with a smile, of course, President Du, we certainly can't use so many resources alone, this trip we will carry the latest stealth strategic carrier aircraft, for all the survivors of the world to show our Yan Huang's air power, do you still have any questions about this? Xiao Mu winked mischievously, but Du Mu Yao frowned after hearing this and asked cautiously, I don't have any more questions, I just want to know where we're going, according to the itinerary, we will first go to Highway B5, while speaking, Xiao Mu flipped open the notebook, the appearance can be cute and beautiful, along the highway all the way to the east, through the wild goose north forest and Linchuan generation, and finally patronize the Scorpion City and the Dragon Port two cities, then. We will return to the flight, the expected time duration of 2, 3 hours or so, do you have any suggestions? After saying that, Xiao Mu then looked in the direction of the helicopter, the camera followed, the pilot with the goggles inside waved his hand to the host and the audience and gave a thumbs up gesture, looking very confident, only after hearing the above, Du Mu Yao's face did not look very good, and even came back with some concern, we still have to go to Dragon Harbor. What's wrong with that? Xiao Mu cocked his head in puzzlement, seemingly not understanding why President Du was so reluctant. Originally, before the live transmission, the agreement was to go to two dangerous cities to test the hidden ability of the vehicle, just as Xiao Mu was puzzled, Du Mu Yao over there was determined to leave, he directly dragged the deputy away from the camera, and without waiting for the other party's reaction, he casually threw out a sentence, Xiao Zhang, 
you go with her, Xiao Mu saw this and wanted to call President Du back, but the other party ran too fast and left the square without looking back, out of desperation, she could only smile bitterly at the camera, well, it seems that President Du still has some official business to attend to, so you'll accompany us on this trip first, right? Being broadcast live all over the world and having such a beautiful host, Young Zhang was still embarrassed for a while and could only scratch his head and reluctantly agree. Let's get on the helicopter now, shall we? Viewers, the End Times Miracle Team is about to depart, this highway is the Lijiang base to the north and east must pass through, in our Lijiang base compatriots under the joint efforts of the road obstacles and monsters have been eliminated, and now friends in the north can drive to visit at any time, Noah, I'm below this side of the forest is the Yenbei forest, I heard that there are many birds of prey monsters, base civilians often go here to hunt, but as you can see, our aircraft can completely shield the monster tracking, but as you can see, our plane can completely block the monster's pursuit, so far not a single bird monster has approached us on its own, so it seems that the new type of shield is really useful, this is Scorpion City, a very dense area for monsters, for safety reasons, we have raised our altitude to 2500 meters, as you can see. These monsters and the city are now the size of a sesame seed, even if they can see us with their naked eyes, they can't even use. Their skills to shoot at such a high field. What's up, Mr. John? You have a nervous look on your face, you didn't talk much on the way, the new vehicle in Yenjing is safe, right? Not bad, but Longgang would still count, then the last stop is Longgang, on the screen, Xiao Mu smiled brightly, to give hope to the surviving people around the world, she has long been at the heart of the resolve to do this action no matter, so she interrupted the speech of the husband. Audience friends, perhaps you are still not fully convinced, but this test flight is so good, for a full two hours, we have not been attacked by air. This is unprecedented since the end of the world happened. In the future Yan Huang will mass produce this type of carrier, by then the survivors of other states will be able to unite with us, let's fight together for the survival of mankind. At the end of her speech, Xiao Mu's tone became passionate and tears even shed from the corners of her eyes, she truly hoped to save the suffering people in other regions, at this sight, the survivors of the base who were still dying under the monster's siege were all in tears, however, just as the audience's emotions were being mobilized to a climax, just as the broadcast data in the live broadcast room was reaching its peak, the helicopter shook violently, the sudden jolt caused Xiao Mu to almost fall out of the helicopter, but fortunately, the man named Zhang pulled her back, when she regained her senses, the three of them, including the cameraman, all had a terrified look on their faces, and the man surnamed Zhang even shouted in panic toward the pilot's seat, what's wrong? What's going on? Why is the helicopter descending? The air composition above Longgang seems to be different from the rest of the world, our speed is dropping to 40. The pilot explained with a serious expression, while he was talking, he was also quickly manipulating the buttons on the pilot's seat, the co-pilot was even trembling with excitement, and he didn't know what to do for a while, the camera on the screen started to shake crazily, and the color of the air gradually changed from clear to purple-gray, and the sound that hadn't been heard on the way gradually started to resound. And that loud buzzing sound was the sonic boom of the rotating propellers. The cloaking effect was no longer effective, 40. The man surnamed Zhang shouted in horror, finally regretting having come to this place, are you guys kidding? Dropping to 40 can even catch up with ordinary bird monsters, isn't that the kind of speed to seek death above Dragon Harbor, don't be in such a hurry, not to mention that the shield is only the sound part that broke down, most of the bird beasts rely on the alien energy disturbance for hunting, this part of the shield is fine. What if it's not a bird? What if it's a bug? Usually, bugs that can fly aren't too high in rank, right? With that, a drop of cold sweat also flowed down from the pilot's head, and the rectangular helicopter made an arc in the air, as if it was on the way back. But just then, Xiao Mu's voice came out of the screen again, what is this? As soon as the words were spoken, the camera lens immediately turned to the right, one second filming the panicked faces of the crowd, but the next second, in the sky overlooking the entire Dragon Harbor, in the middle of the screen, there was only a scene of purgatory, there was a purple, rotting ground everywhere, and gruesome-looking fleshworms everywhere, 
the green incubator had just produced new bugs and monsters, and they grimly emerged from the nutrient solution with their follicle. Membranes still attached to their bodies, raising their heads and hissing at the sky. At the same time everyone, including the viewers in front of the screen, froze, only to see that the lofty building that once symbolized productivity was now completely wrapped in purple humus skin, an octopus with a body size of 40 to 50 meters hovered above it, and after a moment, the monster's head slowly turned around, with its single red eye, it stared at the helicopter a thousand meters away. Like a hunter staring at his prey, let's go, get going, go, the man shouted without thinking, and the pilot was sweating as he maneuvered the vehicle at full speed, but the helicopter had been slowing down since the beginning, and on the screen of the camera, on the ground full of blood and tyranny, the follicle suddenly burst out from the surface of the humus texture. The wasps that had been hiding on the ground broke out of their shells and flew across the sky toward the carrier in the sky in the direction guided by the king bug's spiritual power, spreading out and flying all over the sky. And at the bottom right of the screen, the female anchorwoman Xiao Mu, who had already been scared to death, at this time, her face also finally turned extremely pale, the live broadcast ended, and the screen turned black again, next, leader, for you, next, we do not have enough points in the card, can we use crystals to compensate, crystals to go over there to make up the payment, next. Because at the beginning of the end of the stage, the density of monsters in the city is much higher than in the countryside, so these bases are usually set up far away from the city, it is the west side of the back of the river banks, the east, north and south of the three sides of the huge metal baffle made of fences, 5 meter high walls, plus enough thermal weapons, even if the number of more than a hundred of the even a monster colony of over a hundred in number can be easily eliminated. It was said that the reason why the Lee River base was so rich was because its leader was the commander of the military division before the end of the world, and the underground depots of the two military bases were all emptied by them before this place was established. At that moment, a long line of people still lined up in an orderly fashion at one of the entrances and exits on the south side of the city wall, among them, there was no shortage of lonely old men, downtrodden women and children, as well as some strong male hunters, although there were occasional voices of laughter and conversation, but the overall feeling was very sad, and it seemed that they could not see the light in their eyes. Everyone was just moving forward in the end times, at that moment, the woman's turn came in the line, and the first timer showed some hesitation as she cautiously approached the gatekeeper. Hello, I'm coming to Lee River Base for the first time, may I ask what formalities I need to do? The first time you come, you need to bring 20 grams of crystal nuclei and an ability evaluation, then our people will issue you an ID card, take it, fill in the information, and hand it to me. The gatekeeper was a middle-aged man, he didn't even raise his head when he spoke and casually handed over the form, he looked very impatient, he had received too many escapees in one day, and his heart had been numb for a long time. However, probably because the voice of the escapee is better, after handing over the form, he arched his eyebrows and couldn't help but add a sentence, however, if you are a woman, there is also another VIP channel, if you think your strength is not strong enough, but you are more confident in your appearance, you can go there and try, there are a lot of rich people, and at this point, the doorman's voice came to a screeching halt. He finally raised his head at the moment he handed out the form. And it was only then that he saw the appearance of the visitor, and he couldn't help but widen his eyes, bright red pupils, a small nose, and pink lips, the features were as delicate as if carved from a mold, and the flowing white hair hung like a waterfall to the waist, smooth and shiny, obviously, there was no trace of makeup, but she was as beautiful as an elf. The tight-fitting black dress was attached to her upper body like scales, and the skirt around her waist was tight, powerful, and fitted tightly around her hips and thighs, making those white jade legs look even slimmer, clothing also gold silk edging, clear lines, to the dull scales of the top to do a little embellishment, clothing and skirt will be very tightly wrapped around her, but the gold silk is like in the nude body painted art painting. The beauty of the charming charm of the curves. Show to the fullest, concave and convex together with the gold silk meandering, so that the line of sight cannot be moved away, such a beauty, even if I can only hug a little, I have no regrets, the doorman could not suppress this thought, and at that time, this beauty actually winked at the doorman and continued to ask with a curious expression, try what? 
what is it with rich people? I mean, I mean rich people like, the doorman was completely stunned by the beauty of the woman, he opened his mouth, even his speech became stuttering, well, at this time, another young girl came out from behind the white-haired beauty, interrupting him beforehand, it's not that much trouble, she is my cousin, and this is my brother-in-law, we don't need to go through any VIP channels, we just want to enter the city now. And the ID troubled to make it faster, Miss Renshing. Hearing the young girl's insistence, the gatekeeper finally came to his senses, only then did he realize that there were two companions behind this beauty, one wearing a thick cloak, unable to see her face, and the other was Miss Renshing, who had a slight reputation in the base but it was rumored that she had died a month ago, Miss Renshang. You're still alive. The doorman shouted in disbelief while Renshang frowned and rebuked in displeasure, what kind of nonsense is this, of course I'm still alive. This is my cousin Chen Shan and her husband Blade, we've come a long way, let us in, all right, please come in, after being rebuked by Mo Ming, the doorman shrank his head in fear, then he quickly took out his magnetic ID card and handed it to the three of them, then he lowered his head and stopped making a sound, so the three of them, Ren Sheng, entered the city with such a big strut, don't you even do a battle evaluation? The other side of the door asked strangely, while this side of the reception of Ren Sheng's doorman was slightly sweating, helplessly back, no way, this is President Du's people, we still do not mess with her more however, if this woman is really Miss Ren's cousin may be a tragedy, Asida will definitely fight with President Du because of her, the next one. Saying that, the doorman started to greet the next person in line again, even though the woman was very pretty and there was a lot of gossip, the doorman just wanted to finish the day's work early, only the next few people in the city is not like a good job, is five or six rough behavior of the brown man, they look hideous, temperament is also some obscene, eyes in the distance away from the woman does not roam. The head of the person also ran to the gatekeeper in front of the bad grin, brother. Just walked into the three what's the name? Have said where to go, do not misunderstand, I just want to make a friend, this is the Lee River base. It looks a bit dilapidated, completely different from what you imagined. And why do people stare at me as soon as I enter the city? Couldn't it be that the Lee River base knows that I'm that intelligent species from Longgang and has already put up a portrait to put me on the wanted list? But it doesn't make sense that I was just a kid back then. As Chin Shan walked along the streets of the base and looked at the eyes of the people around him, he always felt a little upset and couldn't help but pull Ren Sheng to ask him in a low voice, Ren Sheng, were you discovered when you entered the city just now because of your poor acting skills? You see, the street people are staring at us, do not know, may indeed be my problem, sorry, I told you so, Hearing Chen Shan's rebuke, Ren Sheng's head started to break out in a cold sweat, but due to the value of her own life, she could only helplessly apologize to Chen Shan. Chen Shan also thought that Ren Sheng looked at her as if he suspected that her acting skills were too bad. But he did not know that Ren Sheng's heart was now raging furiously. What are you talking about? Don't be so good looking if you don't want to be noticed. I don't know what's going on in Ren Sheng's mind right now. If it weren't for the parasites in my stomach, I would have quit a long time ago, yes, although he was cursing in his heart, but on the surface, Ren Xiang still took the initiative to admit his mistake, and his eyes gradually revealed a look of hopelessness, but to say why Chen Shan came to Li Jiang base. Wasn't it bad to develop in Longgang for a while longer? If there was such a doubt, then it could only be said that Chen Shan had actually planned to develop for a little longer before coming back, but who would have thought that since the last time the Royal Beetle had intercepted a helicopter, some drones had appeared from time to time around Dragon Harbor, shooting around, they seemed to be gathering information and flying around, even if they shot down several of them, it was useless. Making Chin Shan worried, was someone trying to attack Dragon Harbor? Was someone searching for intelligent species? Or was someone constantly looking for powerful prey to become stronger? These are actually okay, the most terrifying thing is that it is not allowed to capture me as a research sample to research how to upgrade humans to the strongest, tie me up on a cold laboratory table, use various instruments to test the data, forcefully open my mouth with a metal clamp, and then insert tubes into my body to examine the organs of the hatching bugs, etc., not okay. I need to go to the Li River base to confirm this, with this thought in her mind, Chen Shan finally made up her mind to come to the base to have a look, 
however, she is very determined, before she left, she also specially asked the three bug kings to hide, telling them not to go out when there is no situation, so as to prevent the bug kings from being photographed by the drone, creating the illusion that there is only one octopus monster in Longgang, as for the cloaked man named Blade who is following Chin Shan on his ass. Of course, that would be Bugbear, even though Chin Shan gave him a lot of nutritious things, it is really difficult for the bug race to evolve into mammals, and now it is just a bug monster with a humanoid shape, and that is still after compression, to be precise, Bugbear can now shrink to a humanoid shape like Transformers, and it can also unfold its whole body to turn into a giant bug of blade, and its whole body can now be more than 4 meters tall. Rensheng, this time we infiltrate everything in a low profile, the purpose is only to, one, to find out Li Jiang base in the end do not intend to fight against Long Gang, two, to find Li Jiang base hoarding resources warehouse, our daily necessities to be used up, we need to find some new ones, on the way, Chen Shan was still discussing with Ren Sheng with a serious expression, analyzing the strategic goals of the operation, however, after listening in silence, Ren Sheng could only show a bitter. Smile, Chin Shan, if you steal them all, will the people in the base still be alive? You're stupid, I can steal half of them and keep half of them. Hearing this, Chin Shan once again did not like to look at Ren Sheng, but on second thought, as if Ren Sheng is not unreasonable, if the supply is really very small, I won't steal it anyway, there's no harm in it, but if there are people in the base who want to mess with me, then don't blame me. Let's hope that's not the case, Ren Sheng whispered back while breaking out in a cold sweat and averting his eyes, before Chin Shan left, he had given birth to a chrysalis worm that specialized in storing resources, it was no problem for that thing to grow up and fit into a couple of trucks, however, just as the two of them were chatting happily, they had already entered the alleyway, originally, if they crossed this street, they would be able to arrive at the location of the base's bus stop. And after that, they would be able to go directly to President Du's jurisdiction, so it could be said that it was a smooth journey, however, it was just at these last few meters that the silhouette of a tall man suddenly blocked their way, that lady, as soon as he approached Chin Shan, he raised his hand and extended it, and although Chin Shan's reaction was quick, she really didn't expect someone with such weak strength to sneak up on her like that, her breasts were actually grabbed by that. Hand. What are you doing? Chin Shan immediately slapped the other person's hand away and two veins sprouted directly from her head, originally, she was in a good mood, and the man's expression is simply the word villain to the extreme, Chin Shan open hand was still not angry, but also cheaply put his hand to the tip of the nose, and licked and sniffed, so soft, so fragrant, the big ones feel different, it's great, when he heard this, Chin Shan's eyes showed an incredible expression, only to see. That her eyes glowed red, and a powerful murderous aura overflowed and ran in all directions, luckily, Ren Sheng sensed that things were not going well, so he quickly pulled Chen Shan back and scolded the man with a stern voice, your clothes, are you one of the men from the dragon team? I am Ren Sheng of the second team under the command of President Du, do you want to die by stopping me? Although Ren Sheng was usually afraid of Chen Shan, she still had a lot of confidence when facing ordinary people but this man didn't seem to be afraid of Ren Sheng, instead, after hearing her words, he smiled even more, shook his head helplessly and said Sister Ren Sheng, you're not going to die at this point, are you? What? Of course, I know who you are, but we all know that President Du's second team was wiped out a month ago, only you survived, not because you have the cloak to survive, besides, if it wasn't for that idiot Dang Yan's lust, do you think a guy like you would have a chance to work for President Du? Forget it, if you know what's good for you, you should surrender, I don't like beating up women, with that, the man came right up and tried to touch Chen Shan again without a moment's hesitation, however, Ren Sheng's head hardened and she pushed him away, not wanting to be killed as soon as she entered the city, so she could only give him an incomparably fierce rebuke, even if it is what you say. But Sister Chen Shan is President Du's honored guest, if you dare to touch her, you will surely die. Do you know what? Guest of honor. Don't be silly, the man who had been pushed away repeatedly finally showed his displeasure, he waved his hand slightly, the alley in front and behind us surrounded by more than 10 people, some of them were the guys who had just inquired about Chen Shan at the city gates, 
you failed in your mission and didn't dare to go to President Du directly, so you found a beauty to offer to President Du to make up for your crime. Do you really think that other people can't guess that your little heart? What? That's not true, Ren Sheng was said to have an angry red face, obviously she is saving the other party's life, but this man is like a lazy toad with all kinds of vicious words to stimulate her. Gather your hands, our dragon family army can treat you just as well, the dragon team will be very happy if they know about this, or else they will be crying for a while. After saying that, the man smilingly walked over. A group of male face showing ugly smile, before and after ten people attacked Chen. Sean, the three already have no way to escape, if others just entered the city of women, I think this time will certainly be poisoned, right? You guys are like this. It's against the rules of the base, Ren Sheng is still trying his best to rebuke, but this time, she was Chin Shan violently pulled back, surprised Ren Sheng turned back to look at Chin Shan, but saw the other originally angry face, at this time, actually also revealed a smile. He said slightly excitedly, Okay, Ren Sheng, don't say anything, as long as it is handled properly, no one will find out, right? That younger sister, her name is Chin Shan, right? Since I like you so much, I'll find a better room and let everyone love you gently for a while, come on, the scene shifted, the tall lecherous man in front of him was saying incredibly ugly and vulgar words, he was approaching Chen Shan step by step, his salty hand was raised again, still aiming at the woman's chest, but the strange thing is that this time, Chen Shan did not resist. She stood still and didn't move, allowing the hand to be placed in that soft spot once again. Did she know that she could not escape, so she did not resist anymore? The man bent the corner of his mouth, excitedly said, Spittle is about to flow out, really obedient woman, performance is very good, then after we said here, the obscene man finally felt a trace of not voice also abruptly ended, his hand obviously grabbed the woman's left breast, but even a touch of softness did not feel, on the contrary, but instead of the arm came from the unbearable feeling of severe pain. As the lecherous man looked on in horror, his right hand was actually broken in half. Right in front of him, the elbow had been neatly cut off at some point, blood gushing out of the spray like no money, the scene is shocking to the extreme, the obscene man's men saw this situation, they froze for four or five seconds before reacting, one by one they pulled out their hip weapons, their faces showing a ferocious look, but in the next second, a scythe-shaped knuckle from the bugbear's cloak swept out from underneath. Only a flash of blade light could be seen, it was four meters long and sharpened like mud, before the guys with guns could figure out what was going on, the upper and lower halves of their bodies were severed on the spot, leaving only a pile of remains soaking in a pool of blood, help, the alley was suddenly filled with screams, but since they were all badly injured, even if they shouted, they couldn't shout much. The bogeyman was like a merciless machine, cutting off the heads of the men on. The ground one by one with his knuckle-dragging legs, and after a few noises, there was no one left on the ground, only the one who had been stepped on by the bottom of Chen Shan's foot, seeing such a gruesome scene, the lecherous man no longer had the divine spirit he had just now, with terrified eyes, he grabbed Chen Shan's leg and whimpered, as if begging for mercy, his right arm was still bleeding like a river, his teeth seemed to have been stepped on and broken, bleeding from the corner. Of his mouth, while Chen Shan, seeing him like this, somehow became interested, slowly leaning down and smiling with a crooked smile, quiet, I know you're in a hurry, but don't rush, if you provoke the base's patrolling soldiers, it might give me a big headache. As Chen Shan changed his posture, the man's mouth was stomped even more painfully than before, and his whimpering became much louder, the pain and fear almost breaking his spirit, for a while, the man even shed tears cowardly, and his face was full of pleas for mercy, however, Chen Shan didn't have the slightest bit of softness, instead, he grabbed the other party's only remaining hand and jokingly said, what are you crying for, don't you want to touch here? I'll give you a chance now, come on, said Chen Shan will grab that hand pull up, mouth said gently, but the force is terrible, the hand from the position of her chest is still a little short, so that arm can only be in the state of about to be torn off, but cannot be broken, the entire arm from the inside of the color of bruises and blood, just look very oozing, even Ren Xing feel the arm in a vague pain. The man's pitiful whimper grew loud again, this time he was even frightened out of his. 
urine and excrement, but still unable to break free from Chin Shan's feet at this time to see the woman who has a trace of innocence and budding when he just saw. The corners of her mouth were smiling, but her red eyes were full of a murderous spirit, a sharp black tail swung behind her, it must be the one that just sliced the man's arm open, however, just as Chin Shan was about to get carried away, Ran Sheng on the side hastily reminded him, Chin Shan's sister, don't waste words with him, the patrol can't say when it will come, we have to hurry and go Ran Sheng looks a little worried, but she is right, so many corpses lying here, just ghost words can't be eaten in a time, but when she looks back at Chen Sheng, her eyes are still calm, her expression is also light, casual back, nothing, I am thinking of some figure, the neighboring children are coming out, as soon as the words fell, under Ren Sheng's astonished gaze, the surrounding earth unexpectedly began to loosen, and a giant spider with a body length of more than a meter suddenly emerged from the ground. Its strong jointed limbs were covered with barbs, obviously insect clans that specialized in digging the ground. In less than 10 seconds, the alley was already covered with more than two dozen giant spiders, Ren Sheng was so scared that he almost sat on his butt on the ground, while Chen Shan's side casually waved his hand and ordered in a cold tone, drag these corpses to the ground and dispose of them, and bury the blood in the ground, as for this one under my feet, drag him back to Dragon Harbor from the underground tunnels and put him in the evolution pool for Shadow Flame to continue his human body. Modification experiments, right, better keep this guy active, don't make him a human body modification experiment, and let him be a human body modification experiment so that he can continue to be an insect, better keep this guy active, don't let him die so easily, yes, my queen, as for the lecherous man, Chen Shan's shoes were finally removed from his mouth, but unfortunately, before he had a chance to call for help, he was immediately grabbed by three giant spiders and dragged into the underground cave like a trophy, and he could only vaguely hear the mournful cries getting louder and louder, don't do it, Miss Rensheng, I can only vaguely hear the mournful cries getting fainter and fainter, don't do it, Miss Rensheng, there is no one to help, not even two seconds, everything will be calm again. Even the giant spider renovated the land before leaving, so now it looks like the ground is still quite flat. It was as if nothing had just happened, but on the other side, Ren Sheng was terrified, her face turned white, if she had any trace of Chen Shan's treachery before, she didn't have the slightest idea now, Li Zhang's base also has Chen Shan's subordinates, those things have been following us. Under the panic, Ren Sheng really can't help but be curious, they asked out, Chen Shan also do not mind telling each other, then pursed pink lips casually back not these are just a part of the arachne under the evolution of appearance, very good at sneaking and holes in the ground, I call them stalkers, I built a thousand stalkers in advance ambush in the Li river ground, is to prevent just now this kind of situation happens. Chen Shan's tone when explaining was flat, but Ren Sheng covered his mouth and was filled with shock after hearing this, there are a thousand of these things under the Li river base. If this is a sudden attack, the base must not die tens of thousands of people the river base total population of less than a million steady a little, always startled why. Seeing Ren Xing's alarmed appearance, Chen Shan admonished her with some dislike, Ren Xing then reacted to some outbursts, and hastily bowed her head in embarrassment, and said but Chen Shan, didn't you say that we should keep a low profile, and sooner or later, if we do, we will be exposed, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Upon hearing this, Chen Shan glanced at Ren Sheng with some displeasure, but found that the other party nodded his head with a serious face, and seemed to really think that Chen Shan was not keeping a low profile enough, so Chen Shan could only sigh helplessly, pat Ren Sheng's shoulder, and explain in a serious manner, Ren Sheng, just now I made that wave of operation, did any witnesses see it? No, Ren Sheng obediently shook his head, are there any survivors who escaped? No. Cold sweat ran down Ren Sheng's head, did they contact anyone before they died? I don't think so. Ren Sheng's disciples fell into another earthquake, that's right, that's why, as long as we kill all the people, we'll be the most inconspicuous, after explaining everything, a bright smile appeared on Chen Shan's face, her beautiful face reflecting the sunlight, she actually looked so touching and charming that she couldn't be associated with the tragic scene just now, as for Ren Sheng's side. 
As she listened to Chen Shan's explanation, her eyes widened, her mouth opened wide, her pupils quivered, a drop of cold sweat slid down her forehead and onto her cheeks, and she couldn't help but wonder, what you're saying doesn't seem to be a big problem. The Li River base is mainly divided into three forces, the troops led by Division Commander Xie Huaqin, former personnel of the military region, now residing on the northwest side of the base, the most powerful, will maintain the order of the entire base, but have no goodwill towards the personnel of the other bases, President Du Muyao and his subordinates, the former group of personnel of a certain company, now residing on the east side of the base, advocate for the unification of the other bases, and exchange the crystal cores and materials for useful technology and information. Captain Long Dao Tian and his group, whose identity is unknown before the end of the world, but some sources say that they were originally a drug trafficking triad, cooperated with Master Xia to resist the monster invasion in 2004, as a result, the southern side of Li River base is now under their control, there has always been a rift between the three forces, and although they look peaceful on the surface, they are actually bursting with opportunities to kill, as I said, Li River base is located in the township on the basis of reconstruction, so the current building is not much, few skyscrapers, mostly earth houses, to the east side of President Du's side is even more scandalous, in addition to some of the senior staff live in villas, the other men are all using containers instead of dormitories, although the environment is narrow, but also barely able to shelter from the wind and rain is that is is not very aesthetic, as for the refugees. Tent life is the best place for them to go back to, but if they can't even find a tent, or if they can't afford a tent, then all they can do is wait for death in the wilderness, so even five years after the end of the world, there was still exploitation, suspicion, and oppression between people, and the material conditions were so far apart that even the refugees couldn't imagine how the upper class people were dashing around. East side of the area, the president's mansion, okay, Saida, why are you angry again? Look, this is a first-class dessert chef handmade, I know you like sweets, especially when he came to town to invite over, flour and eggs also spent a lot of money, the flour and eggs cost a lot of money, the villa came from the man's flattering voice, the camera followed the past, a suit of him, is a hand holding the waist of the woman in the red dress, a hand with a spoon digging out the pudding to the woman's mouth. Look at the appearance of his already more than 40 years old, but the body looks very hard, persuading the woman's tone of voice is even more outlandish peerless, I think it must be the skills to make him return to the young, but in response, the woman did not give the president's face at all, her face showed a disgusted expression, with her arm did not open the man's hand with a spoon, coldly refused to say, take away, I don't want to eat, with such a hard tone and firm stance. A woman with such a temper will not survive well in the post-apocalypse world, not to mention the fact that the one in front of her is still the greatest leader of the eastern region, Du Muyao. But this doubt when looking at the woman's face is actually clear, white and pink face, exquisite charming features, waves of silky long hair, a high cold imperial temperament from within uninterrupted emanation, a one-piece red dress is to dress up her noble and peerless, and the body is also very full, front and back, can embrace such a beauty on the side, even if she has been playing sex du muyao, can also endure. This is Asiya's sister, A.I. Sida, in the way, after being rescued, how can she not want to eat it, she is sulking with herself again, du muyao was pushed away from the hand of du muyao, is not angry at all, on the contrary, A.I. Sida hugged tighter, but also with the face of paste her head, spoiled and said, always so angry face is not good, I said I'll help you find the wisdom of the species, but now there is still the base of the work of infrastructure. The lower part of the people cannot get out of awe, when she heard Du Mu Yao say that, A.I. Sida pushed away the other. Party with a furious face, who knows, Du Mu Yao still put on a smile, looking at A.I. Sida's eyes with apparent sincerity. In response, A. Sida face slightly sullen, gritted his teeth and asked, well, then I ask the last Yanjing base organization of this national live, you obviously have the opportunity to go to Longgang, why did you still run back, what are you afraid of? Du Muyao promised A.I. Sida to catch the wisdom seed, so A.I. Sida didn't know how many times she slept with him, so after a month there was no news of the wisdom seed, so of course she would be angry, upon hearing this, Du Muyao just smiled slightly and without changing his color, he hugged the woman once again and explained with coaxing, 
look at what you're saying, how could I be afraid? If I were to organize a normal team to destroy the monster, I would be confident, but this Chiu Mu woman is a complete fool, she took the Yen Jing based show as the savior of mankind and thought that a live broadcast would raise the hopes of all mankind, but who knows if the helicopter's performance is good or not. And the result? It's just like I thought, the helicopter was destroyed and people died, in this case, not to mention me, you let Xie Department Chief, let Long Dao Tian, let Yan Jing base of the Imperial people went, it is also a waste of time while saying, Du Mu Yao also exaggerated spread his hands, the expression on his face is sincere in the helpless, A.I. Sida said a stunned, gradually from anger to suspicion, so, I, Du Mu Yao, am not afraid, I'm just looking for an opportunity, do not worry, I have already. Sent a large number of drones to capture the information, before winter, I will definitely find this intelligent species, and capture them back to avenge you, are you serious? Asida asked with a slight skepticism, while Du Muyao nodded his head firmly, I am serious, I have true feelings for you that the sun and the moon can see, I won't let you down, otherwise, I wouldn't have saved you when you were so desperate. Seeing the man's expression so sincere, A.I. Siya also finally no longer angry, and even just now and Du Mu Yao quarrel with her, at this time, but raised the corners of the mouth, two hands reached out from the man's waist and spread up, gently embracing each other's back, soft peaks firmly attached to the man's chest, blowing thin lips are also slightly open, the woman closed her eyes, her cheek blushed. Du Mu Yao saw the situation is also a gentle smile, pinched the beauty of the chin slowly. Kissing, but just when the business is about to start, but a subordinate suddenly broke down the door, with an excited expression, he shouted at Du Mu Yao, President, President, it's a good thing that the subordinate who just broke in froze when he saw Du Mu Yao making out with a woman, while Du Mu Yao, who was still tasting his lips, furrowed his brow and turned his head angrily. He glared at the subordinate who had barged in and sternly rebuked him, You bastard, can't you see I'm doing my job? Who told you to come in without knocking? I'm sorry, President, the subordinate was so frightened that he quickly knelt down to apologize, but after he apologized, he still stood in the room and didn't leave, this behavior made Du Muyao understand what was going on, so he had to let go of Aesida and frowned while admonishing her, okay, let go of the fart, what is it, say it, TSK. Seeing that Du Mu Yao was able to let go of himself to talk to his subordinate, A.I. Sida secretly smacked his tongue and looked slightly annoyed, but Du Mu Yao and his subordinate naturally couldn't see this scene, and the subordinate still bowed his head and respectfully reported to the president, President, Miss Ren Sheng has come back, and she has brought a man and a woman with her as two guests, Ren Sheng said that they were her cousin and brother-in-law, and hoped that you could arrange a job for them. When he heard this, Du Mu Yao's face immediately displayed a terrible expression. He thought his subordinate had something important to tell him before daring to bother him, but this was it. What's wrong with you? This kind of trivial matter still comes to talk to me, Ren Sheng. That bastard is still alive. You can arrange it in the cafeteria, I'm busy, I don't have time for you right now, get lost. Saying this, Du Mu Yao even walked over and kicked the subordinate's waist, causing the subordinate to take several steps and almost fall, however, the subordinate still stood back with a smile on his face, Du Mu Yao had a telepathic understanding and lowered his head slightly, while the other party reported to Du Mu Yao again in a very low voice. President, the focus is not on Ren Sheng, but on Ren. Sheng's cousin, who is very beautiful, how beautiful can she be? Du Mu Yao secretly glanced at A.I. Sida, knowing that this is what the subordinates want to report, afraid of A.I. Sida getting angry, so Du Mu Yao kicked him over, just Du Mu Yao did not expect to report things actually related to women. Although I used to be horny, but after A. Sida, basically no woman can enter my eyes again, besides, she's a married woman, thinking this way, Du Mu Yao's eyes were filled with skepticism, while the subordinate was very confident, looking at the president's eyes very firmly said, incredible, president, indescribable, I've never seen such a beautiful woman before, I knew you would like it, so I came to report it at the first opportunity, after hearing this, Du Mu Yao was silent, because this subordinate even looked at A.I. Sida when he spoke, obviously comparing A.I. Sida to cousin Ren Sheng, so this woman is prettier than A.I. Si Gong Hui? 
After a short silence, Du Mu Yao still kicked his subordinate, but this time, the force was much lighter, okay, I know, hurry up and get out, just give them a simple job in the cafeteria. Ren Sheng survived this time, I'll reward her later, the subordinate who had been kicked in the face still looked like a bitch, rolling and crawling out of the room with a miserable look on his face, but in reality, he had already had a heart-to-heart -heart with the boss, after that, Du Mu Yao turned around and found Aisida staring at her with a skeptical face, so she reappeared with a smile, walking back step by step and wrapping her arms around Aisida's waist again, I'm sorry for my recklessness. Shall we continue? Can Aisida seemingly carelessly back? but soon again a flash of eyes, skimming the mouth to ask one more question, but you just whispered what? What can't you tell me? Do you have another wife? How can that be, Du Mu Yao replied with a firm tone, his eyes full of sincerity and love, I may have been a bit of a womanizer in the past, but after meeting you, my heart is completely pure and I have no doubts. I swear, if I find out that Du Mu Yao has other wives, I will cut off my children and grandchildren and let the sky be struck by lightning, I'm counting on you, hearing a satisfactory answer, Aisida smiled charmingly, wrapped her arms around the man's shoulders once more, stood on tiptoe and kissed him, but as he kissed his lover fiercely, Du Mu Yao's eyes flickered slightly, thinking with interest, even better looking than Aisida. Ren Sheng, you are not useless, let's do the job of guarding the warehouse. The scene shifted, and the camera came to the high-rise area of the eastern district, outside, it looked at a piece of container housing, and inside, there were some earthen buildings and a barely visible cafeteria, after hearing the words of the person in charge, Ren Sheng was surprised with his mouth wide open, the person in charge, that is, just went to notify Du Mu Yao's little brother, is nodding his head in a serious manner, posing as a leader, smiling and explaining, you and your cousin. Two to look at the warehouse on the line, Blade's physical fitness is good, I'll arrange for him to go to move the goods, the dorm with the original there on the line, is still empty, although your mission has failed, but at least it's also a contribution to the group, although you have failed in your mission, you have at least contributed to the group, don't lose anything in the warehouse, and the group will treat you well and pay you 1000 crystals every month. 1000 crystals, hearing this number, Ren Sheng once again screamed in horror, the person in charge of the man smiled slightly, and by the way, pulled out a stack of banknotes for Ren Sheng, yes, and each person is 1000, a total of 3000, this 1000 you'll use first this month from next month's salary deduction will be fine, Ren Sheng, your cousin and sister-in-law are unfamiliar with the place, you need to take good care of them, you'll be here to do it, I need to be busy, I'll go. First, I'll be busy, so I'll go now, after arranging everything, the person in charge left with a smile on his face, leaving Ren Sheng without a trace of suspicion, as for Chen Shan, she also blinked her eyes in confusion, her face full of shock, after all, she could not have imagined that her greatest hope was to find a place to store supplies, and then she happened to be asked to come and look at the warehouse. This wasn't just a bump in the road, is a thousand crystals a lot. Chen Shan touched his chin and asked quietly, while Ren Xing immediately replied excitedly, that's a lot of crystals, killing a level 20 monster will only give you about half a gram of crystal core, and one crystal is worth one gram in face value, normal people can earn 100 crystals a month is very difficult, when I was in the second team, Dang Yen a month is only 2000 crystals, but now we can take half of them just by looking at the treasure chest, does that make sense, looking at Ren? Xing's agitated expression, Chen Shan could only respond with a slightly dumbfounded voice, most of the magical beasts I've hunted have only eaten their legs and ribs, and the rest of them have all been fed to the beast, actually, the crystal nuclei are the same as the tree magic fruits, except that the crystal nuclei of ordinary monsters are too small, and it's hard to notice them under normal circumstances. It's just a matter of time, this is inevitable, and in Chen Shan's doubt, Ren Sheng shook his head as he patted Chen Shan's shoulder, after more than a month of living together, she and Chen Shan have also gradually become familiar with, after all, Chen Shan's sister is the first time to come, a lot of do not understand, it can't be helped. So it's useful to keep me here at the beginning, once we entered Li River Base, we were treated at the top level, if we replaced Chen Shan, I'm afraid we'd have to start from the bottom as hunters, half a minute later, Ren Sheng was being held by Chen Shan from behind, and his head and neck were being bent horizontally at a 90 degree angle, 
I'm sorry, Sister Chin Shan, I won't dare to do it again. It was already afternoon when Chin Shan and Ren Sheng arrived in the East District, and it was already much darker after they had almost finished getting acquainted with their work, as mentioned before, Chen Shan and Ren Sheng were in charge of guarding the warehouse, while Bugbear was in charge of unloading and transporting the goods, some of the goods were collected from the outside world, and some were to be distributed to other people in the East District, so it was not uncommon for them to go back and forth, however, Chen Shan and Ren Sheng's work is actually very free, not only is there a patrol around the warehouse, even the piecework has a special accountant, so in the end, the two of them are just mascots, not as much as a ghost, big guy, take this to the car and call it a day. Big brother, don't blame me for talking too much, although Ren Sheng said you're stupid, but how do I feel you're a little stupid too, ah, uh, cover yourself so tightly, isn't it hot? Or is your system skilled different from others and can't be seen in the light? At this very moment, the last group of men in charge of transporting the goods today are hitching up to Bugbear, who will be carrying the huge boxes on his shoulders and moving the goods with heavy steps, looking like a hard worker before the end of the world, after a month of Chen Shan's training, the Bugbear has evolved to the point where it can probably understand human language, after Chen Shan came to the Eastern District, he gave it the order to follow the instructions of those humans, on. The condition that it guarantee its own safety and not go too far away from Chin Shan or Ren Sheng, so, even if he was called by others, he wouldn't have the slightest complaint, just turned his head to look at the other party, and then continued to carry the box and put it on the car, big man. Probably because Beetle's reaction was too flat, the person in charge lost interest in mocking the newcomer for a while, only to see him look back and confirm that Ren Sheng was not watching this side before he snuffed out the cigarette in his hand, walked over to Beetle's side, and patted him on the shoulder. Big guy, are you Chen Shan's husband? How many levels are you? The person in charge changed the tone of playfulness, suddenly asked a relatively serious question, and Bugbear heard, then silently turned his head, did not say a word, the face under the cloak is still covered by a black mask, so the person in charge cannot see what expression Bugbear is, then he extended two fingers, the moment he saw Bugbear's fingers, the person in charge was startled, because Bugbear's hands were actually black, one section at a time, it looked like a bug's leg, which was truly terrifying, however, on second thought, nowadays this world has a lot of strange abilities, there are abilities to change the body structure is not surprising, which also explains why the big man covered his body so tightly, must be because he himself is too ugly, afraid of scaring people. While the person in charge was pondering in his heart, Bugbear changed his finger to four, causing the man to nod his head as if he didn't understand, 24 levels. Normal level ah, but also really strange, you have this physique so good, even so good looking woman, actually only 24 level, even to pull crotch, said, the person in charge actually began to dislike the bugbear, after all, 24 level is a normal level, even the gun cannot prevent, as for the bogeyman, it simply did not hear the irony in the man's tone, just put the box in the carriage and then turned his head away, as if he did not care what the other side said, until the Bogeyman far away, the person in charge of closing the carriage door, the other two transporting the goods of the men to see this scene quietly went over, the three eyes have revealed the wild look, the head, the boy is so fucking stinky ass ah, uh, you talk to him, you talk to him even a response is not, search for death or I will go later to teach him a lesson, more than 20 levels of waste also dare to be insane here, but not because of Ren Sheng and his wife he can mingle in the East County. He has no self-confidence, shut up, you don't know anything, the two thugs were cursing and shouting, but the person in charge of the thugs gave them a phrase, lowering his voice coldly said, this stupid wife is to be offered to the president, I just want to test his strength right now, simple-minded, empty eyes, carrying a 50-pound box and also a weak walk, this guy's strength is certainly not strong, I estimate 24 levels, he is more than that, it's too early to do it now, in a few days I'll go to him, I'll take him out of town in a few days, and you two will bring your sprays and kill him with a single shot, no matter what his abilities are, until then, by then, the white-haired girl will belong to the president, Ren Sheng will belong to us, and the brothers will be able to have a good time for two days, isn't that nice? Besides, the two men are even more excited rub their hands, 
the boss is really smart, but they do not realize, has finished the work of the bug, at this time is quietly looking at the only four fingers of the bug hand, with a walnut-sized brain trying to think, right now compared to the 20 plus 40 level, this man has to understand it. Wait. 2 plus 4 is 6 or 7 again. The bug fell into the middle of contemplation, at the same time, the Northwest District, Xie Huachin Management Zone, the tallest building, the only six-story building in the whole base, shone with an orange-red light under the setting sun, and looked majestic and powerful, and this was the residence of Division Chief Xie and his cadre, everything looks ordinary, downstairs front and back doors also have high-level guards to monitor. Outside the fence is even a patrol team to walk, it must be a bird is very difficult to fly in, but just above such an important building, if the naked eye to look carefully, will find that there seems to be a translucent humanoid beings are slowly crawling on the wall. It had even reached the third floor. Worthy of being a division commander, just look at the area is too much stronger than Du Mu Yao's side, the end of the world can master the army is great ah, but this level of defense can only be said to be general, originally only intended to come to step on the spot, did not expect to be able to sneak right in, too lucky, yes, the wall this is crawling gecko is Chen Shan. Look at the work of the camp was not so strict, coupled with Ren Xing cover, she left for an hour or two should also be. Fine, at this moment, she is using the scale armor generated by her skin to make her body turn into wall color, coupled with the soft light of dusk, the people standing downstairs can't see her at all, in addition, she originally had the talent of the insect race, her fingers grew some tentacles to climb the walls and so on, so it was no surprise that she could climb up to the third floor from the outside, Ren Xing said. Li Jiang base has a total of 11 people whose strength has reached. Level 75 inch known as the Eleven Guardians, in addition to Long Dao Tian, Aisida, President Du, and the captain of President Du's first team, the remaining seven are all here in Xie Hua Qin. if Li Jiang base intends to attack Dragon Harbor, then only Xie Master Chief has the strength to do so, that's why I have to come and investigate. While thinking this, Chen Shan had already climbed up to the fourth floor, it was her first time to do something as interesting as climbing a building, if there were any problems, it would be that after arriving at a high place, the wind around her gradually became stronger, she felt like she might be blown down at any moment, and also, the walls of the building were too hot from the sun. How could you resist the golden cannon of a lion monster and still get burned, dude, as Chen Shan was? Grimacing from the heat, the sound of discussion finally came from inside the building, Chin Shan couldn't care less about the discomfort for a while, and could only stick his ear to the window to listen, the news from Yanjing base came again, it seems to say that they are going to test fly the new plane. Can't they test fly their own planes? Why do they always come to our side? Who knows? I think it's because Chiu Mu was Duan Mu's lover, and the old man is trying to find a way to retrieve the body, but I guess the monster ate it long ago, right? It's tragic, there are so many bugs and monsters in the video, I'm afraid they've eaten all the bones, Chiomu, does that name sound familiar? Why does it seem like someone mentioned it to me? Chen Shan, who was lying outside the wall, tilted her head and blinked thoughtfully, but she didn't have much of a clue, then she secretly poked her head into the window to confirm the reliability of the message and see what kind of conversation was going on, and as a result, Chen Shan stared in disbelief, for she discovered that this side of the room was actually a fucking toilet. And those two big men talking were actually just soldiers emptying the toilet, I thought they were the leaders. In a meeting, White got excited, and don't light that shit, asshole, you're still throwing it, what are you doing in front of a beautiful girl, the angry Chin Shan saw something she shouldn't have seen, her eyes felt like they were going blind. But soon, she reacted to something and immediately asked herself inwardly in horror, what am I upset about? Didn't I have this thing before? It's only temporary, for some reason, after consoling herself in this way, Chin Shan felt even more angry, and even developed a deep resentment and jealousy towards humans as creatures, and decided to grow another one, after a short while, he came to the shady side of the building, and once again his small head turned towards the window, and this time he finally found the spot. Without going into details about the idle characters, Chen Shan quickly found the three strongest characters in the 
Room, a handsome-looking man with a cold temperament, wearing a suit, even breath, and deep power, a better-built young girl in a military uniform, her gaze was very sharp, and although she looked young, she faced a dozen men in the meeting without any fear. The last one was the oldest old man, he was also dressed in a military uniform, his face had many wrinkles, and he looked like he was around 60 years old, but that mature and calm, not angry and powerful demeanor made Chin Shan, who was lying outside the window, sweat slightly, feeling that this old man was definitely not to be messed with, he must be Xie Hua Qing, right? That woman standing next to him must be his bodyguard and secretary, I told you a long time ago to get rid of those monsters, that's right, those things are gathering again, what should we do? While Chin Shan was still analyzing the strength of these people, the dozen or so people in the room were having a heated discussion, the three strongest people didn't say anything, but the others were arguing, can you calm down? There are still a few days before the monsters attack the base, we still have time to make preparations, what are you talking about? Is there a relationship between the two? The point is, Du Muyao, this guy won't let us go to the eastern area at all, and Long Dao Tian isn't listening to orders right now, at this rate, once the monsters start attacking the base, the defense line on the eastern and southern sides will definitely collapse in an instant, when that time comes, the whole base will be dead, and everything we've done all these years will go down the drain, how could it be an instant escape? Long Dao Tian is no fool, He's about to be eaten by a woman, does he still have the strength to fight the monster? After all the chattering and bickering, I didn't see them say some serious things, but after hearing this, Chin Shan rubbed his chin and pondered with some doubt, monster gathering? Attacking the base? I don't think they're talking about me, right? My bugs are all in Dragon Harbor, and they are developing indecently, so the Lee River base is really in danger now. Anyway, it has nothing to do with me, so let's hear it again, thinking like this, Chen Shan poked his head towards the window again, so the sound of talking came from inside again, it was the old man who spoke, on Long Daotian's side, I can go and talk to him, but President Du won't listen to my persuasion, if I tell him about the monsters attacking, he'll ask Yan Jing base to send someone to support him. The old man spoke deeply, his tone was flat but powerful, it can be said that he deserves a person who was a division chief, his simple words have a kind of inexplicable majesty, on the other hand, after listening to Xie Huaqing's words, one of his subordinates also hurriedly said, worried, no, if that's the case, then the Li Jiang base won't become the Yanjing branch, how can you let division commander Xie lose face? Why don't we just kill Du Muyao? A subordinate suddenly interjected, causing the room to fall into a brief silence, it seemed that he was not the only one who had this idea, in response, Chin Shan's brow furrowed slightly, and he couldn't help but feel a strong resentment towards everyone in the conference room, I don't care about the survival of Li River Base, but the world has become such a mess, and you're still thinking about the transfer of power. Originally, I thought that Xie, who founded Li River Base, should be a good person, but I didn't realize that he's also so greedy, really, no one can be trusted at the end of the world, or the bugs are reliable, the monsters are invading, so it seems that I have to prepare for that as well. Thinking like this, Chen Shan gently nodded his head, as if he had made a decision, however, at that very moment, the man in the suit who had said nothing from the beginning to the end suddenly realized something and immediately turned his head, he immediately turned his head and stared at Chen Shan who was lying in front of the window, it turned out that she was listening too closely, and her head was already halfway out, hello. Chen Shan was a little embarrassed at the sight of each other, and could only wave her small hand to show her friendship, while the man was greatly alarmed at the situation, raising his right hand, he gathered the foreign energy and shouted in a stern voice, how did you arrange the guards? There's a woman eavesdropping outside the window to finish her off, Imagine, the end of the world, you are in the base, in a couple of days, the beast is coming, all the executives are in the meeting, but while talking about the important things, the window in the window of something appeared, if it was a normal eavesdropping, it would have been okay, but this guy was like a chaste girl with only half of her head exposed, and it was still hanging outside the window. Her face was covered with strange scales, like an alien, and he wouldn't have recognized her as a woman if he hadn't seen the white hair wrapped around her neck, in the second before the explosion, Chen Sheng has already made a vertical jump, two and a half weeks of elegant turning in the air, beautiful landing, 9, 9 score, 
at this time, the surrounding guards had already surrounded them, and some of the stronger ones in the conference room had also jumped down, and although Chin Shan's dodge looked perfect, she was now deeply surrounded, who are you? Do you know the rules of Li River, how dare you eavesdrop on Master Xie's meeting, standing at the four-story hole in the building, before Master Xie could say anything, a burly man who jumped down first shouted, a crowd of people gawked, but Chin Shan just glanced at the other side, spread her hands and helplessly said, I don't care who he is, I can listen to him if I want to, so what's it got to do with you? You woman, unbridled, saying that, this martial artist suddenly moved, his physique was not inferior to the previous gangly, under the skill enhancement, he was already more than two meters tall, each step carried an unstoppable momentum, just like a giant rushing over, but unfortunately, today's Chin Shan will not be intimidated by the district's momentum. Just now when Chin Shan's eavesdropping has already detected the small ring, in front of this man's strength is only two, then I will not be polite, with a sound like thunder, the two fists connected, the wind from the fists blew the surrounding sand and rocks in all directions, and the guards who were nearby were almost knocked down by the aftershock of the strong man's power, but on the other hand, the woman, who couldn't even reach the strong man's chest, only raised her hand and struck, and then received the angry blow from their officer. With her white hair, soft and graceful body, she casually returned the blow as if it was easy, but the strong man grimaced in pain and took several steps back after receiving the blow, how is that possible, in front of this scene, not only the guards, but also the other strong men who were watching the battle could not help but exclaim in their hearts, however, just as Chin Shan was secretly satisfied, the air around her inexplicably glowed greenish, and three silver rings of supernatural. Energy chains appeared out of nowhere, surrounding her in the middle, seeing this, Chin Shan froze for a moment, she had never seen an ability that could be used in the air before, she was caught off guard for a moment, those three rings immediately contracted after trapping Chin Shan, obviously wanting to bind her, even though Chin Shan reacted and jumped immediately, she was still bound by the top ring on her right foot and had no choice but to be pulled down by it. Chen Shan's right ankle was locked and she fell to the ground instantly, angrily shouting in her heart, why is there an assistant again, it's a shame to use control techniques in a group fight, however, her opponent did not give her time to complain, just as Chen Shan stood up, the secretary looking woman raised her right arm, extended her fingers, and waved it vigorously, causing a few more green thistle flowers to quickly condense in the air, and in just half a second, they turned into Three long spears that flew straight toward the direction where Chin Shan was, is this the woman's skill? It's actually an abnormal system, so annoying, thinking this in her heart, Chin Shan instinctively stood up to dodge, but because her right foot was blocked by the circle, she could only roll quickly on the ground, dodging the first two energy lances, while the third one was about to enter her chest, but Chin Shan caught it with her raised hand and held it in midair. Even when the lance made of supernatural energy was grabbed, there was still a strong force driving it, but Chen Shan grabbed it by force and gripped it tightly with her teeth, and this scene immediately stunned everyone present, she had grabbed Zhang Xingyue's skill, she had grabbed it with her bare hands, and Officer Zhao's strength wasn't as good as hers, how could it be, this guy wasn't human, was he? She definitely didn't have good intentions to sneak into the main building, she couldn't be allowed to escape, the guards around Chen Shan screamed one after the other, as if they were about to cut Chen Shan into pieces, but they didn't notice that Zhang Xingyue, the secretary's sister who used this skill, was sweating coldly and looking at Chen Shan with a shocked expression on her face, normally, the enemy's ring slice would have been able to slice off her calf, but the result was that she would not be killed or crippled when hit by my the result is just to trap her on the ground, this kind of defensive power is nothing short of amazing, as for the surrounding spectators, the only ones who could understand the situation were the three strong people Chen Shan recognized, namely Zhang Xingyue, the man in the suit, and Xie Huaqing, the three of them knew the power of Zhang Xingyue's skills, and they knew that her power was unfathomable when they saw Chen Shan combine her two skills without any injuries, however, she clearly had the opportunity to escape just now, but she did not harm the surrounding guards, so it was impossible to say that she was not an enemy. 
looking at Chin Shan, who was still clenching his teeth and grasping the silver spear in the distance, the man in the suit's face slowly broke into a cold sweat, and at the same time, Zhang Xingyu's skill finally reached its limit, and the silver spear and silver ring disintegrated like fireworks, a large group of you are bullying me alone, I won't play with you anymore, seeing the silver ring that bound his leg disappear, Chen Shan immediately stood up, after shouting a phrase through. Gritted teeth, he leaped and tumbled out of the fence, causing the guards watching the show around him to gasp in horror, jumped so high. Seeing this scene, Zhang Xingyue and Officer Zhao were naturally powerless, they were not as agile as Chen Shan and could not break through the encirclement of so many people, only the man in the suit dropped his obstructive suit jacket and also jumped up and landed outside the fence, Xuanwei, don't go after him, Zhang Xingyu hurriedly called out from inside the fence, but Sun Wei, who had jumped out, saw that the white-haired woman had already run 20 meters away and immediately frowned. At her and went after her without a second thought, strength exceeds that of the physical specialization officer Zhao, and defense is incredibly strong, so you always have a weakness, speed, at least in terms of speed, I don't think you'll be too fast, as long as you can drag it out a little longer, you'll be able to catch up with the other officers who have arrived and so on, what the hell. Originally, the idea was well thought out in his heart, but only a few seconds later, Xuanwei revealed a horrified look, only to see the white-haired woman in front of him running further and further, faster and faster, more and more hastily, the running back, the flowing hair, as well as the lifting of the legs and the waving of the arms without a single superfluous movement, simply showed the word running to its extreme. It even created residual shadows, Sun Wei had measured his ultimate. Speed, probably around 100 km per hour, faster than a cheetah, yet he was still unable to catch up with the woman in front of him, no human can run that fast, you'll die suddenly, I can't do it, I'll let her escape, while Sun Wei was still surprised, Chen Shan had already run so fast that she couldn't even see her shadow, in a hurry. He had no choice but to use all of his supernatural energy to try to stop Chen Shan with his skills, and a little later, he succeeded. Chen Shan is running while Chen Shan issued a shock, she only felt a light body, he actually floated up from the ground out of thin air, what skills will pull her up from the ground, the sudden imbalance of gravity made her feel very strange, but this skill did not cause any significant damage and the duration was extremely short, after a second, Chen Shan fell back to the ground, just as she was about to accelerate again, Xu and Wei behind her had already chased after her with seven bloodied eyes. In order to hold Chen Shan, this guy even used up his supernatural energy instantly, controlling her from a distance of more than 50 meters, are you out of your mind? Chen Shan was so angry that she couldn't help but laugh and cry, and she had to turn around to give him a punch, which also collected 30% of the power otherwise Chen Shan was afraid of giving the other party a death blow, but Chen Shan never thought of this man in the sea Chen Shan waved a fist even after not retreat, Chen Shan is casually waved a fist, but for ordinary people, this fist is also sharp too terrible. The terrifying wind of the fist was accompanied by the power of a thousand pounds, if it hit him directly in the face, the man named Sun Wei would die a violent death on the spot, and he would definitely die, however, just as Chin Shan's pink fist was about to collide with the man's head, the man slightly dodged his head with a very small amplitude, raised his left hand to separate Chin Shan's punch, and then reversed his grip and attacked him, so much so that Chin Shan's right arm was twisted, and turned to the side, at this point, Chin Shan felt bad and raised his left knee to kick him, but the man reached out his right hand in advance and squeezed Chen Shan's left knee, just as he had predicted, this all happened in only half a second, at this time, to see the two, the body is almost next to each other, the woman's arm and leg were being held by the man, as if she was being held in his arms, the posture was ambiguous, instead of fighting, it was like dancing, but just as Chen Shan was wondering, the man suddenly revealed a firm gaze, turned around, and punched his shoulder with all his might, it hit Chen Shan's chest. Eight extreme fists, a mouthful of blood spurted out of Chen Shan, one second he was still cursing in his heart, the next second he was thrown out of the building next to the earth building, the earth building could not resist his flying body, he was thrown out of the earth on the spot, Chen Shan fell into a piece of rubble, life and death is unknown, and on the other hand, Sun Wai finished this set of eight extreme fists basic postures. 
full of terror, muttered incredulously to himself, this. This woman has no martial arts experience at all, oh, oh no, after coming to his senses, Xuanwei just remembered that the woman who had received a set of eight extremes fist basic stances from him was still buried in the masonry, and she would easily die if he didn't rescue her in time, so he hurriedly ran over and dug up the ground to check the situation, just when he really dug up the piece of rubble, but found that there was nothing inside. On the contrary, the soil on the ground is a little loose, seems to have something will be the woman to hide, strength, defense, speed, are far above our people, but can also hide? What kind of god is this woman? Frozen in place Xuanwei face panic, just looking at the ruins of silence, silently clenched his fists, why the end of the world there will be people who can martial arts and he fought well at a disadvantage, damn, chest hurts, just now the scales on the face also loosened, half of the face leaked out, will not let this guy see it, right? If it weren't for my soft heart, I could have stabbed him to death with a knife, how could I let him hit me like that? Ten meters underground, in the tunnel dug by the stalker spiders, Chen Shan is being carried by four stalkers, moving back and forth in the narrow tunnel, there is no light at all here, it is dark and humid, the air is thin, and a normal person would have a nervous breakdown if he stayed here for five minutes. But Chen Shan has long been accustomed to living with the bugs, rather than say she is in the tunnels like home, just think of the battle just now, she feels very unhappy, although my strength is far above the group of people, but their cooperation and skills are better than me too much, fortunately, I did not fight a protracted battle, no, it seems that I really is not obscene enough, even ate another defeat, from now on, I have to maximize my skills, I won't participate in battles that I can't win, Thinking like this, Chen Shan could not help but nod her head with a sharp look and determination, even though she knew that even if she was captured alive by Master Xie's men right now, she probably would not be treated well, but after all, not every opponent was so merciful, who knew if the next one she encountered would be a crazed murderer. Not to mention the fact that she was now also a white-haired woman who looked weak and vulnerable and could be bullied, the kind with big breasts. Damn it, I'm going to learn Tai Ji Quan too, next time I see him, I'm going to ding dong him, it's actually Ba Ji Quan, but Chen Shan doesn't understand it Lord Queen, we have arrived at our destination, please give us instructions, heart cried out loud new ambitions, the spiders are already to Chen Shan to the end of the line, Chen Shan can only helplessly wave his hand to dismiss them, he first climbed out of the hole, from the east side of the treasury this side, just this to and fro, the Sky is dark, the warehouse did not see the shadow of Ring Sheng, also do not know whether she gave Chen Shan a good cover, at this time and then look at Chen Shan, because just got out of the ground, so covered, the body by the scales cohesion of the clothes and waist skirt is also scattered, missing most of it, after all, Chen Shan's chest was hurting right now, and she didn't have the heart to maintain her scale armor all the time, but coincidentally, when Chen Shan grabbed her hair to Clean up the dust, the door of the storehouse seemed to move noisily, and when Chen Shan turned around, she saw a well-dressed middle-aged man with incredible eyes staring at her. Chen Shan's face was slightly nervous when she saw him, and she hurriedly took two steps back, afraid that the other party would see the hole at her feet, who would have thought that after seeing Chen Shan, the other party would never take his eyes off her, how could he notice the hole in the camp? He was even a bit mesmerized, after a full four or five seconds, before coming back to his senses, knowing that he would look immodest if he stared at a woman like that, he coughed and said, You are Chin Shan, aren't you? That's me, hello, my name is Du Muyao, I'm the general manager of the eastern region of Li River Base, the man held out his right hand, and a friendly smile appeared on his face. Early morning is a luxury in the post-apocalyptic world, Hungry, cold, and alone, the survivors struggle to survive every day, but if they can get a good night's sleep in the safety of the base, and wake up together with their remaining family members, they can't help but think that there is still hope in the world, and that it is better to be alive, at this time, a ray of sunshine along the side window of the container slipped in, still sleeping Ren Sheng because of the warmth of the cheeks and gradually woke up, the quilt is full of sweet fragrance, soft pillows are also very comfortable, and gently move down the body, you can feel the warmth of the embrace of the jade touch, soft and comfortable, delicate hand, as if a mother's embrace, 
but also as if she was dreaming of a male god, so she couldn't help but so she could not help but rub against each other's arms before slowly opening her blurry eyes. And then Ren Xing saw, she was actually in a bed with Chen Shan, and the other party was still completely naked, holding her in his arms. The thing she just rubbed her face against were the other's breasts, no wonder they felt so soft, two minutes later, Chen Shan put on a white undershirt and sat on the bed, yawning and scratching her messy white hair, looking like a princess who just woke up, Ren Sheng, on the other hand, was sitting weakly and helplessly in the corner of the wall, holding his head, a tear in his eye kept wandering. Because just now Chen Shan was knocked down hard and hurt, I don't want to wake up, but who let? You suddenly appear in my bed. Ah, uh, time to go back to last night, Chen Shan and Du Muyao face to face, originally, Chen Shan thought that the tunnels that did not have time to bury would be discovered by the other side, who knew that Du Muyao this time, the other side would be able to find out, discover, who knows Du Muyao this guy is not vigilant at all, rather he stares at Chen Shan all the time, making Chen Shan heart hairy, thought it was going to be harassed again, but whoever thought that Du Muyao from beginning to, and without excessive behavior, and even polite, just and Chen Shan briefly shook hands, then smiled and instructed, Ren Sheng's loved ones are my group's loved ones, we will not leave any of our companions, we will not leave any of them behind, we will not leave any of our comrades behind, and we hope that you will continue to shine in the future and realize your value in the group. It's late today, let's leave the guarding work to the other men, in the future, you and Ren Sheng can also take turns on duty, if you have any needs, come to me anytime, I'll try to satisfy you as much as possible, go get some rest, see you next time." After saying this, Du Mu Yao showed a smile like a leader who sympathizes with his subordinates. When Chen Shan saw this smile, a big question mark appeared on his head. So he exchanged a few simple pleasantries with him and parted ways, although. Chen Shan always felt that Du Mu Yao was a bad person, but the other party didn't do any excessive actions, causing Chen Shan to be confused, only then did Chen Shan realize that she didn't know where to live. Ren Sheng and Bugbear were nowhere to be seen, so Chen Shan had no choice but to search for them using the meager pheromones in the air, only to see Bugbear crouching on the ground like a poor child next to the container, so he pushed open the door of the container house and saw that Ren Sheng had fallen asleep right on time, drooling on his pillow, so I can't blame Chen Shan, after all, there's no other place to lie down. So he can only make do with a bed for a while, as for why he's completely naked. Because Chen Shan was originally completely naked, the clothes on her body were all generated by the scaly keratin, and just disappeared automatically when she slept, next time you dare to sneak out without waiting for me, be careful that I cut and comb my hair, Chen Shan said through gritted teeth and reluctantly put on her own clothes and pants, while Ren Sheng remained cowering on the ground in pity, I'm sorry, I won't dare to do it again, Chen Shan sister, where are you going again, can't. We just watched the treasury properly, looking at Chen Shan getting up and walking towards the door, Ren Xing hurriedly asked Chen Shan with concern, Chen Shan, after hearing this, gently skimmed her mouth and looked at the other party without any sense. What, are you worried about me? No, I'm afraid you'll die out there, I'll be eaten by the worms in my stomach, we'll take the wages for guarding the camp, Chen Shan remained silent for a while, looking at Ren Xing's sincere look, she knew that she really hoped to take the group's welfare and wait to die, rather than saying that she had originally come to the Li River base to do that, it was only in this regard that Chen Shan felt very disgusted. Since Ren Sheng was her subordinate now, she should think about the insect race. In Dragon Harbor, how could she always think of herself as a victim of Li Jiang base, so, after a little thought, Chen Shan showed a friendly smile, she gently walked over to Ren Xing's side, patted the other party's shoulder, and said with a smile, don't worry, I won't, even if I die, you'll still be able to survive, even if I die, you'll still be able to live for about 72 hours. Not to mention that the process of the goblet worm eating humans is very fast, you'll die quickly without feeling any pain, so it's okay. Probably, the panic in Ren Xinqing's eyes grew even more because last night, Du Mu Yao had said that it would be okay to leave one person in the guardhouse, so Chen Shan decided to wander around the other areas today to familiarize himself with the terrain, just in case it was too late for him to run when the monsters attacked the city in the future, however, before she left the house this morning, there was another episode.
When Chin Shan passed by the entrance of the area, she found a woman. In a red dress staring at her from afar, her brows furrowed and her eyes grudging, as if she had a deep hatred, and most importantly, this woman's face was very familiar, Chin Shan hurriedly left the container area after glancing at the other party in surprise, that guy looked like Aizya, it was her sister Ace Ida, right? Couldn't she have found out? But logically speaking, she and Du Muyao only know that the intelligent species of Dragon Harbor is a white-haired lowly, almost completely incompatible with my current physique, can't think that I'm that intelligent species just because of my hair color, right? There are many kinds of abilities in the end of the world, some people's hair will change to other colors because of the abilities, red, white, and blue, so Chen Shan's white hair is not so noticeable, except that it is softer than others, Aisida's hateful look was even more strange, Chen Shan didn't want to have too much to do with her and could only pretend not to see her and hurriedly left, and not long after Chen Shan left, the maid beside Aisida silently came to her side and whispered, through clenched teeth, Sister Da, this is the woman President Du was in the camp with for more than an hour last night, I see. Upon hearing this, Aisida's gaze became even more resentful, her teeth were also clenched as she chuckled, and a biting flame psychic energy slightly wandered in her body, containing an aura that seemed to be several times stronger than Ting Yan's, have you heard? Yesterday, a female assassin infiltrated Master Xie's headquarters, is it true? Of course it's true, and three guards attacked her at the same time and didn't even hurt her, the woman didn't look human, there was a rumor that she might be a humanoid monster that was sent by the intelligence of the Dragon Harbor, to attack the Lee River base, too, too terrible, why do these monsters also need to grow wisdom, how can we live one day at a time, Chen Shan's attributes are far beyond the ordinary people, hearing is naturally good, just walking on the street, she can hear. Passers-by talking about what she did yesterday, which makes her face inevitably a little embarrassed, in fact, cannot be considered unharmed it, although I put a lot of water is that is the case, like I said, the Li River, in addition to the surrounding fortifications and the area where Master Xie resides, the rest of the area has become quite barren, with mud huts, tents, peddlers, refugees, and even children begging on the road. There are quite a lot of soldiers patrolling, all of them wearing camouflage uniforms, carrying guns, they got the best weapons at the beginning of the end of the world, and there are also higher organizations for them to study the potion to increase their fighting power, of course the survival rate is higher than others, just before the end of the world it was said that the people and the military are of one mind, but now it has become a joke, they are not even lazy to even look at them. Children begging on the street, it's really pitiful, looking at the ragged and dirty boy not far away, who looks to be only about 10 years old, Chen Shan sighed helplessly, finally realizing how lucky she is, but probably out of compassion for the child, she couldn't help but walk over to the child, crouch down, and hand the other party 10 crystal coins, smilingly saying, here, take it, look at your face, brother, I'll reward you with a mouthful of rice, a mouthful of rice to eat, seeing the Sudden money, the child's eyes could not help but light up, as soon as he heard Chin Shan's words, he tilted his head again, his eyes full of confusion, isn't that a sister? Why do you call yourself a brother? Thank you sister, but I can't take your money directly, the boy pursed his lips and said cautiously, obviously in the eyes of the coin is full of desire, but still picking his fingers, expression embarrassed refused, and in response, Chin Shan is very confused, directly frowned at him and asked. Why? Why? Don't you need it? I do, the boy cried with fear, but still, he did not put his hand out to take the money, just daddy said, cannot just take someone else's stuff, I can use the information with you in return, my god, heard this, Chen Shan could not help but cry out internally, originally, she was just a casual charity, but never thought that this child would understand to such an area, directly shattered her three this is the end of the world, the end of the world, People eat people's era, you this child how? Still so civilized. But then a look at the boy's clothes, in comparison to other beggars, it seems that the clothes are also a lot of clean, this is not good, in fact, his parents are still alive. He just didn't come back after hunting for a long time. And in this regard, Chen Shan also do not want to defile the child's pure heart, can only scratch his head, helplessly said. Well, if you can tell me where to buy coke, I will give this ten crystal to Hao. Coke, 
Hearing this, the boy's eyes immediately widened, it was obvious that he knew where to buy coke, maybe his elders had bought it as well, immediately after the excitement, the boy again looked a little reluctant, indeed pursing his lips shyly said, soda a kind of production are in the south side of the two kilometers or so, there is a very large sign called the soul, sister you go south you will certainly be able to see, just said, the boy somehow lowered his head, his expression seems to be a little ashamed, just that the place is very dangerous, sister, you don't go alone is better, it's okay, sister, brother, I'm invincible, just go and have a coke, no problem. Smiling and patting the boy's shoulder, Chen Shan dropped the ten crystals and left with a smile, why didn't she give the boy a little more? As for why she didn't give the boy more at once, she could only say that the surrounding refugees were all watching intently, if she really wanted to throw a hundred of them over there, she couldn't guarantee that the boy wouldn't survive the night, so it would be better to spend them early and buy some food, are there any stalkers around? Keep an eye on the boy, if he's in danger, you can protect him accordingly, of course with your own safety in mind, as the queen commands, after giving her orders with her mental voice, Chin Shan left satisfied, she had already done her best for the boy, also, it should be mentioned that Chin Shan herself doesn't have the ability to transmit mental voice, so her mental voice is searched by the king bugs in Dragon Harbor, and then transmitted to the other bugs to carry out remote control, or Else the stalker spiders in the ground would not be able to sense the message in the air, categorically not be able to sense the pheromones in the air. However, when Chen Shan actually walked two kilometers towards the southern district, she realized what the danger the boy was talking about was, Little Meng Meng, have you missed me after not seeing me for three days? Is it because you can't wait for me to fill you up? Deadbeat, what are you talking about? Keep your voice down, you slutty fox is still shy. I don't know who shouts the loudest every time, shut your mouth, hello, ma'am, can I help you with something? Or are you here to apply for a job? In the remodeled building of the hotel, the corner of the receptionist's mouth gently turned up, showing a gentle and charming smile to Chin Shan, while Chin Shan's side looked at the women in the lobby, the men hugging each other to the right and left, the red light and the VIP sign leading to the upper floors of the hotel, a drop of cold sweat flowed down from his head. And he finally widened his eyes with the realization that this was the red light district, and the red light district was. The red light district, no wonder when he entered the city, the guard said that there is a VIP channel, the original VIP channel is the furnace that leads directly to the bottom of Lee River. Coke and other things are just byproducts of men's consumption, equivalent to free gifts, no one rushes to the soda at all, why not? The holy water of happiness, Chen Shan's spiritual pillar, and an important hidden reason for coming to Li River Base, the holy water of joy, Chen Shan's spiritual pillar, the main hidden reason for coming to Li River Base, it was actually used in such a disgusting place, which simply spoiled their desire for cola, no, I must find the organizer of this place, force out the method of making the soda, and then wipe it out. Bastard thinking of this, Chen Shan secretly made up her mind, and... Veins even appeared on her forehead, just as she was gritting her teeth, a couple of human men who were also in the hall pointed behind Chin Shan, one of them was especially tall and fierce looking, he was the first to show a smile, he even left the woman who was originally cuddling in his arms and walked straight towards Chin Shan, wearing black guard pants, his upper body was naked, his muscles were as dense and terrifying as the iron pimples, and on top of that, he also had a dense tattoo of dragons and tigers, Tattoos of Dragons and Tigers Seeing this, the receptionist who was still talking to Chin Shan was also sweating slightly, and immediately changed her charming attitude, bowed her head respectfully to this person, and asked, Captain Long Dao Tian, do you need any more service? Long Dao Tian Hearing this name, Chin Shan froze for a moment, could not help but look back at the other side, it just so happened that the guy measuring her with contemptuous eyes, a finger pointing at Chin Shan, mouth showing hideous yellow teeth, very arrogantly said, this is your new. Tell her to wait in my room, I don't know whether it's luck or misfortune, Chin Shan has only been in town for two days, and she's already met all three leaders of Li River Base, but she really didn't expect that Long Dao Tian, whose name sounds so domineering, would turn out to be a lecher, Sorry Team Dragon, she is not a newcomer, she is a guest, the receptionist saw Chen Shan being bullied, 
she could only hang her head and weakly respond to the other party, her tone sounded a little scared. Which is a good indication of how brutal a person Long Dao Tian usually is. And just as Chen Shan thought, the front desk in the persuasion said, Long Dao Tian as if did not hear at all, still with full of aggressive eyes looking at Chen Shan, with almost commanding tone said, Wash up go to my room, you hear. Upon hearing this, Chen Shan fell into a brief silence, looking at the other party's twisted and beaten expression, her face began to fluctuate, although I've met many men who have thoughts about me since I awakened, but this one today is too selfless, isn't it? Even those idiots who blocked the road yesterday were at least robbing in a deserted place, but this one is directly robbing people in broad daylight, oh, those guys yesterday also claimed to be from the dragon team, so they all belong to the same gang. Thinking about it, Chen Shan gradually understood that with such a leader ruling the base, how could his subordinates be any better? However, Chen Shan did not want to show her strength right now, so after a moment's thought, looking at the loser, incredibly arrogant Long Dao Tian, she simply raised her right hand and gave a middle finger, then turned around and left without looking back, Chen Shan's speed is very fast, according to the theory that if they want to chase, they can also instantly speed up and run away. But I never thought that Long Dao Tian would just make a soft noise, the door of the security guards would. Immediately close the door, door and window were closed, within seconds there were countless fighters came out of the hotel, surrounded by them, counting, this group of people about 20, the strength of 30 or 40 tiers, it turned out that this place was originally opened by Long Dao Tian, where are you going, sister? Didn't you hear what I said? Long Dao Tian still put on that ugly smile, casually waved his hand, those customers, female companions and reception staff immediately retreated to other floors, or even rolled with the kind of, do not dare to have the slightest complaint, and so many people surrounded a woman, if ordinary people would probably be scared legs, but Chen Shan obviously not, she just turned around, not only not afraid of the surrounding glances, but calmly whispered, long team, we do not know each other, there is. No grudge, and here is no other women, you are really good at robbing people in such a bright and open way. Looks like you are a newcomer who just entered the city. In front of Chen Shan's question, Long Dao Tian made a contemptuous sound, but his tone was conciliatory, this is really unfortunate, the whole southern district is mine, you are here now, this is my thing, so it is not technically considered robbery Long Dao Tian's tone was calm but the words he said were brutal, Chen Shan did not want to waste his time with him. But he was provoked by the other side with Chen Shan originally did not want to waste his time with him, but was provoked by the other party with villainous words many times, she could not help but feel a little angry in her heart, however, she still tried to calm down and ask back, so you're going to do it? Are you sure? Do you know who I am? Of course I know that you are trying to use Du Mu Yao's name to temporarily scare off the other party, Long Dao Tian said with a smile as he walked towards Chen Shan step by step, his eyes filled with contempt, of course I know, you are my dog, a slave for me to vent to, I like your kind of little sister, who has just come to town and is not afraid of heaven and earth, who looks like she is untamed, but when she is pushed to the bed, she screams more happily than anyone else, come on, do you want to hit me? I'll give you a chance, over here, said, in Chen Shan's surprised eyes, Long Dao Tian this guy actually really open arms, defenseless to stand in front of Chen Shan, he still had a cocky smile on his face, and his contemptuous gaze kept measuring Chen Shan's body, and all the surrounding minions looked like they were watching the show, it seemed like they were very confident in Long Dao Tian's strength, of course, Chen Shan would not give him a chance. He raised his right foot and kicked right. Over. This move is the same against all women, and you are no exception, seeing Chen Shan's leg, the smile on Long Dao Tian's face grew another three points, turning from arrogance to madness, as long as you deliberately expose your weaknesses, you stupid women will definitely use the Yin teasing leg to kick my lower body, since that is the only move you can use to hurt me, but, I knew you'd do it, with a slight lift of my hand and a simple grab, your legs will become limp and weak, mere toys for. My pleasure, after that, I'll lock you up with the others and make you one of my many pets, thinking like this, Long Dao Tian has already placed his hand on the path that the Yin teasing leg must take. 
His palms are big and terrifying, the muscles are densely coated, there are rough calluses on them, like a bear's paw, the slender and soft jade feet, even if in the end of the world continue to get stronger, with 60 or 70 levels of a tribute bonus, but also cannot break through this defensive line, not to mention that Long Dao Tian has eaten dead one thing, that is. To reach the 70th level of the woman is unlikely to come to his territory alone, the other side is no fool, so you're only level 50 at the end of the day, become my pet, woman, the corners of his mouth grinned all the way to the base of his ears, and his already horrible face turned into a particularly greedy and horrible face, but the next expression on that face instantly changed from excitement to fear, the knuckle bones, palm bones, and arm bones were severely cracked and twisted the moment those hands touched the jade leg. They were mercilessly shattered like pieces of paper by that leg, and even the other party's attack could not disarm it at all, the sharp pain that tore through his heart and lungs caused Long Daotian's face to immediately distort, but it all happened too quickly. He didn't even have time to scream before his hand was instantly kicked off by Chen Shan from the tiger's mouth, and that foot even had the power to continue kicking at his lower body, so much so that Long Dao Tian's eyes widened in horror, a clearly audible cracking sound instantly exploded in the hall, this leg kicked there without any deviation, causing all of Long Dao Tian's subordinates to be stunned and terrified on the spot. Chen Shan then pulled back his leg, Long Dao Tian's face was already green and purple, and his body was trembling, as if he was trying to keep himself from collapsing because of his face. Unfortunately, not even two seconds later, Long Dao Tian's legs went limp, covering his lower body, and he fell to his knees on the spot, Team Dragon. Seeing this situation, a group of juniors swarmed up and rushed over to Long Dao Tian's side to inquire about the boss's condition. But Long Dao Tian is now in pain, which still have the strength to return to her, large body constantly shaking, head full of cold sweat mad downstream, obviously just a moment ago was still a high and mighty gaze, but now the pain of the gritted teeth, grimace, cannot even say, your eyes have bloodied, and even there is tearing in the spin, Long Dao Tian voice is shaking, and Chen Shan is just disgusted at seeing him, and did not say a word, bitch, the next is the pain of the pelvis, Long Dao. Tian finally let out a mournful cry, Chen Shan this kick actually cracked Long Dao Tian's lower body bones, so much so that he may not even be able to sit up in the future, initially, I wanted to keep a low profile, but this guy's stance was too dragging, I really couldn't hold back and kick out otherwise, hurry up and sneak out while you're at it, right? With these thoughts, Chen Shan took advantage of the fact that the people around her weren't paying attention and quietly took two steps back, however, Long Dao Tian, who was kneeling on the ground, was staring at her with a deadly glare, how could the arrogant head of the southern district tolerate someone humiliating him in front of everyone and still retreat? So, he tore his heart and lungs against the severe pain and roared, don't let them escape, catch her, I'll break her into pieces, farewell, seeing a group of juniors ready to strike, Chen Shan slipped to the door in a flash, transformed his hands into long knives, and casually sliced the door into cross-shattering pieces, the two security guards seemed to be of low rank, they were scared to death by this scene, they did not dare to come forward to stop Chen Shan, and Chen Shan just rushed to the door, jumped up, jumped to the roof of the adjacent earth building, and disappeared after a few dodges, dragon team, are you okay? Do you want to call a doctor? Get out of the way. Inside the hotel, a subordinate kindly went to help Long Dao Tian, but from Long Dao Tian a wave of the hand directly slapped down on the ground, he almost trembled to stand up, strong body, now can only be in the shape of a crab, walking on two legs, the lower pants are still dripping with a lot of blood, and when he saw the surrounding minions are all a look of surprise, skeptical, and suppressed laughter. Long Daotian's head is even more angry veins rippling, just at this time, he was. Seriously injured, also do not have the strength to teach his men, can only hold back the fire, gritting his teeth and said, what to look at, a bunch of trash, this woman is at least 70 levels, and is also a specialization of power, I was careless before being injured by her, tell me, whoever can find this woman, I'll reward you with 10,000 coins, 20,000 if you kill her, 30,000 if you capture her alive, what are you waiting for? Go on, get lost. 
said Long Dao Tian began to roar like crazy, the little brothers are also hastily agreed, one after another Grey run away, only a few remaining faithful to stay next to Long Dao Tian, they will help Long Dao Tian stabilize, help him to the nearby seat, the result is that Long Dao Tian sat down the moment and Miso stand up again, the pain of Wow and Wow screaming, but even so, after screaming, Long Dao Tian also still clenched his teeth fiercely, eyes cracked, chanting, white-haired bitch, damned. Bitch, such humiliation, if I do not report, vow and not to be a man. If I don't repay this humiliation, I will never be a human being, the severely injured Lung Tao Tin was still hissing in the hotel, his powerful killing aura rising to the sky, but unfortunately, Chen Shan had already run away, however, at this time, Long Dao Tian would not have believed that after picking a fight with the wrong people, waiting for him may not only be the death of his children and grandchildren. Chen Shan is very cautious, she was afraid that there is no reason to loot the resources of the Li River base, this is not sent to the door. Dumu Yao and Master Xia have not messed with me, and I have no intention of eating them out of hand, but you are a different story, no one would blame me if I took some supplies from a trash like you who is so dominant in the post-apocalyptic world, right? Even though Qin Shan is strong and has an army of bugs to back her up, the overall strength of the human race is far beyond her current size, so even if she wants to get rid of someone, she needs to have a good excuse, and then if an army of humans comes to Dragon Harbor to attack her, she can also say that it is clearly the fault of that Long Dao Tian, and I wanted to coexist with Li Jiang base, but he tried to be rude to me, so of course I want to teach him a lesson, I've got to teach him a lesson, that's reasonable. Thinking about it, Chen Shan could not help but nod at his own cleverness, and most of Long Daoqian's men are in the hotel now, to take revenge, he will definitely send people to other areas to search, now is the best time to steal home. However, just as Chen Shan was moving fast on the dirt floor, her eyes suddenly turned cold, she turned around and hung onto the wall, using her protective color to hide herself, she seemed to have just heard something in her head. Protective colors, Use the scales and horns of your skin to change to a color similar to your surroundings, like a chameleon, it's best to stay naked when doing this move, as clothing can interfere with the color, hanging on the wall like a spider, she closed her eyes, held her breath, and searched the room for mental messages with all her brain power, her mental psychic ability was the lowest of the three main attributes, so it was fine if she only used the king worm to contact nearby stalker. Spiders, but it would be difficult to use it for long-distance communication, and she would have to focus all her power to do so, but fortunately, just after searching with her mental power for a moment, Chen Shan heard that voice in her head again, my name is Thornwing, requesting to contact Lord Queen. It was Thornwing's voice, the insect king was tens of kilometers away, but she actually contacted Chen Shan, and Chen Shan also calmly used her spiritual power to reply. Chin Shan's tone was slightly cold, nowadays, she would be very calm when facing her insect subordinates, and I don't know if she was used to being with the insects or if she was affected by the abilities of the swarm heart. I don't know if it's because she's used to being around insects or because she's been affected by the swarm heart skill, Stinging Wing naturally had no problem with Chin Shan's tone, and even liked hearing Chin Shan speak to her in a commanding tone, and immediately replied with some excitement, Your Majesty, I am honored to hear your voice, as for the matter you asked me to investigate last night, I now have a clue, what kind of clue? I said I'm busy. Okay, last night I sent 1000 bee dragons out from Dragon Harbor to investigate and discovered that 30 kilometers west of the Li River, there are two groups of humanoid monsters advancing rapidly toward the Li River base, they are numerous and clearly oriented, around 100,000 and 300,000 respectively, and judging by their speed, they will arrive in Li River City by tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Hearing this, Chen Shan couldn't help but gasp in amazement, she hadn't expected the time of the monster attack to be so close, yesterday, after learning that there would be a monster attack on Li River base, Chen Shan immediately instructed Stinging Wings to go look for them, after all, only she could fly in the sky, she was the fastest, and less likely to fall into danger, but at the same time, she was surprised that the monsters had attacked the city so hastily, but she was also slightly. Confused by another thing Stabwing said, so she asked Stabwing once again, wait a minute. Did you say humanoid? 
those who came to attack Lee River Base were human. Yes, to be precise, they seemed to be humans infected by some kind of substance, Stabwing replied, but his tone was also a bit ambiguous, after all, he was the lowest level of the three bug kings, and his intelligence was growing the slowest so it was already very good to be able to tell that he was a human, so Chen Shan didn't blame it, he just asked, is there a strong leader among them? Are there any intelligent races? I don't know exactly, but there is an infected four-legged beast that is particularly powerful, I can sense that its strength is comparable to that lion monster in Dragon Harbor, I'm afraid only you can deal with it, all right, I understand, after listening to everything, Chen Shan returned with a flat tone, her gaze slightly icy, a strange and sickly glow vaguely appearing from her deep pupils. She then gently nodded her head and used the last of her mental power to instruct her subordinates. Stabbing wings, have some flying dragon bugs follow them and keep an eye on the location of the monster swarm, and you should also have shadow flames spare some soldier ants and try to lure the monsters from the west side of the Lee River to the south side so that they can attack first from the south. Yes, your majesty, I will try, after saying that, the link to the mental communication was broken, Chen Shan's mental power could only maintain the call for a short time, and any further contact would have to wait until a few hours later. As for now, as for looting Long Dao Tian's supplies directly, Chen Shan's eyes flickered and she seemed to have a better idea, sorry, mom, meanwhile, in Dragon Harbor. Underneath the King Worm Tower, was the Arachne Cave, the human girl's screams echoed. Incessantly in the cave, full of desperation and misery, but since this was the underground cave of the spider beetle monster, it was difficult for the other two major swarms to sense it, at that moment, a pair of black jade hands cupped the young girl's face and excitedly said in an almost maniacal tone, no, I can't make that sound, because my favorite doesn't make that kind of expression, so you'll have to put up with it as well. The human part of Arachne held the young girl's face, her fingers playing with her features, her face still with only her lips exposed, and she revealed her slender tongue, licking the young girl's cheeks gently, on the contrary, the young girl, who was bound into a dumpling by the spider silk, with only her head exposed, looked pale and frightened, tears kept swirling in her eyes, hissing in near despair, but I'm not her, I'm not her, but you're as human as she is, Arachne fully understood. The young girl's fear and explained excitedly, you are a human too, it is just right to carry out my experiments, I want to study the way to make humans become the same race as me, in this way I will one day be able to realize the perfect mating with the Lord. After saying that, Arachne also holed up his face, cheeks blush, full of excitement, while the girl backed up a mouthful of cold air, for a moment actually forget their own all-human honor and shame coexist, work together, almost out of context question then why is it obvious that you also captured a lot of people, I saw them all, why not use them, this, I'm really sorry. Arachne tilted her head as if to show a cute expression, but for the young girl, it was horror, the queen Sama, more or less empathetic towards humans, so she ordered us to treat them gently and try to give them a painless death even if they're hostile, but you're different, you're the baby I snuck out of the plane wreckage, even Stingwing and Shadowflame don't know, so Queen Sama won't even know what I'm doing to you. With that, Arachne let out a sickly, maniacal laugh as she cradled the young girl in her spidery lower legs and slowly lifted her up, delivering her to the massive green hatching pool that had been prepared long ago, slumber, absorb, and evolve, become a kindred spirit like me, I will make you realize how happy it is to be the servant of Queen Sama, how wonderful, Arachne's whisper echoed in her ears as her body was slowly lifted into the liquid by the spider's legs, looking at the hot, thick, and bubbling hatching liquid, the young girl's face showed a fear she had never seen before, and for a moment she felt as if her brain was blank, so she could only pray helplessly, no, Tuanmu Lantern San, Sister Sama, someone save me, anyone can do it. Line up in an orderly fashion, keep order, Today there is extra food in the cafeteria, everyone has a share, one by one, why is there meat? Is it New Year's Eve? Why ask so many questions? Just eat your food, at noon, the earthen building in the East District that has been converted into a cafeteria is once again bustling with activity, the meals are the same as usual, 
simple rice balls, mushroom soup, and stir-fried vegetables, but today there's also a meat stew, to be honest, the food looked very bad, it was hard to look at, but the plants in the post-apocalyptic world had all mutated, and many of them carried toxins, and it was not easy for many people to eat a hot lunch. Nowadays, this was also the reason why Du Mu Yao could later become the lord of the eastern district, promising to feed each of his men, while the crowd was warming up for the day's meal, a young girl sat on the floor in the corner outside the cafeteria door, sighing in loneliness. What are you doing here? Chen Shan, who had returned to the East District, saw Ren Sheng crouching on the ground and went over to greet her, but Ren Sheng's eyes lit up the moment she heard Chen Shan's voice, the moment he heard Chen Shan's voice, Ren Sheng's eyes lit up and he jumped right at her, still in tears, Chen Shan, is that you? You're finally back, Outside the cafeteria, Ren Sheng jumped into Chen Shan's arms, wrapped his arms around Chen Shan's neck, put his legs around Chen Shan's waist, and hugged Chen Shan like a girlfriend who hadn't seen her husband in years. Chen Shan was also confused and could only calm Ren Sheng's head while wondering, what's going on? It's just one morning, it's not that bad, or is someone bullying you? Seeing Ren Sheng's tearful appearance, Chen Shan was a little touched for a while, not realizing that there were still people in the post-apocalyptic world who cared about her so much, but who would have thought, not waiting for Chen Shan to finish touching this side, even crying with howling Ren Sheng will suck snot, offended to the extreme, so said, do not bully anyone, just I am afraid that you died outside, then I will not be eaten by the parasites, the hopelessness of Chen Shan, casually threw the stupid child back to the ground, and full of writing resentment, would have wanted to tell her that the cup insect and so on are all a lie to her, decided to forget about it, Chin Shan, why are you back so early? Didn't you say you were going away for a whole day? After the joke was over, Chin Shan and Ren Xing also sat in the cafeteria, Ren Xing nibbling on the dumplings while asking curiously, while Chin Shan carelessly returned, things just finished, I came back first, where is Bugbear? Chen Shan asked casually as he looked around but didn't see Bugbear's figure, and Ren Xing blinked her naive big eyes without thinking back, Bugbear ah, I always hide it in the container when we eat, otherwise it will be treated like a monster if it really eats, what? Chen Shan's eyes widened in horror at these words, how dare you not feed my son, you are so cruel, seeing Chen Shan's excited expression, Ren Sheng was so scared that he dropped his spoon on the table, but Chen Shan soon returned to her normal expression, so she was just joking, only Ren Sheng didn't realize it, anyway, let's not talk about it, did anything happen while I was away? Nothing important, just that President Du and Ace Ida came to look for you a few times, but you were not here, they did not come at once, they came in groups, and what they were looking for seems not to be the same, Ren Sheng had just been scared to the point of breaking out in a sweat, and now he could only explain it carefully, while Chen Shan's brow furrowed slightly after hearing this, and asked in a puzzled tone, What could they be looking for with me? It can't be that you have revealed something, can it? How dare I? Hearing this, Ren Sheng desperately shook his head, looking as if he was afraid of being misunderstood by Chen Shan, but on second thought, Ren Sheng seemed to have detected a hint of something fishy and couldn't help but come over to Chen Shan's side and whisper in her ear, Sister Chen Shan, could it be that you're too good looking and President Du wants to chase after you, and then Ai Sida is jealous? How could it be, as a base guardian, A Sida could be so careful, Chen Shan immediately denied it after hearing it, looking as if she didn't trust Sheng's words at all, but the determined look only lasted for two seconds, and soon she rubbed her chin, thinking sadly, so long Dao Tian is also a protector, and his temperament is not bad, it's just very bad, and Ai Siya is also a woman, so her sister, Ai Sida, probably isn't much better, is it really because she's jealous? She won't mess with me, at this thought, a drop of cold sweat slowly trickled down from Chin Shan's forehead, Long Dao Tian's kind of obvious fool was fine, but if this kind of woman pretended to be one of his own people and stabbed him in the back, that would be hellishly annoying. As for why I'm in this predicament, it's not because I don't have a just cause, otherwise, these women are my harem, asshole, Chin Shan's resentment towards the system became even deeper when he thought of this but he still hasn't found a way to become a man again, however, as the saying goes, speak of the devil, speak of the devil, before Chen Shan and Ren Sheng could finish their discussion, another person suddenly appeared at the table where they were sitting. 
Hey, isn't that Ren Xing's sister? You're really busy, I came to the camp three times, but I couldn't see you, hearing this voice, Ren Sheng and Chin Shan's faces stiffened at the same time, and they both turned their heads stiffly to see A Saida, who was dressed in a red dress, sitting on the opposite side of the table with a smile on her face, I am Dumu Yao's wife, A I Sida, this is the first time we have met, please teach me more A I Sida, smiled and extended her right hand, looking elegant and dignified, Chen Shan could only shake his hand helplessly. Although Chin Shan's own hand was also like this, Hello, Miss Aizda, what are you looking for? Chin Shan didn't understand the other person's intent, and could only ask carefully, but Aizda looked very generous, smiling, resting her chin, and explaining in a very friendly way, I've harvested a lot of clothes, and I thought it's not easy for you and Ren Sheng to come back to Lijiang City, and there are not many gifts to give you, so why don't I just share some of the clothes with you, after all? Ren Sheng almost died for the sake of my sister, after all, Ren Sheng almost died for my sister in Dragon Harbor, so I should show my appreciation, after saying that, Aesida revealed a sweet smile, looking sunny and bright, just like the previous Aizya, Chen Shan did not dare to interact with her too much, and could only purse his lips and say back, I appreciate your good intentions, but we don't need new clothes right now, don't say that. Only to see the woman's eyes flash with a hopeful light, with an almost praying gesture, incomparably sorry to persuade, Sister Chin Shan, I understand that the world may end, but what girl does not have a heart of loving beauty, especially Chin Shan's sister, you look so good, how can I let you wear poor man's clothes? Chin Shan began to sweat slightly, while Aesida became more and more agitated, not only for myself, but also for President Du's sake, because you have to accept my good intentions, it's hard for you to let me and the President fall into the Lord's unfriendly reputation, after listening to Aisida's powerful words, even Chin Shan, for a moment, did not know how to refuse, have a say. Chin Shan are the first time to see such a clever person. But when I think about this, even though Chin Qing has the information from the Eastern District's treasure room, he still does not know what treasures are in the main building where Du Muyao lives, such as the tonic drink, he has not seen a single bottle of the tonic drink, since that's the case, why don't we go with her and take a look? Since you said so, I'll go with you, that's great, Sister Chin Shan, let's hurry then, seeing that Chin Shan had finally agreed, A.I. Sida couldn't wait to take Chin Shan's hand and prepared to lead her to the main building where Du Mu Yao lived, Ren Xing on the side was also a bit eager to try, thinking that she could follow Chin Shan to change into new clothes, but she was stared at by both A.I. Sida and Chin Shan at the same time, which scared Ren Xing into sitting back in a hurry. Just like this, ten minutes later, Chen Shan entered the four-story villa where Du Muyao lived, which was completely different from those clay buildings, it was not only repainted with paint, but also filled with pre-apocalyptic porcelain, jade, paintings and other artifacts, which was as luxurious as pre-apocalyptic tycoon families, if not more so, but all of this is not of interest to Chen Shan. She only wants to understand the promotion agent and the materials of high-ranking magic animals. Of Du Muyao where to hide, do not let Ren Xing come, is also worried that she will interfere with their own search for props, how is it, isn't it much better than your clothes? Ordinary people can't collect them, they are all famous brands before the end of the world, come to the third floor, Aisida's exclusive room, which is like a palace filled with all kinds of cabinets, hangers, decorations, see Chen Shan dazzled. After all, she is not familiar with female clothes, these cards, not to mention now, even if replaced with the end of the world before she could not identify, just as Chin Shan was struggling, Aesida suddenly handed Chin Shan a set of clothes, and excitedly persuaded, then it's not too late, sister Chin Shan, hurry up and try it on, here. Originally, he thought it was just a simple gift of clothes, but who would have thought that this Aesida was too kind to refuse, making it very difficult for Chin Shan, it's okay, I have to try it on to see if it fits, I will go to the next room and wait for you there, change well and call me, Aesida still smiling brightly, no matter Chin Shan answer or not, hard to the set of clothes stuffed into the hands of Chin Shan. A smoke ran away from the shadow, leaving Chin Shan alone stagnant in the Original place, dumbfounded. What is the situation? What's going on? Why did she suddenly make me wear a woman's clothes, and then I killed her sister, and now she's so nice to me? Is it real or is it an act? 
Everything happened too suddenly always feeling a little inexplicable, but Chen Shan can't say, looking back at the set of clothes held which included a short black skirt, a white jacket, and a long black silk with a starry sky pattern, this kind of thing is somehow too shameful, how could Chen Shan accept it, how could Chen Shan accept this? She, who possessed the soul of a virile man, would never touch these things, absolutely. Then five minutes passed, and Chen Shan changed into the clothes, and they fit her perfectly, I was stalling to find props, not to try them on, looking in the mirror, I saw her curvaceous and moving figure, her rounded and upright hips, and the long and slender black silk, the hem of the short skirt danced, and the white color of the jacket complemented the hair, it was hard for Chen Shan not to be moved even as he looked at her, just the feeling of wearing stockings is hard to explain. Obviously the legs have been tightly coiled by threads, but one can always feel the sizzling wind between her legs and under the skirt, as if everything about her is being revealed, I must say that these legs wearing stockings feel fine, Chen Shan was temporarily attracted by her charms, but even though the experience of wearing new clothes is very fun, Chen Shan did not forget the original purpose of the day. As long as Esther hadn't returned yet, she hastily stretched out her right hand towards. The ground, after which a centipede thinner than a small ring crawled out, helped me find items with a higher energy value. The small centipede replied firmly, then slipped into a crack in the wall and burrowed into an unknown place, thin bugs are usually of a lower level, and it's hard for them to develop a sense of self and this one was the only one that Chen Shan could use to detect it, it was only after she had done all this that she realized that Esther and her maid were actually staring at Chen Shan in the next room. Their faces showing no trace of the party's friendliness, only malice and resentment. What does? The detector say. Asida asked coldly, while the maid stared at the instrument in her hand and read in a low voice, the alien energy in spiritual energy is only 100, her strength is not much stronger than Ren Sheng, the highest prediction is only 36, 36, I thought that can come back alive from the outside to be some kind of master, but I didn't expect such garbage. Hearing the data given by the maid, Asida, who had been on alert for a while, was suddenly relieved and even laughed contemptuously, letting out a scornful tone, since she's so weak, I guess I don't need to do anything, let the guys move faster and throw the body outside the base so no one will find it, I understand, miss. In the end of the world under the siege of many monsters can be humanity's hope of the strong, most of them are people who have the active skills of the Department of Special Abilities, such as Flame Ability, Space Ability, Gravity Ability, Strength and the ability to have the active skills will be a life-saving step, even if the face of the fierce monster is also not necessary to engage in physical battle, thus significantly increasing the chances of survival, and this is to let the human into a Misconception, that the size of the alien energy, is directly equivalent to the strength of their own strength, in the later production of the combat strength meter also focus on strengthening the detection of the effect of alien energy, but the human attributes completely ignored, after all, a person is strong, but also can't be faster than the aircraft, carry a rocket launcher, right? At least, there weren't any such strong people in the current human population, if I could turn back into a human, could I make Arachne evolve like that? By the way, is Arachne's body a spider or a human? Turning her into a human won't kill her, right? At this moment, Chen Shan was still standing in front of the mirror, caressing her chin, admiring her proud figure, slender black silk, before, due to her personality, she was wearing some common jackets, jeans and other kinds of clothes, the kind of clothes that could be worn by both men and women, and at this time, it was the first time she put on a skirt, but actually felt a bit new, However, just as she was seriously considering whether she should change her dressing style in the future, a few men wearing Eastern District security uniforms, with weapons on their bodies and daggers in their hands, slipped quietly through the side door of the room, their faces fierce, as he took a step towards Chin Shan's back, the closest assassin raised his knife in the air and slashed at Chin Shan's neck. No mercy, this angle, this distance, an ordinary person would be dead, no chance of survival, but just as the blade was about to touch Chin Shan's skin, the tip of the knife that was about to cut into his neck suddenly fell out, and in the man's line of vision, the woman disappeared in an instant, and, my hand, in the next second, 
The man who had been wielding the knife let out a painful scream that was particularly sad and heartbreaking, the others turned their eyes to see that the man's right arm had been cut off at the root, blood was spurting on the ground like a fountain, and the scene was extremely bloody, at that time, the direction of their heads came from the woman's cold voice, who are you? What are you going to do? Hearing the question, the five killers immediately looked up, but was frightened on the spot to the face pale, obviously the woman looks like a naive, stupid, weak and can be deceived appearance, but at this time is like a spider monster as sticking upside down on the ceiling. Her skin was covered with scaly armor, her white hair was hanging in the air, and her neck was also bent at 90 degrees, one pair of pupils was fishy red like blood, and she was staring at everyone like a god of death, when she encountered people like Aizia, the paint thieves, Long Dao Tian, Xie watching subordinates, and so on, Chen Shan wouldn't have turned out like this. Because those people were suspicious or malicious towards her at best, and didn't make her insect instincts feel uncomfortable, but those five in front of her had an actual intent to kill, so much so that even without turning around, Chen Shan felt a cold crisis, and if Ren Xing really followed her, she feared that she would be killed on the spot after this one blow, use the gun, one of the five killers shouted, so all the killers reacted immediately, pulling out their hip pistols, aiming at the ceiling, a shot is fired, these bullets are reinforced with crystals, against level 40 magic beasts are no problem, but it has to be able to hit, intense gunshots like thunder rang out in Dumu Yao's villa, but the killer's eyes grew more and more frightened, because the woman named Chen Shan could actually move on the walls, just like a real spider crawling at high speed, with a few dodges, she dodged all the bullets, and the concentrated fire of the five people didn't even hurt a single hair on her head, how is that possible? As he stared in disbelief, Chen Shan suddenly jumped down from the ceiling, and as she landed in the air, her figure was as beautiful and elegant as a butterfly, gently flapping her wings and slashing at the man's huge body, from his right shoulder to his left buttocks, his body was torn apart. The body cracked open and blood spilled all over the room, at this point, the remaining four killers were completely stunned as they hadn't even seen Chen Shan's movements, this is level 36. This is level 36, I can't do it, I can't do it, this guy is not human at all, after shouting these words in fear, two of the killers fled, the other one who reacted slowly only had time to take a step back, his vision had turned bloody and blurred, and in the next second, he fell to the ground, his body separated, this side of Chen Shan after killing the third but calm face, does not seem to intend to chase the meaning. She looked at the three people who were still fleeing towards the door, suddenly raised her head, opened her lips, and a blood-red steel spike slowly emerged from her throat. After that, the steel spike flew towards the position of the three people with a violent toss of her head, obviously, the steel spike was only about the thickness of an index finger, but after hitting a person, it unleashed a tremendous killing force no less than an armor-piercing bullet. With a cracking sound, the two assassins running behind each other were instantly pierced by it, leaving fist-sized holes in their chests, causing the two men to fall to the ground and die instantly, as for the last assassin who ran out, Chen Shan was about to go after him, but after he ran out, a powerful supernatural flaming force erupted outside the house, and the man was actually killed by the flaming weapon that was stuck in the wall, Seeing this scene, Chen Shan froze for a moment, seemingly not understanding what had happened, and the next second, A Saida ran in, looking into the room with a worried face, running all the way to Chen Shan's side, holding her hand and saying worriedly, Chen. Shan, Chen Shan's sister, are you alright? Those assassins came in suddenly, they seem to be here to assassinate President Du, upon hearing this, Chen Shan was immediately confused, only to see her eyes wide open, her face full of disbelief, didn't you arrange for this group of people to come here? Are they here to assassinate President Du? Do not wait, Xie Huaqing in dealing with the monster siege thing, Long Dao Tian now in the city to find, no effort to murder Du Muyao, so is this woman want to harm me, see more than she wanted to be powerful, so just act like that, so I do not think that you and your sister like to treat people like fools. Even though the woman in front of him seemed to be full of care and concern, his right hand trembled slightly, as if it wanted to transform into a dagger and slash him to death. 
On the other hand, Isida's head was slowly dripping with cold sweat, her pupils fluttering slightly, besides the nervousness of being discovered, she also seemed afraid, how could this woman be so powerful? The meter read 36 inch but this was a guardian level, I definitely can't let her cause any trouble here, otherwise, if I give Du Muyao a chance to confront her, my dream will never come true, damn it, thinking like that, Isida's heart was already extremely angry but she still has to act like she is worried about Chin Shan. Before the end of the earth, she does not have any money, power, or face. And then, after a few cosmetic surgeries to become the present look, so her sister is just plain. Cute, while she is as beautiful as a celestial fairy, but whoever thought that the end times would come? And she just happens to have extremely strong flame powers, so, among the many survivors that followed, her status became higher and higher, her reputation became greater and greater, and she gradually became one of the famous Eleven Guardians, but even so, she was not ready to stop, her biggest dream is to have her own survivor base, admired and loved by all the people. The best way to achieve this goal is to accompany Xie Huaqing's patron and marry him, so that she can truly become the Chief Lady of the Li River Base, unfortunately, Xie Huaqing was not interested in her, and she was later poisoned, so she had no choice but to temporarily attach herself to Du Muyao, the snake in the ground, who was also her biggest backer, so she definitely could not let Du Muyao be like other women, nor could she let Chen Shan continue to make a scene, Sister Chen Shan, why don't you say something? Are you injured? Isida's forehead was slightly sweating, she could see Chen Shan's killing intent, but she still pretended to act, but just as Chin Shan's eyes turned cold and he seemed ready for action, the sound of several people running suddenly came from outside the door, and the one who came face to face was Du Muyao, who had brought his men here the first time after hearing the shots, are you alright? Interestingly, the moment Du Muyao walked in, he actually saw Chin Shan first, her buttocks sticking out under the short skirt, black silk with a starry sky and blood-stained pattern, two firm and undulating peaks, and her cold and beautiful features, she was like a butterfly fluttering in the cold ice, a combination of coldness elegance, femininity and sexiness, what man could come and not be blinded, fortunately, Du Muyao reacted quickly, knowing who his current wife was, immediately ran. To Isida's side, wrapped her arms around the other's waist and began to silence her, Isida also immediately jumped on the situation and began to pretend to act out the drama, President Du, this group of people wants to come and assassinate us. Luckily, Chin Shan's sister has hidden her power, or else I would really have to be poisoned by them, assassination. Upon hearing this, President Du quickly turned around and realized that there were several assassins lying on the ground, and the blood stains on Chin Shan's face were obviously from them, assassins. How could there be assassins? Is this Xiao Qin? What's even funnier is that one of the dead henchmen was even Du Muyao's inner circle, I don't know what conditions Aesida gave him, Du Muyao kicked the sprawled body, confirmed that it was indeed one of his own men, could not help but show a look of astonishment, the woman and the prepared lover encountered a weeping pearl rain, a face of iron is speechless, but the dead are his own men. This face can be described as bizarre to Du Muyao, Chen Shan seems to see the cat and mouse between them, for a while, she also did not have the idea of Aesida, after all, if she moved now, she might become the enemy of the entire eastern district, so she could only sneer and say, President Du, it seems that your men need to be more disciplined, thank you for MS, AI's kindness today, I still have something to do, I'll go back first, with that, Chen Shan was about to leave, but after hearing, these words, Du Mu Yao's face turned pale with shock, and he could only hastily raise his hand to stop, wait, Chen Shan turned around and looked at the shocked Du Mu Yao, Chen Shan, you're so strong, why didn't you say so before? Chen Shan casually replied, while Du Mu Yao looked a bit worried, so, is your husband, Blade, as strong as you are? Or is he even stronger than you? He is not very strong, looking at Du Mu Yao, whose face was particularly anxious, Chen Shan raised her eyebrows and seemed to have guessed something, but she was very sure of the beast's strength, so even though she knew about Du Mu Yao's plot, she only spoke in a slightly cold tone and casually replied, he is not as strong as me, she said. T, 
a kilometer away from the base, a pickup truck radio suddenly emitted a sound, the man in the driver's seat heard it, but was full of impatience, hard to the mouth of the cigarette and sucked two mouthfuls of smoke, before slowly snuffing out, leisurely picked up the radio, what's going on? I'm already out of town, don't rush me, abort the mission. What are you talking about? My brother and that stupid big guy are in it, can't stop, what are you talking about? That stupid big guy might be at the guardian level. Just as the man was talking on the radio, a cracking sound suddenly came from the building next to him, it was the sound of a shotgun modified by the crystal core, even a level 50 or 60 magic beast would be either dead or crippled if it received this shot without any defense. Ignoring the voice still on the radio, he swallowed, picked up the rifle on his seat and headed toward the building, which had been unbelievably quiet, so his heart is beating faster and faster, his breathing is getting faster and faster, there is something bad premonition surges to his heart, so much so that the hand holding the rifle is shaking, but just at this time, the corner of the wall behind the voice of his friend came. Big man, is indeed his friend's voice is right, but sounds a... Little strange, like a machine issued by the electronic sound, big man, you are Chen Shan's husband, how many levels are you, this phrase is clearly the man's own words, so his head began to sweat madly, the pace has become particularly cautious, little by little towards the corner of the back of the wall, big man, how can you only 24 levels. Mother, the voice became more and more graphic and human, and could even emit a questioning tone, as if changing from an unfeeling computer to an AI, as if creating a new code from the programming of nothingness, it was like the birth of a new race, it, like all life in this world, would continue to grow, continue to evolve, continue to reproduce, life would always find its own miracle, and in this world, it only made the process faster, finally, the man got a glimpse of what was behind the wall, and with that, his face turned pale and his pupils were so frightened that they almost contracted to a point, for there, in the place where his friend was supposed to have killed Blade. A huge crab-like bug monster was gnawing at his friend's corpse, flesh and blood splattering wildly under the intense gnawing, and that chainsaw-like horrible mouthpiece was making the exact same sound as his friend, savage to the extreme, mother, Lee River Base, take over, follow mother's orders, the dark night sky, the silent earth, the gloomy city, the air was very cold, and there wasn't a single living thing in sight. Only the dilapidated streets and houses could be seen, making the soldiers hiding behind the bunkers hold their breath and stare into the dark distance, I don't know if it's their illusion, but they can always feel a silent killing intent permeating the air, so everyone's heart is very tense, However, this was only 5 kilometers west of the Lee River base, and it was now 2.00 a.m., to prevent the monsters from invading. Sied Division Commander had arranged for the advance troops to be here. We have an energy reaction in D4, the predicted number is 300 inch the distance is 1000 meters, please report, copy that, please stand by, soldiers' voices came from the radio, while the officer in the command vehicle answered calmly, he was in a high position, from this viewpoint he could see every street in the city and also all the places where the teams were hiding, stupid animals commanding monsters. The officer muttered to himself, his eyebrows already knit together, he looked at the end of his vision, the dark street, there seems to be a strange black shadow moving towards them stupidly, C2 zone seemed to have an energy reaction, the predicted number of 700, C3 zone seemed to have an energy reaction, the predicted number of about 500 D5 zone found an enemy, the predicted number of 1000 or more, there is a high energy reaction, showing that it is a lord level, stay on standby, don't rush into anything. When he heard that there was a high energy reaction, the officer's face immediately became serious, he used his binoculars to look off to the right and saw dense humanoid creatures slowly moving forward, humans. Nope, what came into view were zombies, already tattered and torn, with umbrella-shaped mushrooms growing all over their bodies, the parasitic zombies have long since had their internal organs and brains digested, and all that remains is the desire to reproduce by spreading spores and the instinct to eat high-calorie food, but according to the group of human zombies, they seem to have a leader. Even from a distance of a thousand meters, the powerful pressure could overwhelm the officer, as if a demon leader was slowly advancing from the hell called darkness, don't rush, wait for my order, I repeat, wait for my command. 
Fearing that some of the soldiers would not be able to hold their breath, the officer took the radio and gave another order, and then we could see that under the dark night, the soldiers behind the bunker were all terrified and pale, holding the detonators of the bombs in their hands, not daring to make a single sound. The group of zombies, on the other hand, moved forward with no emotion, staggered, hissed in low voices, getting closer and closer to the position of the soldiers' bunker, at this. Rate it was bound to be detected, the enemy in D5 was very close, less than 200 meters, wait a little longer, the officer ordered again, emotionally tense, he even picked up his binoculars and took a few steps forward, just to be able to determine the appearance of the Alpha head earlier, but he was slow to see the guy's figure, 150 meters away. The voice on the other side of the radio became anxious, but the officer held the binoculars in a death grip, still not. Answering the other side. 120 meters, 100 meters, 80 meters, we're almost at the limit, with each report, the voice on the other side of the radio became more and more anxious, but as the officer of the advance team, with so much equipment and soldiers, and the order to reduce the monster's fighting power, how could he be satisfied if only a few zombies were blown up? He should at least kill the leader of a group of monsters, well, at that moment under everyone's nervous gaze, that leader finally appeared, he walked out of the corner, facing the moonlight of the night, his pace steady and elegant, huge double horns like blossoming leaves, gorgeous golden spores like pollen constantly floating from its body, is with the evening wind blowing to every zombie's body, as if the godfather, universal life, is a deer descended. It was a giant deer parasitized by fungus, over four meters tall, it was like a giant elephant walking down the street at night, elegant and beautiful, all the soldiers couldn't help but gasp at the sight, even the officer was dazzled by the elegant golden hue, fortunately, as the leader of the entire army, he regained his composure in time. The officer picked up his radio almost two seconds after the fungus king stag appeared, detonate, the moment they heard the order, all the soldiers. Holding the detonators behind the bunker pulled the detonator safety without hesitation, and in the next second, a powerful explosion sound wave spread out from the center of the zombies, turning into a huge fireball that engulfed everything, lighting up the whole night. Layer after layer of flames erupted above the earth, carrying the most ferocious war spells of mankind, instantly sweeping through the entire fungus king deer colony, and all of this was just a sound, that sound explosion that shook the heavens and the earth, that made the spirits weep and the gods fear, the huge zombie army was plunged into a sea of fire along with the city, and even the soldiers hiding behind the bunker were knocked down by the hurricane, but what followed was the excitement and nervousness after the explosion, looking at the blazing fire, on the one hand, the soldiers felt joy at the total annihilation of the enemy, on the other hand, they were afraid that the remnants of the enemy would emerge from the flames, with such power, even if the monsters were all level 40 or 50 tank type magic beasts they would definitely not survive. On the other hand, the officer who had the best command hadn't been able to stop the corners of his mouth from curling up for a long time, all the stress of the night had been relaxed at this moment, he looked at the sea of flames with relief, he couldn't help but purse his lips, thinking that he had become a hero in the post-apocalyptic world once again. But just as he was about to pick up his radio and order his team to evacuate, one of the soldiers on the front line suddenly stood up, scared to death, and yelled, that deer is not a deer, that deer's not dead, it's still alive, what? That hiss was especially clear in the night, and could be heard from several hundred meters away from the officer, so everyone's eyes followed the cry and looked at the flames, where there were reddish coke, collapsed houses, burning corpses, and that giant deer of the fungus king, it had actually used its supernatural energy to create a golden ball barrier, deflecting all the shock waves from the explosion, it was unharmed. How was it possible that all the buildings around it were reduced to rubble? The officer shouted in disbelief when he saw that the giant stag was staring intently at that side, he even felt his legs getting weaker and couldn't help but suck in a breath of cold air, but he did not expect the next scene to be the beginning of fear, only to see the giant deer suddenly raise its right front limb, a powerful step, the golden spores that covered the sky spread out into the surrounding area. Densely packed like stars lighting up the night sky, the flames were quickly extinguished under the cover of the spores, while the body that was originally burnt to charcoal began to twitch slightly, actually regaining life and standing up, 
this deer could even revive dead zombies, sir, what should we do? Should we retreat? Seeing this scene, the deputy officer beside him was completely stunned and couldn't help but scream, but his officer could only hold the car door and stare at the monster with a blank stare, his whole body fell into despair, maybe, human beings aren't even food in front of it. It was just a group of walking corpses that could be manipulated at will, already, it was too late, the officer muttered dully, his pupils had already lost the desire to live, and the group of resurrected zombies, under the increase of the giant deer spores, suddenly appeared hideous, they rushed towards the army at the speed of a hundred meter sprint, the number of zombies was huge, in a few moments, all the soldiers in the advance unit were drowned in a sea of zombies, on the other side. At Xie's divisional headquarters at Li River Base, Xie Huaqing suddenly stood up with a horrified expression on his face and sternly scolded the soldier who came to report to him, what did you say? The advance force of over 700 men was completely wiped out. Not a single one escaped. The entire advance force of 700 men was wiped out. Not a single one escaped. Yes, they did, and the zombies are moving even faster than before, they're expected to arrive at the Li River base by this morning, Master Xie, what should we do? The time is now 3.00 a.m., the sky is still dark, but the position where Division Commander Xie is is in full swing, everyone is running around to defend the city, and every soldier is on the walls preparing for battle, at this moment, the man in the suit at the command post suddenly stepped forward, his expression was serious and his gaze was bitter. The eyes that looked at Xie Huaqing were not filled with flattery and pandering like the others, and he was even slightly angry as he asked the Division Commander, Division Commander Xie, aren't we going to notify Du Muyao and the others yet? The monster attack is a catastrophe that endangers the entire base, and once the city gates are forced open, it will lead everyone into a dead end, the man's roar echoed in the command center and the officials who were still discussing the battle plan temporarily calmed down and looked at him and Xie Huaqing before realizing that the one who shouted these words was Xie Huaqing's inner circle, Sun Wei, but Xie Huaqing's face. After listening to Sun Wei's questioning, but looked uncertain, but the surrounding onlookers are more, Xie Huaqing is not good to be openly angry, can only explain in a somber tone. The monster attacked the western gate, but the eastern district also need people to guard, I have called the dragon Tao Tian to help, so do not need to notify the Du Muyao and others, finish this, Xie Huaqing's eyes will reveal a vicious killing intent, everyone. Xie Huaqing knows that he just doesn't want the Yanjing base to interfere with the Lijiang base. However, Xu Wei didn't seem to care and continued to persuade Xie Huaqing with an eager tone, Master Xie, Division Commander. It's come to this, do you still want to rely on us to fend off the monster tide on our own, the number of zombies is more than 300,000, even if we let Du Muyao come, we may not be able to withstand it, the only way is to contact Yanjing base, shut up, the only way was not spoken, but Xie Huaqing interrupted Xu Wei with a stern voice, and couldn't help but startle. Everyone present, at that moment, when Xie Huaqing looked at his expression again, he had already reddened his face, clenched his teeth, and glared at Xu Wei with the same look as his enemy, incomparably angry, you idiot, what do you know, the Li River base was built by me, and I managed to build it by stealing resources from other warlords cannons over and over again. It is all my effort since the end of the world, I will never give it to anyone else, notify the team to prepare for battle at the West Gate, I will personally lead the team to meet the zombie horde, after finishing his speech, the still calm Xie Huaqing had already shouted in an almost snarling tone, and he even slammed his pen down directly and walked out of the command center without looking back, his anger overflowing. After about 10 seconds, a lot of people followed him, but Xu Wei did. Not, after hearing these words, Xu Wei's eyes were filled with nothing but disappointment, loss, and disbelief, however, in the face of danger, he could not possibly remain in such a state of despondency, only to see the man's gaze become more and more determined, and he even went in the opposite direction that Master Xie had gone. Xu Wei, Zhang Xingyue, Xie Huaqing's secretary, hurriedly ran after him when she saw this, but Xu Wei didn't stop for her, so Zhang Xingyue hurriedly followed on the side asking anxiously, where are you going? The war preparation camp is on the other side, aren't you going to help? 
I'm going to find Du Muyao, if they don't contact Yanjing base, I'm afraid Li River will fall, Sun Wei spoke without looking back, his expression was serious and terrifying, it was obvious that he was definitely not joking, and Zhang Xingyu's head was also slightly sweating as she hurriedly continued, informed Du Muyao. That's not disobeying military orders, and division commander Xie just said that you still obey military orders. Where are the soldiers now? Upon hearing these words, Sun Wei instantly exploded like a lit fuse, he glared at Zhang Xingyue angrily, his voice loud and frightening, is the control of the base important, or the lives of hundreds of thousands of people in Li River base? How many armies really think about the people in today's world? They're just a bunch of warlords looking out for their own interests, don't you understand? At the end of his speech, his roar was deafening, seeing the cynical and righteous face of the man, Zhang Xingyue only felt her heartbeat quicken as if her soul had been touched, her confused pupils gradually cleared up, and she finally knew clearly what she should do in this post-apocalyptic world. I know, I'll go with you, Team Dragon, how are you? Much better, damn it, if not the last time to save a bottle of life, I'm afraid this time really want to cripple, next time I see that woman absolutely kill her, I want to peel her skin, in the dark room, Long Dao Tian is lying on the bed with his eyes closed, warm and moist incense in his nose gently fluttering, the back is two almost naked women in the needing massage for it, looks very cozy. In this regard, the sight of the henchman can only squeeze out envy, but not rude smile, he tried to control himself not to look at the woman's chest, continue to report to Long Dao Tian, Long Team, Xie Division Chief said that there will be a monster attack on the west gate today, want us to go to help in the defense of the city, do we want to go? Shall we go? Hearing this, Long Dao Tian almost roared out without thinking, the woman on his back was still startled, but after a brief moment of dazed, he continued the massage. Meanwhile, Long Dao Tian was still complaining indignantly, what have I become? Do you understand? Let Xie Hua Qing that old man go do it by himself, this base is not opened by me, what do I care so much? If it's not a big deal, we'll take our people to other bases, anyway, I have the goods in hand, I'm still afraid of the base falling. In the end, Long Dao Tian's tone was full of contempt, although he was nominally one of the guards of Li River base, in reality, he was just a snake under Xie Huaqing's command, there was an opportunity to weaken Xie Huaqing's strength, he couldn't wait to see the fun, how could he possibly go and help Team Long Yu said henchmen sweated slightly, although they couldn't agree with Long Dao Tian's words, they still showed a fawning smile, after all, that's the way the world is, just as the two. Men finished their conversation, a sharp running sound came from outside the door, causing Long Dao Tian to frown slightly, seemingly angry that someone had disturbed his massage. The subordinate who was running frantically broke in, and without even knocking, he pushed open the door and shouted, Team Long, Dragon Team, this isn't good, shut up, I have no idea what time it is, give me a roll. Long Dao weather straight teeth, a reprimand to interrupt the other side, originally the lower body of the pain of bone cracking has not been completely relieved, and now even a subordinate to disturb the rest, how can the mood is not bad? But he did not expect this subordinate instead of being scared away, but more anxiously hissed, not a dragon team, a wave of monsters is attacking the base, there are many of them, the city's defenses might not be able to withstand them, you must go and take a look, Nonsense, I know such things better than you. After listening to the subordinate's report, Long Dao Tian was even more enraged, gritting his teeth and glaring, if it were not for the two women on his back, he would have stood up and slapped the subordinate, Xie Huaqing's team can't be defeated so quickly, wait for the western gate to collapse and then come back to yell at me, get out of my way, dragon team, what are you talking about, ah Long team, hear the words of Long Dao Tian. Subordinate has been worried sweating, even said the words. Are issued a trembling, look very scared of the appearance. At this point, Long Dao Tian finally noticed a hint of not cannot help but waved his hand to signal the woman to stop, stand up towards the subordinate asked a, not the western gate. And the next second, this subordinate was on the spot, holding his head, screaming in pain, his voice was almost cracking, it's the south gate, dragon team, a large number of zombies were attacking the south gate, division commander Xie's team has all moved to the west side, and our men can't stop them, it's too late to evacuate the supplies, you still won't look, what are you talking about? 
As he rushed out of the earthen building, ran to the high ground, and climbed up to the roof, he looked in the direction of the South Gate city wall in the distance and saw countless gunshots and explosions rising and falling in the morning dusk, and indeed, a fierce battle was going on over there. However, Long Dao Tian did not expect that the strongest alloy wall, the one specially used to defend against monsters, would be cracked at this very moment, countless fungus-covered zombies were rushing down from above, and the mountain of corpses piled with blood and flesh had already spread across the mountains, but the number of enemies was still pouring in, and the city's defense army was about to fall, where did they come from? Where did so many zombies come from? Didn't Xie Hua Qing say that they were going to the west gate, Long Dao Tian hissed in disbelief, looking at the tidal wave of zombies that only knew how to kill, his huge body actually trembled. An inexplicable feeling of fear surged into his heart, but no matter how, Long Dao Tian is also considered a party leader. In a moment of urgency, he immediately came to his senses, raised his right arm, pointed at the camp in front of him, and ordered all the men who ran out with a stern voice, those who are still asleep, call out, those who are still asleep, call out, those who are wandering and the poor, call out too, we can't let the zombies get past the camp, otherwise, everyone in the southern district will be infected by the spores, yes, yes. Some people around him responded to his answer, so more and. More of the southern district's war force was concentrated by Long Dao Tian, the distant city's defense army had already been slaughtered, one of the fastest running zombies was the first to cross over the soldiers' corpses and reach this street, and with a glance, it stared at Long Dao Tian's team, then, its eyes emitted red light and pus poured out of its mouth, the desire to eat made it doubly excited, so much so that the corners of its mouth seemed to be smiling, looking terrifying and cold. The zombie let out a series of eerie sounds from its throat, causing a large number of zombies behind it to follow suit, twisting their bodies to run quickly through the streets like jackals that had found their prey, pouncing on Long Dao Tian and the others with all their might, they left no room for error, then, they heard a thud, a dull sound suddenly rang out as Long Dao Tian smashed the head of the leading zombie with a single blow. Looking at this situation, the men around him were Gradually resurrected, coupled with more and more people coming from all around, judged by the numbers, maybe they have a chance to win against the zombie horde. Don't be afraid, they are irrational monsters, destroy them with a single blow, with Long Daotian's hiss, the group of humans finally got rid of their fear and picked up their weapons, ready to fight the enemy, a large number of zombie hordes rushed out of the gap in the city wall like waves, crashing into the human defense team. What followed was a blur of swords, sparks, and blood, the entire street was turned into a pit of hell, with broken limbs and mushroom fragments everywhere, in the middle of the morning and evening, some people were attacked by multiple zombies, some people were suddenly attacked by the zombies behind them, and some people recklessly rushed forward, eventually dying surrounded by countless zombies, however, Long Dao Tian, who was somewhat unexpected, was the one who rushed forward the most. Among these people, and all the weapons, crystal cores, food, and women he had accumulated over the past five years were all in this warehouse, once, he was just a prisoner with nothing, and now, no matter how many people are sacrificed, he has to hold on to this place, otherwise, even if he escapes, he will still be the same as dead, no area to kill them all, kill, a heavenly roar resounded through the clouds. The huge zombie team was indeed beaten back, Long Daotian's stature at this moment seemed so large and inspiring. So much so that her team kept pushing forward, gradually pushing back the zombie army, but at that moment, Long Daotian's face suddenly fell as his battle instincts told him that an unprecedentedly powerful monster was rapidly approaching, it was the sound of it running, and even the earth was shaking with it, Long Dao Tian's pupils began to constrict as a drop of cold sweat slowly trickled down from his forehead, and his eyes reflected a giant tiger with fungus-covered skin, it was too. Meters tall and as strong as an ox, it would trample all the zombies and humans in its path while charging, as simple as stepping on an ant, and it was charging in Long Dao Tian's direction, skills, fervent blood LV7, berserk LV7, field of fury LV7, defense specialization LV6, facing such monsters, Long Dao Tian's expression was stiff, as if he was facing a great enemy, and he immediately unleashed all of his active skills without a moment's hesitation. 
Of course, the fungus king giant tiger wouldn't be afraid of the human, even though it felt the human's aura expanding, it still opened its bloody mouth and bit down without any hesitation, because the tiger's momentum was too strong, the moment it grabbed the other party's head, Long Dao Tian was still dazed, and he and the other party slipped far away from each other on the street, and in the middle of the street. He didn't know how many humans and zombies had been killed, the tiger was. Struggling, the earth building was collapsing, and all the places he passed were in ruins, but Long Dao Tian still refused to let go, because the teeth of the tiger's mouth were so close to him, once he let go of his power, Long Dao Tian would surely die, his muscles expanded dramatically, his skin and eyes turned red, and his whole body seemed to be on fire, the gas slowly came out of the tiger's mouth, but Long Dao Tian didn't care. Instead, he gritted his teeth, stared at his eyes, and hissed. Don't underestimate me, asshole, this hiss shook the sky and earth, loud clouds. With the fury of a man who refused to give in, he unleashed all of his power into the enemy's mouth and used all of his strength to break it open backwards, whereupon the giant tiger began to feel pain and his strength gradually weakened, until it began to fear the man's strength and turned from suppressing to retreating in its movements, Long Dao genius finally found the right opportunity and suddenly unleashed his power. Then a click could be heard, the giant tiger's upper jaw was unexpectedly broken at a 90 degree angle, the jawbone and skull crashed together, after doing all this, Long Dao Tian casually threw the giant tiger's corpse onto the ground, gasping for breath as he looked at the giant tiger's corpse in disbelief, he looked at this huge guy in front of him, for a while, he was a bit dumbfounded, even he didn't believe that he had just single-handedly challenged a lord-level monster. After a brief moment of disorientation, the corners of Long Daotian's mouth turned up, his cocky smile returned to his face, his fierce gaze was not only filled with the joy of victory, but also with boundless greed. If I can get hold of this monster's crystal core and turn it into a higher level promotion agent, I can't help but surpass Xie watching strength, and then I will be the rightful number one in Li River. Thinking like this, Long Dao Tian couldn't control his mood, leaning on his head, he started giggling, and even couldn't wait to wave his hand to recruit his men to dissect the crystal core, but then, dead silence. No one paying attention to him, no one to answer him, the entire southern district of humanity as if they all disappeared into thin air, leaving only Long Dao Tian a person here alone excited. So he hastily raised his head to look, wanting to find out what happened, but at this time, Long Dao Tian also realized that the group of zombies that covered the sky has long been slaughtered, in their place, there was a huge spider monster, it was dragging all the corpses of the zombies and humans to the ground, the division of labor was clear, and the purpose was clear, in front of this scene, Long Dao Tian was dumbfounded, he was completely confused about the situation, and he didn't have a clue why his subordinates were all dead. At that moment, he saw a familiar figure among the spider monsters, with white hair, calm and beautiful, he was methodically leading them among the monsters to scavenge for supplies, treating them as if they were subordinates, as gentle and lovable as children. But they move all the stuff in his coffers, bitch, how dare you come back, Long Dao thought that in this state, he was completely invincible, last time he was just reckless, this time he could definitely kill that woman on sight and trample her underfoot, and those poor and weak spider spiders were not enough to fear, thinking like this, Long Dao Tian already jumped up in Chen Shan's direction and raised his hand to throw a punch. But things did not go as he wished, the next situation was completely different from what he thought, only to see Chen Shan gently raise his hand, casually waving his hand, his right hand transformed into a long whip, in the air cut out oozing sonic booms, the speed of the ridiculously fast, and it hit Long Daotian's right arm without any deviation, his right arm snapped in response to the sound, and was neatly sliced open, with blood spurting wildly, but this whip was strictly speaking a Blunt weapon, how terrifyingly powerful and tough did it have to be to deal a fatal blow to Long Dao Tian in an instant, how is that possible, why? Long Dao Tian, who had been knocked down, was lying on the ground, howling miserably, he had been so proud of himself at the last second, but now he was rolling on the ground like a puddle of mud, hissing in disbelief, the intense pain caused cold sweat to cover his entire body, but still, he had to stare at Chen Shan, screaming miserably with all his strength, you bitch, you can manipulate the insect race. You are the intelligent race of Dragon Harbor, 
it was you that Aista wanted to kill. The shouts became more and more mournful and resounded through the streets, but unfortunately, there had been no living people in this area for a long time, so no matter how much he shouted, no one would hear him, why? If you were so strong to begin with, why did you have to wait until now, didn't you have the chance to kill me yesterday at the solstice? It didn't matter why he died, Long Dao Tian was originally an outlaw and valued nothing more than pleasure, but he couldn't stand to be humiliated by others, regardless of whether the other party was a human or an intelligent species, he couldn't die in such an inexplicable manner, or else he would never be willing to do so, however, he still did not get Chen Shan's answer. All he could see was that the woman in front of him was glancing at him carelessly, and there was no disgust, no aversion. No resentment and no sympathy in those clear pupils, nothing at all, no care at all. The only expression that appeared was a slight, amused smile that spread his hands helplessly and answered, Not I, but the zombies killed the southern district city collapsed, the guardian dragon team fought with the zombies to death, none of their subordinates survived, the supplies were devoured by the monster swarm, but at that time, there was a woman named Chen Shan who repelled the zombie swarm. She saved Li Jiang base from the fire and rescued countless refugees, so that Xie Huaqin would not suspect or even accept me into his command at the same time as getting rid of a leader, so that I had the opportunity to replace him after his death, I had the opportunity to take over the Li River base after his death and harvest the people's hearts, thus avoiding the most dangerous weapon strike forever, after all, I have too many subordinates, and it is impossible for humans to drop nuclear weapons on their heads, the above is Chen Shan's true goal, the optimal ending she had. Envisioned before coming to Li River Base, and she was only less than halfway there, but at this moment, of course, she wouldn't say so much to a dying person, after all, she didn't bother to crap on garbage. So, at this moment, the only expression that appeared on Chen Shan's face was a slight smile of amusement, as well as spreading her hands, feigning helplessness, and replying, it's hard to believe that you're motivated to kill a meat pig? The loot this time was over a hundred tons of food, tens of thousands of human and zombie flesh and blood, a large number of weapons and medicines slash medical equipment, as well as a few thousand magic beast crystal cores. During this time, Chen Shan also left some hostages behind to ask some unanswered questions, from which he learned. 1. Wraith crystal core is not suitable for normal people to take directly, but taking it directly will not kill them, and it can even raise their level plus restore. Their body functions plus briefly increase their combat strength, but they will fall into a serious state of weakness after a long time, so most of them will process it to take it, so most people will take it after being processed. 2. After the optimal processing of the nucleus is the promotion agent, and the promotion agent is currently only Yen Jing base and Guan Yue base in the production slash sale of such drugs can steadily increase the level of people and the recovery of injuries, and most people in the promotion agent will be taken directly, which is the Dragon Road days the entire southern region has no promotion agent. 3. Li River base only a gamma level promoting agent is Du Mu Yao to drink a cider can get the bottle. Of promoting agent, the main reason for this bottle of promoting agent is because he and Yen Jing base have frequent to normal sale of promoting agent are alpha level, divided into several different attributes of the potion, can be given to the 30 level below the person to directly increase the level and combat effectiveness, repeated taking effect is not good, but still, a bottle is also to be sold to the 1000 crystal or so, Esta drank the gamma enhancer. So she might be the strongest one in Li River. 3. Report to the Queen, the southern district has been cleared of both zombies and humans, all the supplies you marked have been transferred to Long Gang, what should we do next? As Chen Shan pondered, the Queen Bee hovering beside her was stinging wing, the zombies attacking the south gate beforehand was her handiwork, and a few flying dragon bugs were involved, after all, without fresh food, it would be difficult to lure the zombie swarms over. However, instead of calling them zombies, it's better to say that these guys are just puppets being parasitized by the fungus, I don't know if it's Chen Shan's illusion, but she always feels that in addition to the fungus tiger and the fungus king deer, there are even more terrifying things controlling them, good, you did a good job this time. Chen Shan commanded in a flat tone, and Stab Wing replied respectfully, only a moment later, Stab Wing seemed to tilt his head and asked Chin Shan in a somewhat puzzled manner, but, your majesty, didn't you say that you were going to help the western gate? 
Originally, I did, but I have to do something right now, so let Bugbear go for me, yes, your majesty. Meanwhile, on this side of the west gate, just after they had learned that the south gate had been captured by the mushroom zombies, the zombies on the west side had already gone head to head with Xie Huaqing's troops, and by that time, the sky had already completely darkened, the intense sounds of explosions, roars, and machine gun fire would not be repeated, and there were also low flying. Helicopters in the sky, covering the sky with machine gun and rocket launcher fire, to truly describe it, the west gate was now filled with a sea of flames, gunfire, and piles of corpses like a mountain. Huge numbers of zombies like wave after wave after wave, even if there are hundreds of machine guns cannot kill cleanly, projectiles in their bodies by the damage is very limited, and some are even exploding head can still continue crawling, soon, under the west gate of the city is already piled with corpses, yellow spores in the air flying in the sky, due to more and more dead zombies, resulting in the air also become cloudy. No way, there is no way to kill them all, these zombies can still move even if their heads are blown off, we must use a more powerful weapon, it says to hold your position, we'll cover them with artillery soon, just don't let them break through the walls, that's nothing, just as the captain was relaying the orders of his superiors, a soldier next to him, who was in charge of ending the bullet chain for the machine gun, couldn't help but let out a cry of surprise. All the soldiers nearby looked into the distance, only to see a beautiful and elegant Divine deer covered in golden fungus entered the army's field of vision a hundred meters away. The majestic figure stood above the tens of thousands of zombies like a god descending, the surrounding space gradually distorted under the effect of the golden foreign energy, slowly condensing like a vortex and finally forming a dazzling spherical energy between the deer's horns, it shouldn't be like this, cold sweat slowly trickled down from the captain's head, a bad premonition growing stronger in his heart. And in the next second, the giant deer's head flickered, then, the spherical energy body suddenly turned into a beam of light, like a laser cannon, which flew horizontally toward the city wall as fast as lightning, hitting the center of the city wall, the hard metal wall in front of him was brittle like paper, and in an instant, the massive explosion ripped a gap in the metal wall, and even the area behind the wall, over a hundred meters away, was engulfed in a tornado of blasts. The attack came first, the sound followed, even the officer who was watching the battle. From the observation deck was so scared that he dropped his radio to the ground, such a powerful attack by a monster was simply unheard of. But the enemy will not give humanity a chance, at the very moment the city wall was breached, a large number of zombies have been crazy influx, the battle quickly turned from gun battle into a white knuckle war, let the alien troops take over, the rest of you fall back to the second line of defense, the officer's voice came from the radio, so a large number of teams immediately gave way to the special ability troops. Said special ability, in fact, they are only higher level soldiers, the average level of 45 or so, in the skills of improvement, even if a person facing a large number of zombies can hardly cope, as for the captain leading this team, it was naturally three of the seven guards under Xie Huaqing's command, and one of them had also fought with Chen Shan, the one with a particularly strong physique and a match for Long Dao Tian, Officer Zhao, cover the team's evacuation. Fire cover is coming soon, we can't let the zombies rush in. Officer Zhao's voice shook the heavens and earth, even in the face of such a crazy monster, he had no fear on his face, when the zombies came, he frowned, picked up his long military knife and swung it, and the aggressive zombie was sliced in half on the spot, spores and disgusting blood were spilled everywhere, and even if they weren't dead, they could only languish on the ground, although Zhao's strength was not as good as Long Daoqian's. With the help of this refined weapon, he could easily kill these zombies, which was the advantage of staying in the army, However, at this time everyone knows that these zombies in front of them are only small problems, the real trouble is the one behind them, rapid fire mortars in position, waiting to fire, 10, 9, 8, find cover, after about 2 minutes of short battles, the sound of a radio finally appeared in officer Zhao's headset, after slashing another zombie, he immediately hissed out orders to all the soldiers nearby. This was followed by the machine gun cover of the previous thermal weapons unit, 
the alien forces that were still in hand-to-hand -hand combat were quickly on the retreat, hiding behind the bunkers of the second line of defense, whether it was the alien forces or the thermal weapon forces, both worked well together and complemented each other, and no one would retreat even though the city walls were forced to. The huge flood of zombies still couldn't break through the human defense line, a clear indication of Xie Huaqing's team's strength, the next step is a series of deafening artillery sounds in the rear, boom 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 that was used on the pre-apocalyptic chariot turrets, used to deal with a large area of ground armor, even 12 mm thick alloy steel plate, the power of the aftermath of the explosion can instantly break through it, meanwhile, outside the city wall. Thousands of zombies have been completely drowned by the blast, even the invincible deer has been buried in the fire and smoke, as far as the eye can see, all for dust. This is the war art of the humans before the end of the world, even after so many years, it can still produce such a terrible effect, originally, Xie Huaqing had planned to use these weapons to deter other bases, but now it seems to be good enough to stop the flow of corpses, the smoke and dust dispersed, burnt corpses were everywhere, the battlefield briefly fell into a state of silence. The soldiers slowly looked out from behind the shelter, only to see that the outside was already a hell. And the ground was not only full of broken walls and dead bodies, it was also filled with the bodies of many of the soldiers, before the soldiers could finish their despair and emotion, a figure had already recklessly overturned the bunker and rushed out, his back was magnificent and broad, and his posture was raised to the sky. Officer Zhao led the way back to the battlefield, and under everyone's stunned gaze, his loud roar could be heard, take advantage of this, finish off that deer, we'll be able to hold the Li River base, with that, he and his team had already rushed forward, the giant deer was only 200 meters away from the position of Officer Zhao, and it would only take a dozen seconds for them to rush across that distance. As long as they could kill it before it resurrected the zombies, it would be worth the sacrifice, that's right, how can the officers and soldiers of the advance team die like that? How can they become zombie bait for nothing? Julu's ability to resurrect corpses and the ability to create an alien barrier were transmitted back to the base before they were eliminated, based on the battle situation at that time, the base had long concluded that the fungus king divine deer was most likely a magical beast in the form of a wizard with fragile flesh, and that its skills had a cooldown. Now was the best time to kill it. Kill it, accompanied by hysterical screams, a large number of soldiers rushed out of their bunkers, and even though the ground under their feet was unbearably hot, and even though countless zombies were still watching them, they had no choice but to follow Officer Zhao as he rushed out, the zombies on the periphery were confused by the bombardment, their reaction speed was obviously not as fast as it was just now, and many of them were hacked to death by the soldiers with a single glance, the Zombies that had gathered at the periphery were pushed back by the machine guns, and the sharp tongues of fire continued to spray bullets at them, making it difficult to fill the gaps even if the number of zombies was high, however, in Officer Zhao's eyes, his world was a blank, the buildings around him, the corpses around him, and his teammates around him were all white, the only things he could see at this point were those two things. The few zombies standing in front of him and the lord monster that he was about to slay were just that, kill, a slash killed the zombies in the street, splashing blood on Officer Zhao's face, but it didn't stop him from advancing at all, a new zombie crawled up from the ground next to him and tried to block his footsteps only to be blown away by the supernatural powers of the guards behind him, no one could stop him from advancing. No enemy could stop him, on his body were the high hopes of his officers, and on his shoulders were the hopes of all his teammates, obviously, his family had been lost five years ago, and it was because he was in the permanent army that he didn't even get to see his wife and daughter for the last time when the end of the world happened, but he would not regret it, for I will turn into a sharp blade. To shoulder the expectations of all survivors, cut down all foreign enemies, with a thud, running feet landed on the scorched ground, and now Zhao Xu was only five meters away from the fungus king Colossus, his gaze was bitterly cold, his level 78 self could clearly sense that the giant deer's alien energy was rapidly gathering in his body, if he didn't decapitate it, its next ability would surely be unleashed. But it's not too late, it's not too late, another step was taken, and the distance was only 3 meters, 
the long blade was already lifted high, just waiting to fall, at this angle, at this distance, the huge deer would have no way to avoid it, but Zhao Xu's face suddenly turned pale, for just as he took the last step, he was only half a meter away from the stag, between him and the stag, a large and terrifying black shadow suddenly appeared. A zombie that had grown to more than 2 meters in height and was probably around level 60 in speed and strength. It had lurked on the side of the giant stag to protect it at the critical moment. Oh no, things have come to this, Zhao Xu was shocked in her heart as she knew that this attack had completely failed, the long knife that had been hacking at the giant stag had no choice but to turn around and could only aim at the zombie's chest that was blocking the way between them, chopping it down, spores and blood splashed out. But the powerful giant zombie was not killed by Zhao Xu in a single blow. More terrifyingly, it didn't even intend to kill Zhao Xu, and after receiving the slash, it even used its broken body to directly embrace Zhao Xu's body, making it impossible for Zhao Xu to attack the giant zombie in a short period of time anyway, in the next second a golden-colored alien energy erupted, sand, stone, spores, and air formed a powerful vortex above the fungus king giant deer's head. All the soldiers showed a terrified expression, and the closest alien troops even sucked in a mouthful of cold air. However, this monster did not show the slightest bit of mercy, barely giving the crowd time to react, it instantly detonated the cohesive ball of alien energy, forming a fan-shaped shock wave that swept towards the base of the Li River and swept over everything, it was like a hurricane, but with tens or even hundreds of times the power of a hurricane. All the soldiers who rushed out were swept back. Even the lower ranked ones were torn to pieces on the spot, white bones and flesh and blood were turned into ragged wreckage in the gale, and the closest one, Zhao Xu, was even drowned directly by the golden energy, and the whole scene was plunged into a crazy golden wave, and then I don't know how long it lasted, maybe a few seconds. Or maybe a few minutes. When one of the senior guards crawled out from a piece of rubble, he was already weak and had no strength in his legs, but he was shocked to see that the western wall of Li River base was completely shattered, the second line of defense was gone, and human remains littered the ground, some of which weren't even in human form, and looking back, outside of Li River City, it was still the merciless, furious fungus king giant deer. It was definitely a monster that possessed intelligence, and... Surprisingly, it didn't immediately launch a general attack after repelling Zhao Xu, but waited for the energy of its next exotic technique to recover before slowly raising its head and moving forward, this situation simply left this guardian spirit on the verge of collapse and in deep despair, what kind of monster are we fighting? Do we really have a chance to win against this level of enemy? The monsters facing the Western Europe base will definitely be stronger than the deer in front of us, is it possible that the human race will really be wiped out by them? Thinking about it in his heart, he only felt that the future was bleak, this guardian had almost lost hope of escaping, and the mental state of the other remaining soldiers was no better, however, just as the giant deer was slowly approaching and the zombies that followed were gradually increasing in number, at some point, a human appeared on the side of the guardian. No, to be precise, is a cloaked, strange figure of a man, he looks very different in the early morning sun, and the image of the battlefield is out of place, even the voice is a little strange, Chen Shan order, guard the west gate, kill all the enemies, this person, the soldiers almost simultaneously shouted in their hearts. That man, the end of the universe at the beginning of the environment, the stronger the skills to obtain the lower the likelihood, and the lower the likelihood of obtaining the skills, the greater the likelihood of negative consequences, like the hero of the latency period extended to five years these kinds of, but exactly what negative effects, indeed, the survivors do not know, after all. There are not many people will choose 0, 1% probability, not to mention that even if you choose it may get. Nothing, so it has become, you say you have a negative effect, I believe it, anyway, it has nothing to do with me, so that's the way it is, my brother-in-law, because of the negative effects of his abilities, his strength is strong, but his brain is a bit problematic, but he will help you properly, those wasps and spiders are monsters controlled by my brother-in-law with his mind. So don't hit the wrong person at the time when the west gate was almost overrun by the zombies, inexplicably. 
There was another woman in the subcommand headquarters behind Xie Huaqing, who bribed the officer with a thousand crystals, bought connections, and claimed to have been sent by Du Muyao to help. Ren Sheng was finally able to get a woman to help him, by bribing the officer with a thousand crystals, buying connections, and claiming to be sent by Du Muyao to provide support. Ren Sheng finally got a chance to talk to the officer. Just after listening to Ren Xiang's statement, the officer also seems to believe in the appearance of disbelief, but in the way of the front of the war is urgent, at the moment really need personnel, therefore, regardless of how much suspicion Ren Xiang, but also can only pick up the radio to the front commander ordered, attention to troops, there are reinforcements to join the front, the buggers seem to be a friendly force, do not blindly attack, my mission is accomplished, hearing that the Commander had finally sent out the order, Ren Sheng, who had been detained by Chen Shan since the early morning, wiped the sweat from his head with relief and finally breathed a sigh of relief, as for the front line, bugs. Where are the bugs? The soldiers who were still alive were confused when they received the order, looking at the outside of the broken city wall, not to mention the bugs and monsters, not even a mosquito could be seen there. The zombies were still gathering, the original wave of zombies that had been dispersed and crushed had risen from the ground again, and the terrifying fungus king giant deer was still moving forward step by step, its pressure shaking the entire battlefield and crushing everyone's nerves, but at that moment, the man in the strange clothes suddenly moved, his right hand was transformed into a spider-like, insect-like long blade, and he rushed out with a step forward, his black cloak making his Back looked dashing mysterious, even though he was facing thousands of zombies, his stance was relentless and invincible, and he plunged headlong into the flood of zombies, at this, the guardian who had just stood up next to him thought, this idiot is dead, so what? Before the words of ridicule could finish in his heart, the guardian's expression froze on the spot, and in the next second, after the mysterious man rushed into the flood of corpses, the earth in front of him began to crack madly. Huge cracks appeared out of nowhere like gullies, like torn bread being peeled away layer by layer, many zombies falling in because they reacted too slowly, but this was far from the end, and soon, three to four meter tall spider monsters crawled out from inside, this was it, seeing this situation, many soldiers are afraid to sit on the ground, one of the small courage, even took the rifle toward his side of the spider monster crazy shooting, while squeezing the trigger, shouting monster. Monster! The rapid machine gun fire sprayed toward the spider, but because of the limited bullets, a shuttle magazine was soon empty, barely wounding the spider monster's leg, the hit spider had no expression on its face and just looked back at the soldier, then ran towards the zombie group without looking back, leaving the soldier with a blank, stunned expression on his face, the flood of corpses still emitted a low murmuring sound, but this time, it was not as piercing. Although the number of arachnids is only a few hundred inch they rely on the size advantage, just rely on the charge, the group of zombies is able to create a chaos, not to mention that the location was made by the arachnid holes, the zombies who want to get together have to stop as well, as for the biggest advantage of the flood of corpses do not have a mind, do not have a fear of life and death. At this point even totally unable to act, because in the eyes of the spider monster they are just food. Only this food will occasionally bite her, the great thing is shaking the body to throw it on the line, under the red sunlight, the bug sword swooped down, a zombie from the waist cut into two, the fastest bug monster face more and more enemies, before they have time to take the next step, the left and right sides of the new enemies, open arms towards the bug monster, lunged at the body. Then there was a flash of the sword blade and two bright lights, and the newly appeared zombies were similarly sliced into pieces, immediately after that, dozens of zombies rushed out from the surrounding area, a steady stream of zombies coming after them, opening their bloody mouths, revealing their rotten teeth, and showing horrible expressions, surrounding the ghost layer by layer, trying to devour it alive, in this situation, even if Xiao Xu had come, it would have been difficult for him to deal with them, Although ordinary zombies couldn't hurt him, a warrior-type character wouldn't be able to deal with so many enemies, let alone a small and skinny giant scorpion, at that moment, even the guardian who had been watching the giant scorpion had his heart hanging in his throat, but the next second, the guardian was stunned, only to see the zombie surrounded by the bugbear did not panic, it just suddenly dropped down, did a very strange limbs on the ground action. Then, under the dark cloak, it suddenly twisted and pulled out four long beetle legs, 
like a scythe, it swept over everything, it chopped off dozens or even hundreds of zombies in the surrounding area, leaving none behind, it's like slicing a melon and chopping a vegetable, this is still human, seeing the strange insect leg sticking out from under the cloak, the guard's entire face turned blue with fear. Unable to imagine whether it was a human or a monster under the cloak, however, he had finally reacted because he knew that this mysterious cloaked man was indeed here to help the army, and the success or failure of killing Wang Deer and guarding the Li River base depended on it, cover that person, shoot the surrounding zombies and help him kill the deer monster, as Zhao Xu's life and death was not known, the guard became the temporary spiritual pillar of the front, his cries of strength echoing across the battlefield, and the soldiers who had been standing still at the last moment finally raised their weapons and aimed at the zombies scattering everywhere. So the sound of artillery once again, the human Jedi counterattack once again broke out, dense bullets constantly swept the raging enemy, and the spider monster is like in the rain of bullets in the dance of the killers, crazy slaughtering the life of the mushroom corpse, the balance of victory is already tipped, somehow, all the people have pinned their hopes on that mysterious person, and as if to confirm everybody's hopes, a figure suddenly jumped out from among the bodies, four meters in. The air, his cape flapping, his arm in the beetle knife, shining brightly in the sunlight, across the countless path of the zombies, aiming at the mushroom king of the giant deer's head, the bugbear strike was so fast that a normal monster would never be able to react to it, but the mushroom king deer is a monster with intelligence, it had already condensed balls of energy between its horns. And from the moment Bugbear charged into the crowd, it had its eyes fixed on Bugbear's figure, and at that moment, Bugbear jumped into the air to kill it quickly, and Bugbear would not be able to dodge in that state. The golden energy ball exploded again, and the fan-shaped shockwave swept towards all the creatures in front of it, not only humans, arachnids, and bugbears, but also zombies, everything was invisible under this ultimate skill, giving the enemy no chance, however, this time, the color of panic finally appeared in the giant deer's eyes, in the next second, as the golden wave was about to drown the bugbear, its body under the cloak suddenly swelled, and the bugbear's four legs appeared again, coiling up into a shield-like thing to block the bugbear's front, then, the image flashed, the bugbear's body was completely engulfed by the golden energy wave, and the sight was once again immersed in the golden light, only this time, the fungus king deer's supernatural attack didn't seem to last as long as the last time, it seemed like its power was almost exhausted. The flash of light soon disappeared, and the front of the fungus king deer turned into a barren patch, as the soldiers hiding behind the bunker one by one ventured out with their hearts pounding, seemingly wanting to take a look at the battlefield, but in the end, they failed to see the shadow of bugbear on the battlefield, isn't it possible that this guy is dead, too? Looking at the wreckage of the battlefield, everyone's heart was also in their mouth, I don't know when they took bugbear as the leader of the team, as a symbol of hope, but where is the shadow of the living beings in the ruins? You soldiers are okay, that mysterious person is close to the deer king this hit, even an iron man would probably be dry and exhausted, but just when the crowd thought so, more than 20 meters away from the deer king under the gravel, the rocks and gravel suddenly shook, and a black shadow immediately rushed out of them, heading straight for the deer king's location, he's still alive. A soldier shouted in disbelief and a look of excitement appeared on everyone's face, at that moment, they saw not only the light of victory, but also the incredible potential of human beings, the courage to forge ahead even in the face of the strongest opponent, finish it, kill the dear monster, the ammunition has been exhausted, the physical strength is almost exhausted, but the soldier still cannot help but for his source of sound, one after the other screams echoed throughout the Battlefield, under the attention of all the humans, the figure like a god of war in general, charging straight, invincible, the king of fungus giant deer took two steps back for the first time when he saw this scene, it was terrified, golden energy gathered in its horns, but it would be a long time before it could unleash its next skill. The deer's legs kicked to the ground and the last of its tricks came out, several yellow tendrils jumped out of the ground and lashed out at the goblin-like whips, but this attack was already impossible to hurt, and at most, it would only be blocked for a few moments, help me, with a slash that cut through several vines, new vines sprouted from the ground, and at that moment, the bugbear actually used a mental voice, and soon, a voice appeared in the sky to answer it, 
Yes, Lord Blade, a very strange expression of panic, fear, and terror appeared on the face of the giant stag, a deer, immediately upon hearing this answer, he craned his neck toward the sky, and a wasp monster half the size of his body rushed toward him from a hundred meters away, it was so huge, but its speed was so fast that it couldn't even be seen with the naked eye, without waiting for the stag to mobilize its remaining vines to counterattack. The wasp monster lifted its poisonous stinger and stabbed the stag. Hard in the back. Smoke and dust, the giant deer's entire body was knocked to the ground, although the basic characteristics of the insect race is not as good as mammals, but how to say that the stinger wing is also the king of bugs, it is the full force of the sneak attack, the attack power is absolutely not the same as a small, so his face began to distort, but the reason that he is only a deer, the enemy from the side of suppression, no matter how cannot fight to get up, and this time, the bugbear has step. By step over, the black blade of the knife flashed with a piercing cold, and the giant deer after seeing this scene, the head seems to have drops of sweat slipped down. However, just as Bugbear walked up to the deer and was about to decapitate it, a deep voice suddenly appeared in his and stinging wings heads, ignorant beetles, how dare you help the humans fight the mother goddess, you will be slaughtered, with a twisted tone and a jarring accent, it was obvious that they had just learned to transmit their voices mentally and where were the other humans around at the moment? After looking around a bit, the two insects immediately realized that these words were spoken by that deer, who is the mother goddess. Perhaps intimidated by the aura of the other party, Stinging Wings hurriedly asked another question, while the pupils of the Mushroom King deer showed an excited look and couldn't help but use his voice transmission to shout out, the mother goddess, is the origin of all life is the mother of all kinds of things, and is the most powerful deity on this planet. If you don't want to be our bait, then throw yourself into the mother god lord's embrace, into, before the mushroom king deer could. Finish his words, the bugbear suddenly raised his hand and cut off his head with a single slash, the bugbear is the direct descendant of Chin Shan, and has the same bloodline suppression on other bug races, so the bugbear could only ask the bugbear with a confused face, Blade, lord, what are you doing? I hate it when people other than my mother speak to me in spirit. Bugbear said coldly, leaving Stinging Wing speechless, although it was unclear what the beetle and the human in the middle of the battlefield were exchanging, the soldiers on their side could clearly see that the fungus king deer had been decapitated, and the fungus walkers had scattered in all directions, so the outcome of this battle was obvious, more and more people were smiling, and soon a large number of soldiers were shouting from the rear. We won, we held on he's too strong, long. Live division commander Xie, long live officer Zhao, we have won again, Sir Zhao is still alive, he's buried here, call the paramedics, it's all thanks to that guy, if it wasn't for him, there's no way we could have defeated that deer, who the hell is he? Once again, the soldiers shouted in their hearts at the same time. In the summer of the fifth year of the last century, the Lijiang base was briefly in a state of euphoria after winning the first battle against the mother goddess bacteria swarm, however, along with the excitement, a number of soldiers raised questions while cleaning up the battlefield and rescuing the injured, and public opinion, led by four notions, quickly spread among the ranks. 1. Why were there only three guardians on the battlefield? Why didn't Xuanwei and Zhang Xingyue come? 2. Why didn't they call people from the eastern district or the Yanjing base for help? Wouldn't a lot less people have died that way? 3. Why wasn't Xie Huaqin even visible during the defense battle as the chief commander of the Li River base and with the strength level of a guardian? Even though they were victorious, the price they paid was very tragic, and these rumors started fermenting in the army from who knows when, so much so that everyone was wavering under the orders of the military region, for, if the hero named Blade hadn't arrived, would we all have died in the western district? Thank you, Division Commander, the zombies around the base haven't scattered, from the drone observation, it was found that there is still a high-level magical beast that can command the movement of the zombies behind them, but due to its slow movement, it looks like it will arrive tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, in the office on the fourth floor of the command center. An officer was holding the information and explaining it to Xie Huaqing one by one, while Xie Huaqing's expression was very serious, this turtle. 
After receiving the information, Xie Huaqing looked at the picture on the top that was taken by a drone, it was a giant turtle slowly crawling in the forest, surrounded by countless zombies, and just like the deer, the surface of this turtle was also covered in fungus, it looked incomparably horrible. The officer also smiled helplessly upon hearing Xie Huaqing's question and continued to explain, to be precise, this is a snapping turtle, maybe it's standing on flat ground, you can't see it, but this turtle is estimated to be 12 meters tall, with an energy measurement of about 6,300, although not as high as that deer. I'm afraid that depending on this body to break into the Li River base will cause a disaster, we have very little heavy firepower left, but why didn't it come with the deer? Our speculation is that this turtle is not suitable for fighting with other Lord Magic Beasts, but a backup means after the deer monster attack failed, that is, these fungus parasite zombies to capture the Li River base to do two sets of plans, we are not facing a simple wave of monsters, but rather, a deliberate invasion, this is the behavior of intelligent species, after saying all this. A cold sweat slowly broke out on the officer's head, it seems that the reputation of the intelligent. Species is still terrifying to humans. Xie Huaqing's eyebrows were also furrowed after listening to all this, his breathing was a bit rapid, and he covered his chest with his right hand as if to suppress the pain, but soon, he took a deep breath and said to himself, the Dragon Harbor octopus hasn't been solved yet, and as a result, something like this has happened again, how could Li River Base be so unlucky, let them continue to track the location of the snapping turtle. Don't spread the news yet, and liquidate the soldiers, and equipment, good, after that, the officer stood at attention, gave a military salute, and then hurriedly left, just before he left, Xie Huaqing didn't have time to breathe a sigh of relief, and then a subordinate immediately walked in, Division Commander Xie, these three people are here, I know, let them come in. Xie Huaqing waved his hand nonchalantly, so that subordinate went out to call people, Xie Huaqing on a second is still the appearance of a serious, the next second, but a little bit sit upright, and then in this pair of calm and relaxed appearance of the section commander, soon, was called by the two women and a man came in, is Chen Shan, Ren Sheng, and by the cape covered by the close bugbear, Xie Division Chief, you're good. I've heard a lot about your name, I'm Chen my name is Chen Shan. These two are my sister and husband, it's a great honor to meet you, no need to be polite, sit down, although Xie Huaqing looks unsmiling, but the tone is still very polite, Chen Shan and Ren Xing also sat down on the seat, but Xie Huaqing puzzled blade after hearing this, but indifferent, or Chen Shan sat down on the seat, reached out and pulled him a little, he sat down foolishly, it's hard not to be that this blade is a woman. In his heart, he was very curious, but due to the dignity of the division chief, Xie Huaqing didn't want to ask directly, instead, with a smile on his face, he humbly inquired in front of his majesty, this is Blade's little brother, right? A person rushed into the pile of corpses and took the head of the enemy in the middle of the army, the hero of Li River base, as for MS, Chen Shan, that striking heroic stance I saw from the filming device is indeed a rare warrior in the post-apocalyptic world, I heard that you repelled some of the corpse tied in the southern district. Are you the only one? Xie Huaqing's tone was calm, but his questions were very tricky, he asked the most important questions right from the beginning, in response, Chen Shan could only smile blandly and reply calmly, it wasn't long Dao Tian and his men who fought to the death to repel the flood of corpses, my combat power is irrelevant, I can only help, but in the end, I couldn't save the dragon team. After saying that, Chen Shan also showed a sad look, seemingly regretting the death of Long Dao Tian, Xie Hua Qing was half convinced by her expression, but still comforted with the very scene, it's okay, life and death are unpredictable in this world, it's not easy to repel the tide of corpses, you don't need to worry about his death, but even though I said that, I'm even more curious about one thing, mess, Chen Shan. Where were you on the afternoon of the day before yesterday? Where were you? Were you at our headquarters? What are you talking about, division commander? On the afternoon before yesterday, Chen Shan sneaked into Xie Huaqing's headquarters, few people could recognize her at that time because her skin was covered with scales and she looked like a ghost, it can only be said that Xie Huaqing is worthy of being an old fox of more than half a century, he sensed something from Chen Shan's movement patterns, breathing rate, and height, but he just couldn't be sure, therefore, he suddenly asked the question to see Chen Shan's reaction, of course, Chen. 
Sean pretended not to know and answered casually, two days ago afternoon I was at President Du's camp I didn't go anywhere. Said Ren Sheng and Bugbear also nodded in agreement, three people are a good and deceitful, silly look which makes Xie Huaqing for a while also confused but also not good to pursue, well, this may be I see the wrong, in which case, nonsense, I do not want to say more, in a change of appearance, Xie Huaqing's tone of voice suddenly became solemn, Chen Shan's three people are also sitting up straight to listen, Chen Shan, Blade, and Ren Sheng. This time the Li River-based defensive war Hugh have done an outstanding job, the base of all the soldiers and the people are grateful to you, besides the couple at the same time can have such a powerful force, coupled with the Ren Xing also have the stealth skill, this combo really a great combo, on behalf of all the officers of Li River base, I hope you three can stay in our department and continue to contribute to the guarding of Li River, what do you think? When he heard this, Ren Sheng was calm this time, but Chen Shan seemed to be excited and couldn't wait to ask. If you join the base, will there be any benefits? Chen Shan may not have any intentions, but Xie Huaqing was suddenly stunned and frowned, awkwardly looking away because Chen Shan naturally pushed up her chest when she asked the question, the full and rounded curves under the white cloth were like soft pastries wrapped in cream, even Xie Huaqing couldn't help but sweat when he looked at them, how could this woman be unprepared for such a thing? With your strength, if you come, you can directly take the position of the guardian of the alien core, 2000 crystals per month unlimited personal freedom, but you can't leave the western district, and you can always listen to your superiors if you need to, 2000, of course, it's much better than being a warehouse manager, we're ready. Xia Huaqing finished the benefits as calmly as he could, while Chen Shan agreed with surprise after surprise, causing Ren Sheng to look at her a few times somewhat strangely, Immediately after that, Xie Huaqing added, in addition, this time, little brother Blade has made such a great achievement, as the head of the base, I feel that I should also reward him appropriately, so little brother Blade, may I ask what you personally need? I can agree to anything within my power, the words turn, several people's eyes have been put on the bugbear body, bugbear this side or that has been covered tight stupid look, heard Xie Huaqing asked, but also only dull look at each other, even a sentence is not back. Now in Chen Shan under the table poked it hard, almost gritted teeth and said, Stupid child, people ask you words, after all. No one knew if Xie Huaqing would be able to mentally transmit his voice, so Chen Shan didn't dare to take any risks. However, Chen Shan and Ren Sheng did not expect that after Chen Shan gave the order to the beetle, the beetle would even say to Xie Huaqing without thinking, I want a woman, in an instant, the air was silent, and three faces were confused, Chen Shan and Ren Sheng stared at each other in horror, a dumbfounded look on their faces, as if their brains were going to be burnt out. They completely did not understand how the bugbear could come up with such a sentence, it had evolved so quickly. Is it evolving that fast? But even if it was, shouldn't it be a female bug? As for Xie Huaqing, he frowned in disbelief, his eyes flicking back and forth between Chen Shan and Blade, are young people so uncomplicated these days? Your wife is right next to you and you still need to find a woman. Or is it because I'm old and can't keep up with the way young people think? Just four words, the three people present all dry to doubt life, but on the contrary, ghost cloak under the gleaming eyes, cannot help but let Xie Huaqing more firmly believe that this guy is absolutely want a woman right, he was old and couldn't understand the young man's thoughts anymore, don't you have an opinion? Xie Huaqing, who had been as firm as a mountain since he entered the door, finally couldn't hold back and asked Chen Shan with a light sweat, although Chen Shan is not clear why the ghost made such a request, but it surely has its reasons, then pursed his lips and pretended not to care and said, nothing, used to it, used to it. Simple three words, once again Xie Huaqing's three views shocked to pieces, if it is the kind of thugs like Long Dao Tian it is just, the two of you call yourselves husband and wife, and you still play so flowery, is this reasonable? For this kind of private life disturbances of the type, Xie Huaqing is in fact very not good, this is also Long Dao Tian did not come under his command one of the reasons but in the way of Xie Huaqing just now vowed to promise the blade, at this time can only be hard to say, well, after I send a few juniors to go to your room, your dormitory will be someone to take you to the back, if there is no problem. Today's conversation will be if there is no problem, today's conversation will end here. 
Okay, thank you, then call us again if you have a mission in the future, hmm. After the last few sentences of the simple conversation, Chen Shan pulled out Bugbear and hurriedly left the room. Looking at the slightly sweaty expression on her head, one could tell that she really didn't want to lose this person either.